Yo. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. What up, family? What up, family? Yeah, me? Rich Rhetoric back in the building. Yes, yeah, salute. Uh, salute to the people in the chat early. The link is in the chat early, man. Salute, Lady D. Salute, uh, Lady Spade. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? Salute. Shalom. Black Power. You know what I mean? Uh, Salam Aleikum to everybody. Yeah, man. Let's go, man. I got some music I want to play. I got some music I want to play, man. Yeah. And R.A.C. I heard you early on the uh, stream, an uh, earlier stream, R.A.C. Man, I don't know, man. You came in and killed the fun, man. I was having fun on the other stream, and you came in and, and killed the vibe, R.A.C. What's going on with that, man? Why you kill the vibe for, man? Let the people vibe. The people vibe already see it, man. Everything ain't got to be Illuminati, and uh, if you don't pay attention, they come in to kill you. Like you don't got to be like that every day, all day. Already see it, man. Sometimes it's cool to just talk about music, movies, whatever, and just relax, man. You know what I mean? But I got some. I got some, y'all. I got some this heavy, man. Let's get into this shit, man. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Ah, what am I trying to do? Let's remove this because the show about to start. The show about to start. Lady D, if you ain't sleep, I want you to stick around because I know this is one of the good topics, man. Ah, I was trying to catch Shiffer, but Shiffer fell asleep, man, to speak on this topic. But good topic. But let's get, let's get into this, man. Let's play a video first. Show going to start soon, fam. Let's get it. Day chair, find a main chair, open up the okay, yeah, it's okay, yeah, pull my picture looking tight, chair, nice chair, got your bio reading right, chair, precise chair, but before you find a day chair, you gotta wait, chair, gotta go back to nature, chair, get it straight, chair, girl, you look good, want your fax that thing, I'm using a handsome young brother, want your fax that thing, yo, ain't no real life, you need to fax that thing, yo, feeling freaky all night, you need to fax that thing, yo, girl, you look good, want your fax that thing, I'm using a handsome young brother, want your fax that thing, yo, ain't no real life, you need to fax that thing up, feeling freaky all night, you need to fax that thing up. I know you can't stand it, no holding hands, chick, but when we get the shot, we gonna be romancing. Girl, you could be the queen, have the quarantine, we could meet up at the spot and we could do the thing. Internet date chat, I'm your mate chat. Download the app, shawty, you ain't gotta wait, chat. I love it when you hold me, ain't playing emoji. You could be the young hot thing, I'll be the OG. No, oh, why y'all quiet for? Why y'all quiet for? That was Juvie, Juvenile, Manny Fresh, Vax that thing up. That's the name of that tune. You a you a big fine woman once you vax that thing up. Girl, you look good once you vax that thing up. Go on and take the jab, yeah. Take the jab, yeah. The people they want to stab, yeah. Want to stab, yeah. Girl, you look good once you vax that thing up. Uh huh. I know that's like that's Lady Spade shit right there. She gonna she playing that in the car. She gonna be playing that in the car later, man. What the fuck is up with y'all, man? What's up, people? Thank y'all for tuning in, tapping in, and me. Salute, uh, as always, man. Shout out to the black people, all around the world, all around the globe. But yeah, man, I got a uh. Couple YouTube channels, y'all know I gotta show love to. Show love to the um G Block. Salute to the G Block. You know, them brothers uh doing great work over there. So <laughs> salute that. Uh, salute to the Charcoal Block. God of Jacob doing great work over there, man. And just salute to y'all, man. The beautiful people. Um, I haven't done a stream yet, so I just want y'all to know to the UK family. Yes, I am hating. Uh, on Sunday. I'm going for Italy. I got uh, Italy 3 nil. I think that's how y'all say it. We say 3 nothing. I got Italy 3 nothing on Sunday. And I may do a, a, a hater stream. I may just hate on the whole UK <laughs> on Sunday. Yeah, when the soccer game is popping, man. But 
but no, nah, but, but but seriously, I haven't done a I haven't uh, done a show since since y'all y'all was excited about the the football game as y'all call it. So shout out to the UK family, man. It was good just to see people excited and united about something. You know what I mean? It lets me know that people can when they really want to can get on the same page to to really accomplish something. And you guys got on the same page, rooted for the same uh, soccer team. It was a beautiful thing, man. A lot of pride. A lot of pride. Even from the black people and the white people. Like, everybody was going for the UK. So, salute to that, man. That was good shit. That was good shit. But, yeah, man, today I want to get into uh, interracial dating, interracial marriage, man. I want to know what's everybody, what, what do you think about it? You know, what's the pros? What's the cons? Does it work? Does it not work? Uh, if, if you're a part of interracial, a part of an interracial relationship, you know, let me know what's the what's the pros, what's the cons, what did you learn? Cause I always say dating is is fucking learning a stranger, right? When you're dating, you're trying to get to know a stranger. And since me, I only really date, I only date black women. Is I, I can't imagine trying to get a no, trying to get to know a stranger, but not only a stranger but a stranger of a different race. So, you know what I mean? Let me drop the link again, man. I'll drop the link again if y'all want to pull up. But, yeah, man, we can pull up. I apologize for the time, man. I was supposed to go on live fucking probably what? I don't know. Damn near an hour ago. You know what I mean? Probably about an hour ago, but shit, I had to. Get my dinner and shit started, man. I notice when I get on these fucking live streams, boy, it's hard to get the dinner started. Hard to hard to get the house chores going if if it, if if it, the conversation ain't dynamic to where I can step away. So, I had to get some some shit going. Lady D says fire by net. All right, okay. She's saying fuck that, fuck interracial dating. That's, okay, I hear your stance. Let me. Like I always say, it ain't it ain't my thing. If I had a preference, right? If I had a preference, I would prefer the people, especially I let me, I, let me speak with the people I deal with, which is black people. I would prefer that black people stay with each other. That they marry or date, whatever they do, I I feel like they should do it with each other. You know what I mean? Because I am about the the black love, black family. All of that. I just want it. I think it's a uniform thing, right? If you wake up with this uniform that you can't take off, that's the uniform. So try to stick with somebody who, who's going to have the, that experience with their uniform. Yeah, you may come from different uh, social economic backgrounds, but at the end of the day, that uniform is going to be the commonality. That's just me. That could be selfish. That could be uh, selfish or, or whatever it is, but... <laughs> That's how I feel about it, man. Um, another another question I get a lot is, uh, what do you tell your kids about interracial dating? Great question. Good question. I tell them they like who they like, but but more more importantly, they more importantly they tell me who they like. See what I'm saying? And it just happened to be people that wear that same uniform, so. Haven't really had to go into an in-depth conversation, but we have conversations about so much shit that they know that Pops is just, you know, you know, Pops ain't really with that. But if if my son or my daughter brought a a, 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 um, a non-black person to meet me, yeah, I wouldn't shit on them. I'll be honest. I wouldn't shit on them. I wouldn't disown my kids or no crazy shit like that, you know. Just like to tell my kids, no matter who, I would tell them the same thing um, with with the black person. Just you know, be aware, keep your eyes open. Just anything. Be careful, be cautious, and know that when you're getting into marriage, we're not doing this 2021 shit where you marry, divorce, marry, divorce. No, 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 no. Take those if you're gonna do those vows and really be married. Take that shit for real and say, okay, we're gonna do this shit to death. So. Don't matter, black, white, and different. You gotta know the person you dealing with is you gonna. You know what I mean? It's, you gonna be there forever, and it has to be a, a a forever type deal. What's going on with you, Bo? Just checking in, man. Dang, I see you crank up right behind them, huh? I just left them over there by the G block. 
Yeah. So that's, that's how it works. When they finish, you kind of like crank up. Sometimes, sometimes we overlap. I try to, uh, I try to wait. I try to wait on the brother to get done. But sometimes they overlap. It worked out pretty good. It was gonna overlap tonight, but it worked out pretty good because I had to get, you know, daddy duties and chores and shit going down for the night. Get the family, get the family settled. So it worked out perfect because I was supposed to do this shit at what six. 651. Shit, we, I know we're on two different side time time frames. So damn near two hours ago. Yeah, I was gonna go live damn near two hours ago, but then I had to do some shit around the house. So it worked out pretty good, man. But yeah, I do. I do. I try to I try to go off the back of his show. Normally his shows end a little earlier than this, but yeah. I like doing hey, it. So you bring a different audience over here, you know what I mean? Go ahead, Bo. What you consider interracial dating? I think uh, I, I be seeing people with different definitions of it. So, like, if you marry, I know some dudes that think if you mess with a Puerto Rican chick, that ain't interracial dating. There. Yeah, I'm starting to think that is, man. But on the surface, it's black and white. What What you mean? You starting to think that is? I'm starting to think black and Puerto Rican is is with different people. So that's a we would consider them non-black, right? So you ain't always think like that. I didn't. I was always black and white. I ain't gonna lie. I was shit was black and white. It was just black and white or Mexican. I guess that was interracial because I ain't gonna lie. I'm so ignorant. I would have put Puerto Ricans in with Mexicans and just threw the whole Hispanic community or the whole native native Indian community in one box. And yeah, I would still consider that interracial dating. But I'm not in the so city. You- I'm not in the city with a lot of Puerto Ricans. So all I mainly saw was white and black. Yeah, man. Yeah. And I was in New York or, or even Florida or somewhere. I don't. You don't even even. I ain't gonna lie, bro. In Tennessee, I don't even see a lot of black and Mexican. And Mexicans is probably gonna be the second biggest quote unquote minority here in Tennessee. You know what I mean, and I don't even see Mexican uh, black and Mexicans like that. I actually had a Mexican say, "Yeah, we don't really." You know, we don't, we don't really deal with black people. They steal our women. Like, <laughs> I mean, it was like one of the first, first negative things I ever heard. When it comes to stereotypes, that was one of the first stereotypes I heard from a Mexican, uh, from a Mexican guy. He yeah. wasn't talking about him. He was just saying his uncles and he was like, yeah, I got racist bitches. You know, because you know how Mexican people talk when they get around you. They want to be cool. So he's like, yeah, I got me- me- um, my uncles, they some racist little bitches, man. They racist, man. They racist as fuck. They say black guys steal all the women. They steal their women. I'm like, oh, shit. But I don't see that. I don't see that in my neck of the woods. Only time I see interracial, I see black and white. Yeah. I don't. You can go to the hoods and you see blacks, blacks, Africans, uh, 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 Mexicans, everybody living in the same hood, but they don't mix. They don't mix and mingle like that. So I don't know how it is in Florida, but in Tennessee, I don't see a lot of mixing unless it's black and white. Florida. I think it depends on where you at. Certain parts. Like certain parts of Florida don't have Mexicans like that. It's more like uh, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Dominicans, Cuba. Colombians, Venezuelans, nah, Nicaraguans. And it depends on where they grew up at. So, like, if you grew up in a predominantly Hispanic neighborhood, uh-huh. you'll see you'll see the mixing. But if you grew up in a part that's mostly black ados you ain't gonna see the mixing as much but the mixing don't be a big deal or when you do see it like it ain't nothing that's really gone it ain't really nothing that nobody really gonna say nothing about for the most part it's kind of normalized in a sense yeah 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 and that's what i'm saying i just we just really didn't see it i even think but it's not that common though it's not it's not as common as it's not uncommon, but it's not like a big. Be honest with you, man. Like, ain't nobody really thinking about it. Like, if you got a, if you got a Mexican chick, you got a Mexican chick. If her baby daddy Puerto Rican or her baby daddy Cuban, it's like he better have some money. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I think that's more so what people don't really it's like. More, off you, on. Think it's more, you think it's more financial than anything, even when it comes to dating and marriage. You know what and all. That, that's what that's what to make the difference, though. Like, if a black female brought like a broke ass Chico through the hood, it's gonna be like, man, who the fuck is this Chico? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if he yeah. get, but if yeah. he get in a little money, his people's got work. Uh, you you get it. You know what I'm saying? Then nah, that's yeah, like I, I hear you, <laughs> and yeah, you got a point. But I don't know. Like I said, it's so uncommon here that if I don't know, I think if our people see yeah, it, it's gonna, gonna be like. We gonna be like, what the fuck? Who the fuck she messing with him for? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, they gonna start plotting. Then the same thing, like with a chick, like if you bring, if you bring a, but see, people know, know who from. So you got Mexican, you got you got Hispanic ghettos in Miami, in Florida, like with Chico's from the hood, his hood, like Winwood. That's a Hispanic ghetto. You know what I'm saying? So. If you get a Chico from there, it's gonna be different than you get a Chico from, say, High Elia. That's more white leaning, cause all Chicos, they all the same. But you got some that more so gravitate towards that white, that white side, that white privilege side, and then you got some that stay in the middle. They all the way, whatever nationality they is. If they Cuban, they all about Cuban. If they Mexican, they all about Mexican. Then you got the ones that. Growed up in the ghetto, so they're a little more leaning toward like black, integrated in the black uh, spaces. Nah, I hear you, bro. I hear you. Salute, God, Jacob. What's up? What, what you think? You think them people should have a voice, though? See, I don't care. I don't. I don't. I don't care. I don't care about interracial dating, right? Like, if you got a, if you got an interracial uh, partner. <laughs> But my thing is though, you kind of like uh, forfeited your right to kind of like have an opinion anymore though. You, know? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, like, yeah, like, yeah. You kind of like forfeit your right to kind of like uh, have an opinion at that point as it relates to the yeah. community like the or the community. collective. Like the black community. Is that what you're saying? Like the black community as a collective, you forfeit your right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's my motto. That's my motto. I always <laughs> tell people, man, I don't, you know, I can't help it who you fall in love with, but you can't you can't sleep white and then come talk black to me. You get what I'm saying? You fall in love with who you want to fall with. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But uh, I, I I just feel like man, I look at marriage as this not just a a, a a union, but a but a financial situation too. Because Say like a, a brother or a sister, they, they, they attain some type of economic freedom, wealth. And when you die, man, that money go back to the white people. Now, that's what I heard a lot. That's an argument that I heard. It's like, okay, now if, if you ain't never seen it before. Say it again. You never seen it before. I, and, and celebrities, right? Oh, right. You I've, only, I've seen it when a friend of mine passed away. He passed yeah, away. I've seen it in real life. He was a brother. He was one of my, my I wouldn't say he was a good friend, but he was a part of another boat unit. And he, he had a, he, he was doing some good things, man. And he and he had a white woman and, and passed away. And everything he achieved kind of went to her. And two years later, she married to a white man. Right. So I was like, damn. Like, you know, I just look at, I look, I mean, I might be overthinking it, but I'm like, damn, all that wealth he created. And it's, mm -hmm. it ended up, it ended up right back in. Yeah, right back into the white. Hey, right hey, back. Hey, yeah. hey, what about the reverse though? What about like the the niggas from the hood? Because I know some dudes that uh they specialize in uh knocking off white chicks and, and Spanish chicks with money, right? Yeah, yeah. So what about the one the, the brothers who like uh they maneuver their way into them into them white circles? And just be running wild, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, man, that's that's be that having a white girl why? daddy boat. They be taking the white girl daddy boat, all type of stuff. They stole all yeah. type of money out of the white girl <laughs> daddy account. Well, like, well, well, I salute that. That's you, <laughs> man. That, that's recompense. You know what I mean? That's payback. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to encourage that part. Yeah, get that boat. <laughs> Yeah. And see, can you get me a pair of J's too? Shit. For real, I done seen that. Cause we got y'all got in y'all don't have Indians in Tennessee, huh? Got what? 
Y'all don't have Indians up there, huh? Y'all got Indian reservation? Uh uh, no, no. Like, I know some niggas that's so cold. They, 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 they specialize in going on them Indian reservations because you know them Indians get checks every month. They get like seven thousand for themselves, and for each additional kid, they get like I think it's thirty five hundred per kid. So you get a Mexican chick with four with four kids, that's free money. They might get like fifteen thousand dollars free every month, just. And that's how all these niggas do. These niggas just knock off Indian bitches, Mikasuki and Seminole bitches all day. All right, now let me ask you this though, Bo. Now I gotta ask you as it relates to ADOS, right? Now, if we ADOS and we keep getting into these inter interracial relationships and having different babies, does that affect the lineage? It's gonna eventually affect the lineage, right? Of course it affects of course it affect the lineage. Mm. Oh, and I guess that's I guess that's my thing about it. It's like so. What, what about intercultural? Go ahead, go ahead. What about intercultural relationships? What is that? So like a like a black man with a Caribbean woman, or a black man with a Somali, yeah. Somali woman, or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Damn. So you saying that'll change the lineage too? You figure deal me? I hear you, but I, I'm going to go back to my all black is black, though. Oh, but I have to admit, in the same breath, when I say that, I have to admit, from personal experience, I've only dealt with black American women, though. You know what I'm so, all for me I, feel like some, I feel like some cultures, I feel like some cultures uh, assimilate better and make a little better on... Um, and then I believe it's, it's also on who it is. Like, if a man marry a chick, that chick gonna take on your culture. Well, no. Your, your child gonna be raised more in that other culture. You know what I'm saying? Where if a woman do it, she, she got a better chance of passing on the culture than dude. Cause she gonna be the one feeding it. So now you got an ADOS baby. He ain't never ate no cornbread because all his mama cook is goddamn fufu. You done married an African girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta kidnap your son and drop him off around your mama house for, for months at a time so he could yeah. learn about his culture, learn about the food. Or else he just going to be stuck on fufu and the goosey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. uh, man, you got to introduce him to some hog mouth. Yeah, you feel me? A little sauce or something. Let them come hang yeah. out. Man, but uh, it's crazy, man. I, I, I'm just not into I think that's why New York is so weird to me. I think that's why New York so weird. Because they have all them intercultural relationships with um, mm -hmm. Caribbeans and other people. To when it, when, it, when it turned around, they can't even speak with confidence about ADOS because they baby mama Jamaican or they kid have Jamaican or this or that. So it does create like a blurred line. Yeah. If you go to New York and, and, and all these um cities like DC, um, where else? Uh, New Miami. York, you come to Miami. Miami? Yeah. All these people like like it was a shock to me sometimes because I, I you know I just be seeing so so much. It's a big melting pot. I didn't I don't like it, but you know at the same time it is what it is. But I just feel like damn man, we gonna see. We gonna, I ain't gonna, gonna, gonna say that I don't like it, right? I ain't gonna say that I don't like it because I grew up in that type of environment, right? Mm. But by me, um, by me coming from like a country ass background, mm -hmm. like my granddaddy having my country ass granddaddy, you know, who grew up all his life in, you know what I'm saying, rural Georgia and shit like that. Yeah. And it being other ADOS, because really immigrants really started coming like in the 90s, 2000s. Yes, mm -hmm. in the '90s, really. Like, if you look at the Haitians, they started coming in the '90s. Jamaicans started coming in like the '80s, so it was still a heavy on um, ADOS influence in the, and we still all had those Carolina, Alabama, um, Georgia ties, you know. Yeah. Whereas I think our kids growing up in this era, they don't really have that that as much uh connection yeah. back to yeah. the to the country. Because if you know, like back in the 80s during the whole early 90s, 
all us was tapping back in with our little country roots, you know what I'm saying? Hitting the road mm -hmm. and making it yeah. happen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we yeah. all knew who we was, but now though, this new generation, and then it wasn't fashionable to be no 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 Haitian or no Jamaican back then, right? So culturally, ADOS culture sat at the top of, at the top of the totem pole, like when I was growing up, like. Like you wasn't gonna never catch no ADOS person pretending to be Haitian, like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> but not Haitian, but not Haitians. They done, they done. You know what I'm saying? Did what they had to do, made a little mark. Now you got niggas pretending to be Haitian. You got future ride of uh, flying around Haitian flags and shit. It's like, what you doing, bro? Like that's weird to me. Hey, what up? <laughs> GOJ, is that you coming in on, on the phone? I don't know what that is. You got to type something in the back chat or something, God of Jacob. I don't know what that is. It's another God of Jacob trying to join. That's that's probably the, um, what his name is? Um, James. James Jones. You know he always be trolling with other people's names. <laughs> no, nah, it ain't. <laughs> it ain't James. It ain't James. I'm saying whoever this is. Let's see. That's probably God of Jacob, though. Hey, you know that? My bad. My bad. I had to switch okay. setups. All right. Cool. 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 Hey, That's in okay. Tennessee, in Tennessee, though, see, y'all ain't got it like that, though, right? What? What? What's it like as far as like the the cultural um influences? Because I know y'all got ADOS culture so ingrained in it, right? But now with the rap yeah. music and everybody looking on TV. Like y'all be going through that too, where like niggas be acting, pretending like they Jamaicans or pretending like they Haitians and stuff, like on some still, weirdo type like, stuff. Still not like that, bro. The most you'll get is a, a person to come back from Atlanta and start talking the Atlanta slang, <laughs> right? That's the most you'll get. Yeah, man. Yeah, real. That's how you get? I, I say that for real. A lot about a lot about my my people, man. My people leave here. Go somewhere else. And but you can't, back. you can't hide that Tennessee, especially y'all females. They can't hide that Tennessee accent. Nah, Tennessee on female Tennessee in Louisiana for some reason. When I hear female talking from there, that shit do something to me. Yeah, I love that. I love that uh, New Orleans, that Louisiana accent too. That baby, baby. Yeah, baby. yeah. Damn man, I wish I had it. my home. My homeboy recorded a voicemail that his uh Louisiana girls she called him snapping on him and he, he recorded that voicemail and put it as the intro to his song, man. And she was snapping, boy. I'm like, babe, I had your back when nobody had your back, baby. That's what she's talking like it. I was like, I love that fucking accent, boy. Oh, that shit do so. Man, hey, I, when I was down there, man, they had so many red bones with the gold in their mouth, man. They were looking, oh my. Oh, I was like, yo, they was different down there, man. They was different. And the gold was popping off. I was like, man, this, this, where's this shit been at? But I, I, I love the accents. I love everything down there. Where you from, God? I'm from Cleveland. Oh, y'all ain't got, oh, y'all ain't got females with golds in their mouth, huh? Ah, uh, not like that, man. We got females with missing teeth. Shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, oh, hell shit. no. The motherfucker's struggling up there. That's why I like Florida though. Florida just get the, the yeah, Florida. I mean, we we got them rocked up. They be rocked up. Man, when I was growing up in the early nineties, you had it with diamonds and rubies in their mouth. Yeah, mm -hmm. gold with the diamonds and rubies. Yeah, they get <laughs> the was crazy back then. Florida get the silence, man. Like we get yeah, the anything, any, anything else considered fake. Like <laughs> pull outs, they say that's fake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now nah, pull-ups came out. That was like in my generation. Like you said, man, everybody really my age. I don't know, pull outs was, was cool when I was when I was a youngster. But before that, it was just it was the for real the fucking permanence. The permanence, boy. <laughs> Spain, you from Texas? Oh my bad. That's my one strike. Yeah, I ain't never know that all these years. Oh, she from Texas. She be talking like that. I thought she was an immigrant. The way she be talking about me and nah, nah, so ladies, this is my girl, ladies, babe, just hard. <laughs> she just hard on everybody, right? Yeah. What's man. that club I went to in Texas? Chocolate City. It was in Houston, Chocolate Town, or some shit. Like, man, that shit went off. <laughs> oh, Texas. 
I don't believe that. that. She might be one of them Nigerians or something that moved to Texas. One of them. Um... <laughs> no, they all in uh, yeah, they in Houston. They in Houston more, and some a lot of them in Austin. Now nah, Houston a bad motherfucker from what I hear. I ain't been yeah, to Houston. I had a ball down there. Yeah, I've been through there. Ish. I've been through there. Uh, what I see on the fucking internet and Instagram, it's like sheesh. Yeah. Like What's the name of that, oh, that man. club, man. They had so many clubs on it. It was banging, dog. Jesus Christ. But, uh, That's a but I had a ball down there. I had a ball down there. Look at her. She talking dirty about me again. She stayed talking dirty about me. Every well, time I look up. Let Spade on you. I mean, let Spade on either like you or, or not. Hey, so what So what about what about yeah. them, um, them white people that find their way into the hood? Like in Tennessee, because I know y'all got them. You know, yeah. y'all get them white girl. Once they hit the hood, one day it's over with. They can't yeah, go back. It's, it's over. over. It's they, over. They, they ruin. It's, it's over. over. And you gonna find somebody in the hood that's gonna mate with her. <laughs> that's just white Keisha. <laughs> her name just gonna be white Keisha. You know she got a baby by Mike Mike, and she, <laughs> white Keisha good. At her. <laughs> white Keisha don't never move. You know. All right, damn. Then this ain't funny. Why Keisha never moves Mike out the hood? Why Keisha and Mike kind of just stay in the hood? It's like, yeah, oh, man. See that? See that ain't what I'm talking about. See, yeah, them, that's what them, I'm them saying. Where it's like, uh, it'd be the, funny, but it's like, uh, like. Where's the benefit? That's why I say they be ruined, though. They be ruined. Yeah. Like once the female, like listen, I feel like once a white chick like come through the hood, she kind of like ruined after that, mm. like. You got to get you one out. You gonna go that route? <laughs> oh, bad boy, you funny. Let's welcome Jupes to the uh, to the channel. What's going on, Jupes? No, I'm okay. I said I pop through. <clears throat> oh right man, there can we goes. get a? Can we get a? Um, you're in an inter uh, interracial relationship, right? Mm hmm. Like I don't know. I guess I'm looking for the benefits, the pros, the cons, like. What what's beneficial? What's beneficial uh, from an interracial relationship? I think it's exactly the same as any other relationship. Mm, right. Mm. So what's the what's the cons? What what's the challenges? Put it like that. Um, other people's preconceptions. So, so you always get um, white couples or black couples who think that they know what the challenges are and they have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. So I will tell you, oh, your families won't get on when, of course, they can. They will tell. They will tell you, oh, but your your children will be mixed race and they won't be that um, intelligent, which is bullshit. Yeah. What, what about? Oh, the white lady won't know how to look after the daughter's hair, which is, of course, is crap. I don't yeah. know about that. I don't know. I don't know. I might tend to agree with that one. I might. T I never seen. The, I never. I'm gonna leave that alone. But um, what about like as far as you you, you familiar with the term the tragic mulatto? You know you, you know about the tragic mulatto. You ever heard of that? No, I know mulatto is something that Americans use to talk about mixed race, but no. You never heard the term tragic mulatto. No, it's um. Uh, what about like the identity crisis that that um that affects a lot of interracial uh, children? Right. So I think that a lot of that is down to the fact that in the past there was uh, racial prejudice a lot more so than I don't know what America's like, but I can I can um, talk about Britain. Okay. Okay. So, in um in in Britain, we we don't seem to have the racial segregation that you or what it appears to be from looking outside in in America. Okay, but we did have that maybe forty, fifty years ago, and so there was a there was a lot of children that were born that were mixed race that didn't have both parents. Because even now, if, if even if you're born and you're in a, being raised by a single mother, most of those um, children will know that who their dads are, you know, and they will have some form of contact. 
but not just so, knowing who they are though, but knowing who the child, the, the identity, like, I'm gonna tell you this, right? This is my opinion, right? I feel like a lot of kids that's mixed race got identity, have like identity crises at certain points in their life, unless they get totally disconnected from the other side, right? So let's say a, a, a half breed kid, right? Grow up with his black mother and don't really know his white or Hispanic um father, right? He gonna be a little bit more protected, right? Cause he done had the whole black community around him. He been around them all his life. He don't really had no connection and don't identify with that white side of him, right? So he gonna be a little more stable. But when you get them that come up in them um, white and black households and jumping between the two, by the time they make it to college and all that, they turn into your Kaepernick's. Like to me, Kaepernick got an identity issue. That's why he be on all that blackity black with the, his whole seventies afro and all that crap. You know what I'm saying? Like they try, they they try to over overcompensate for not really. No, not really. Because go, go let ahead. me let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. I've raised, I've got eight children because, you know, I've been married twice, both long-term marriages, by the way. Um, my my white children, um, boys, went through, go through exactly the same process as my mixed-race children. So um, you will find that teenagers, even girls, teenagers go through through a period of pubescence where um, they doubt themselves. They're finding themselves. They'll try different makeup styles, different hairstyles. Um, you know, sometimes they can be really happy with their looks. Sometimes they have self doubt. Um, they, I don't think it reflects just because they're mixed race. I think that that happens anyway to to any individual. But see, that's the UK though, and I think mm -hmm. y'all got a different racial dynamic over there and a different cultural dynamics within community. But like, if your same mixed race child like tried to drop over here in America and tell people that they was black, it's certain parts of America and super su certain groups of black people that's gonna look at them like they crazy. Like, man, just oh, we've got people like that in this country too. Yes, yeah, oh. oh. yeah, so, so we have racists over here. Well, that's not racist though. That's not. No, I don't know. Yeah. We can't. We can't call them racist. It is racist. If you tell. If a white person tells a mixed race kid that they can't recognize their white genes, or a black person tells a mixed race kid they can't recognize their black genes, they're being racist. Yeah. No. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Because you're not white, because that child isn't white. So they wouldn't be pure white and they wouldn't be pure black. Okay. But they would be of the black race and they would be of the white race and they would carry that blood in their veins. Not necessarily. Yeah. Teron, bro, real quick. Teron, Teron, is that you, brother? Yeah, yeah, it's me. It's me. All right, cool, cool, cool. Go ahead, Bo, my bad. Oh, nah, uh, I, I disagree. I disagree, but uh, let Teron go. Because I don't want to take it somewhere else before uh, somebody else get to chime in on yeah, it. Yeah, 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 at the, at the initial question. So, Teron, yeah. I don't know. What do you see you know, in your life or, or, or see where you at, man? Pros and cons of interracial dating, if there's any. All right. So I, I think it's different uh, depending on the matchup. If it's okay. like a black man or a white woman or a black woman or a white man, for one. But speaking from a black True. man perspective, I think there's more negatives for a black man dating a white woman than, than positives, than pros. Okay, well, that's your opinion. You're allowed to have that opinion. I'm not going to argue with your opinion. And I, think, I, one of, and I think one, if I could just finish, I think uh, mm. Bo, did, Bo touched on uh, one of the reasons if you have kids, from what I've noticed, and I actually only started to notice it since being in the UK, because they have a lot of mixed kids out here, that there is an identity crisis uh, with uh, mixed children. Um especially when they have contact with both sides. And here in the UK, you know, with such a like white dominated society, I don't know. I just see mixed kids as having like <clears throat> major identity crisis, like doing exactly what Bo said uh, Kaepernick does kind of like over, kind of like overdoes it with the, uh, with the, you know, like trying to be black and stuff like that. But that's just my opinion and my observation. Mm. And let so me say this too, right? As far as... 10 to 15 years ago in the UK, 
they put out a thing saying that over 50% of mixed race children were under the age of, I think it was 10. So what you're talking about is we've got a very, very young um, uh, group of people that are mixed race. Okay. So they're very new. That, that, that core group is very, very I disagree. New. I disagree. I know a lot of mixed race people who are like 50 years old. And then looking, if you can go on YouTube they're, they're and find. Not in, the masses, not, in the, not in the size that they are now. It's more common now. In, I would say it's UK. more common now. I agree. But it, it's been going on for a long time in, oh, have you? in Britain. Race mixing has been going on from eons. But I would say as far as black men go in the UK, they do it way more than black men in the United States. Yeah, more than likely. And if it was that bad, I don't understand why they would keep doing it. Why are mixed kids uh, overrepresented in orphanages in the UK? I'm not so sure that that's true. So I do know that I do know that our government brought in a legislation where mixed race children could only go to interracial relationships. Which, we, I, for my part, I thought was really stupid. And that was something that came out of the black movement because people that were black didn't like black children being placed with white people. So what they did was they tried to fit the ethnicity of the children with the adopted parents rather than... I was reading that. something that they're trying to create a, rix, a mixed race Britain. That's interesting <laughs> that you pointed that out, that uh, there was a law that only mixed kids or mixed people could marry mixed people. I was reading something... Uh, um, where they predict that, they, they predict that most of the UK is most of the phone is there, George. Hold on, sorry, I'll be back. I've got a phone call. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. I like I like the South African model, right? What's I like that? The, the South African model. You ain't black, you ain't white, you you colored. You got your own specific um Bo, that's how it is in the UK. You got so your own is, specific uh, classification. Yeah, and you know what, Bo? That's I, I'm probably Latinos Bo, like that too. Let, let me tell you this, Bo. I never heard that argument until I got on these UK streams. Like the UK people done a stream on this before, and I'm just sitting in the background listening, like, yo, that shit for where I'm at, man. If you mix, you choose. Yeah, you know I mean, Bo, you mix, you if if you mix, you choose. I, I went to school with mixed people, and you had some of them hung with the white crowd, majority of them hung with the black people. Right. But you and, know, historically though, we had the one drop rule, so we kind of like yeah. had to yeah, that's what I'm saying. Absorb, we, we for it. I mean, I, I I subscribe to that. The first time I ever started okay. doubting the one drop rule is listening to the UK yep. family, like exactly. Damn. Damn, they yeah. got a point. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, our whole life. But you know, but we was conditioned like that, though. That was yeah. law. Yeah, that was law. law. That fact. wasn't something. That was the law. Fact. I had never heard that, bro. And that's crazy. You saying this, so you agree that they should be their own separate race? Or yeah, okay, yeah, most definitely. Because, and I'll even more so say, like, like you said, it depends on the um, on the on the father, right? On the genders, like. I believe, like, I tend to believe whatever the mother is, the child is going to gravitate towards, right? Like, yep. a black woman can't give birth to a white child. Yep. So how the hell can a white woman give birth to a, a black child? Facts. Just don't make no sense to me. Mm. I don't know, man. My Hebrew Israelite brothers would debate would debate on that. Man. You know what? You Jews, gonna, Jews would agree to? too. Jews would agree with you. Yeah, because you're from the that. seat of your father. If, if no, you no, no. Jew, Jews or okay, not not the Hebrew Israelites, oh, but the the other, you know, uh, the real Jews, man, the real Jews. <laughs> <laughs> the Go ahead, yeah, they, you talking about they, the imposters. Go okay, ahead. I didn't want to, you know, I know that's how some people feel about them on here, but uh, yeah, they they go by the mother too, though. You, you can't be an Israel, you can't be an Israeli if uh. You, you didn't. You, your mother wasn't Jewish, right? Yeah. They don't even see you like a real Jew, to be honest. But it's not. But it, it don't even go both ways though. Like a black woman would never be able to give birth to a child that would be considered white. Never. never. So how the hell can a white woman present me a child and tell me that it's black? Give birth to a child and tell me that this is a black child. It's like no, that child white, just like you white. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have to ask Jukes about that when she come back. Good question for Jukes, man. What was the question? I'm back here messing around. Damn, <laughs> the question uh, <laughs> it's impossible because the guy Jacob, you might disagree with this. So 
Okay. If, if, if a, a, a black woman can never have a white child, then same thing if you reverse it. A white woman can never have a black child. A white woman. Well, well according to my you. belief, according right, to so my belief, you are the seed of your father. So yeah. that's easy cut. And I don't care what Jewish say, because Jewish, there's no tribe of Jewish in the Bible. And the Bible don't back up. You got to be the seed of your mother. It's just That's not. But you saying so? You saying black father, white mother. That child is black. He's a, he's child, he's an Israelite. The yeah. child is black according to the Bible. And I'm not no, about to have a Bible discussion. No, I got you. I got you. I just want to you know let's just throw out everything out there. Jupes, now let me hear you as a you can speak from experience. Let me hear you, Jupes. Right, so number one, it's not true. Black women can give birth to white children, even if they've got a black partner. There's such a thing as throwback. Um, it's very rare, but it happens. There was a couple in Woolwich in southeast London, um, in England, that actually had such a child. And um, all the doctors agreed that the child wasn't an alb albino. It was, in fact, a white baby. Um, so it can happen. It's very rare, but it can happen. So you know I don't what we're talking about, though. But, so, but yeah, it is. So two black people having a white baby, you believe it's not possible. It is possible. I've just told yeah, you. Yeah, but tonight. we're not talking about that, Jupes. We're talking about a black man, white woman. Could that yeah. baby be considered black? Uh, not fully black, but it will be considered of the black race, yeah, just like it's of the white race. Now, do you agree so, that... So black that people and white people have no right to tell a mixed-race person that they they are not engaged with their heritage. It's disgusting if they do that. You know, uh, historically, I don't think black people has ever done that to mixed race people, and it's at least from the United States, like no, what we've we mentioned, don't. the one drop rule, where I, I've never seen white people accept mixed people as fully white or like they're white like them, except if they were like very light skinned and they didn't know that they were mixed with black. Now, I got to agree with, with, with T-Pain on that one, man, because I've heard more of when I speak to mixed people, um, mixed race people in America, they tell me, yeah, my mom was shunned. Okay, if the mom was white. My mom was shunned by her family. You see what I'm saying? I hear that more than I hear the opposite. See what I'm saying? I no, I can't, I can't speak for that. If we're only going to go by what people have experienced, I have experienced the opposite. So what I, would, what I would say is that um, on these channels, I've met very many black people that actually don't want mixed race children to call themselves black. In fact, Teron actually stood in that position when he first came onto the panel. Yeah, and Bo actually Bo said it. Bo said the same thing. He said mixed race people should be classified as a different race. What do you think about that? I'm telling you, in the UK, they're gonna they're gonna advocate for that. They're gonna be their own people in the UK in the future. I mean, they're already classified as such, but because that. when their numbers grow, they're going to say, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have a problem for that. I think that would be good for them, actually. Right. If, if, right. if somebody wanted me to uh, ask if I would uh, be pro that, I would be pro a movement for mixed race children to actually identify themselves as mixed race. Right. Yeah. Mm. As you got identity. split allegiances. You got split allegiances. <laughs> Pretty much. I've got no split allegiances. You see, uh, it, I often wonder, right, when when you see people, right, descendants of slavery who are born in um, America and they know they're American, but they also uphold their heritage, okay? Nobody says they've got a problem understanding the two dynamics. Nobody what says. Dynamic? That, Hold on, what America, dynamic are you talking about? Hold on. Nobody says African Americans have got a problem understanding their two dynamics. Yet you want to what dynamic is you that? Say the mixed race children have a problem understanding two what dynamics. Di what it's dynamics? Great. What two dynamics do African Americans have? We don't identify with no damn they have African American identity, and they also have their heritage, which is African. No, no, we don't. No, we, yeah, we, no, we don't have. We don't have an African is, heritage. Black culture is no, not really made up of a lot of Africans. Africa. Right, yeah, so that's, 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 these, that's these crazy hoteps you be seeing. The average African American in America is not claiming Africa. Okay, well, you it's would say if you see people that uh, migrate in from Nigeria, say, to your right. country, and then they take on the the citizenship, they would see themselves as what African American. That's why I call myself Black American. 
No, they right. will tell you they're Nigeria. I spoke to enough of them. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to take on that. They're going to say, I'm Nigeria. I'm Some of them try to be uh, slick for, for event for paper for to get certain advantages. Some of them will walk around saying I'm African American. If they if they're a citizen, even though they was born, you know, because they got if they got the paperwork, some of them will do it even if yeah, even if they were born in right yeah, for benefit game. purposes. Yeah. Right. It makes them easier. It makes it easier for them to assimilate into um, American culture by taking on that that other identity. And even then with them, like a lot of them still have troubles as it relates to their own culture. And so an actual Nigerian that's born and raised in Nigeria. Yeah. He's not going to identify with a Nigerian born in America. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be almost other in a lot of regards. You know what I'm saying? Of course not. But when people assume that somebody of, of dual heritage can't um, have a mindset that understands it, um, it it's ridiculous. It's like, it's like hold, hey, let me ask you a question, right? Because I'm not from the UK. What's the little half-breed dude name with the dread that be talking on? All that back Africa stuff. We don't use the term half-breed. I think that's the name. We don't use the term half-breed. We find that as insulting. How? Because the half-breed is insulting. They're not breeds. They're human beings. Two different... Yeah, a caller. That's his name. (laughs) That's his name, a caller. Like, he strike me as confused. In a lot of regard, even though he could quote all that hotel history and all that other stuff, but they promote they promote him hella in British on mainstream British TV to talk that shit. I don't even but, you know. But they always promote the the half breeds to be the face of blackness. That's why we don't need to have half for half bread. The to, to mix race people. Okay, so that's, what, what's the, what's the politically the correct name in in the, the UK? Because in America they're referred to as half breeds. What's the com- politically correct <laughs> word? In the UK, it's ethnicity. Yeah. Okay, so they always gonna promote the mix ethnicity to be the face of blackness. If you leave it up to mainstream media and to white people, historically it has always happened. Yeah, but that's a bit ridiculous. So with all the yeah, all so the that's I- why they can't be trusted. Yeah, but with all the identity politics that's happened in Britain, I very much doubt that people are going to use just mixed race people to represent the black community. That would be stupid. I don't know. Like, I wouldn't want a mixed race person talking for me. Um, I'm not advocating for a mixed race person to talk for you. But I think they've got that's, just... But that's how it, that's how it manifests, though. Right to talk about discrimination based on colour as a black person has. Let me, let me say this, right, because that's how it manifests. See, when you allow mixed race people to to be the face of blackness or to hide behind blackness or to identify as black, when certain issues come up, they're going to be the ones that the white people are going to run to. They're, they're going to be the buffer class to speak for other black people. Mm-hmm. So me, if you not if you had wasn't born from a black mother and father to me, this is my opinion. My opinion. You can't speak to me because we don't have even have the same experiences. Like nobody with a white mother can pretend to have the same experiences that I had. You know what I'm saying? No, I quite agree with you. And and not, no two blacks have the same experience. So you quite often get a Ghanaian black saying a Nigerian black that would have oh, a different. Oh, 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 y'all don't know about. I'm, I'm <laughs> like I'm black, in the middle. Ethiopian black. You could Man. even go as far as get yeah. Jamaican. Black, they will all have different experiences. Man. See, and that's the thing. In the UK, black is like nebulous. When you start saying black, it could be Jamaican. It could all these type of people. When you say black in the United States, it's understood yeah. what you mean. Uh-huh. But see, that's why I'm telling her. Like we're we're a we're we're ADOS. We don't even. I don't. I don't identify as black. I identify as an American descendant of state slaves, a foundational black American. So when mm. you bring up the argument about Ghanaians and Nigerians. Them people damn sure can't speak for me either. I don't identify with them. Like, I'm exactly. cool with them. I'm what cool I would say them. is that black is not a unifying thing because you're not unified. Yeah, that's why I prefer. I don't even like being referred to as black. I feel like that strips up a, of our identity. And it allow people to co-opt and infiltrate, infiltrate our circles. Mm. 
Right. So you would have black people. So you would have some black people that would probably argue, just like we have we have white people over here that are not all the same thought processes. So you would have some black people that would probably argue that you should be unified and stay on code and all stand together, even though you've got different experiences. And then you would have others that would say, no, actually, our, our groups are more nuanced, and we should be we we should be more nuanced than just go with the thinking. No, we of, don't have we don't have the same experiences though. I have no idea about what's going no, on in Nigeria or Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. So you even know, brothers, even brothers from the same mum and father, mother and father don't have the same experiences. No, I'm talking about collectively as a group. Collectively in, in as society. a group in society, we do not have the same experiences. Ghanaians and Nigerians did not experience Jim Crow. They did not come through the transatlantic slave trade. We don't mm. eat the same. I look at I look at African food and I would not eat it on first sight. On first glance, it doesn't strike me as something that should be eaten. So we have totally different experiences, <laughs> understandings, and cultures. You know what I'm saying? So that's completely different than people with that. Yeah, I, I can absolutely understand that. And I would say that, uh, that a black American and, a, and a, a black British are not the same either. Correct. Correct. Actually, I had a chance to work with I had a chance to work with the white guy from Nebraska out here in the UK. And one thing we came to the conclusion, like black and white people in America have way more in common than, say, a black American and a black British person, just because of the uh, the you know, the culture is, is unifying more than the color. There's some black Brits I just can't understand, you know, uh, at all, at, at all. all. Yeah. You see, in Britain, you've got you've got two groups of white people as well. You've got one group of white people that believe that they've got more in common with Europeans on mainland Europe that because just by skin colour. And then you've got others that say, no, actually, we've got more in common with people are, are, that are raised in Britain regardless of colour. Mm. So it all depends on what group you fall into there as well. And then it gets more nuanced from there. And there's what a do way you believe, Do you be As a European, I take it you're English. Do you feel like you and somebody who is in Germany or Spain, just because you, you have uh, white skin or pale skin, do you feel that's no. enough to unify you? No. Yeah, because it seems like the, there's even a huge divide in the UK among classes. You know, there's do a white clear distinction between, there's a clear distinction of what kind of white person here is in England. Not saying one is above the other, but class-wise, you can definitely see like there's, uh, you know, what with labor, um, working class and I don't, you know, uh, above that, I guess, yeah, whatever. So, so, again, even in that, there's two, the, the, it's more nuanced than that because um, there are some people that, that that would be in the bottom class and be proud of it, like working class. And and then there's others that would be ashamed to be in working class and, and, and would try to strive to be call themselves in the other classes. Um, there's also those that believe that working class is a frame of mind. And then there's another group that would say, no, working class is based on your finances. Hey, let me ask you this, right? Because a lot of black people, especially when you get like in hotel circles, they have this belief that all white people are unified against black people, right? right. <laughs> and, that white, and that white people don't have divisions and black people are the only people that's divided, right? And I believe that black people are more unified then white people in other groups, but it, and it hasn't done us any good, right? So, like, what's the relationship like with white people in Europe versus Eastern Europe and Western Europe and stuff like that? Even going down to like the relationship with the Scottish and the Irish to the British, like, I can't tell you from a black person's point of view because I'm not black. No, I'm asking you from a white person point of view, like, so from a white how do you see like an Eastern view. European? They hate, eat, Brits hate Eastern Europe. From a white point of view, I see mainland Europeans as much more racist. Huh? Yeah, I, I think they're much more racist. What, what like, is it to the mainland Europeans? Yeah, not what, British. What, what, so what? Germany, France, Hungary, Sweden, all those kind of places. I think they're much more racist. In fact, Sweden's not too bad, really. But yeah, there, there, there's there's many countries on my, in, in in mainland Europe that are much more, much more racist than Britain. But Jupes aren't isn't uh, don't Eastern Europeans 
uh, Eastern European migrate immigration to the UK is it was was high. I think maybe a lot of them left. But I know there was a problem when I worked at a wire factory out here. The English guys and the Polish guys or the Slavic guys they would not intermix. They would not talk to each other. They just stood on opposite sides of the room at lunch and kept it at that. Um, I don't know about that. I know that when I when I was at work and in around two thousand and four, when we got a lot of Polish workers suddenly come in, that the Polish tended to speak in their own language, and so they they ostracized people from engaging with them. Oh no! Yeah, when they get into a a job, they take over. They they start in, uh, getting their family members hired, their friends hired, and it, you know before you know it, the whole establishment will be Polish. But but I don't know. From what I noticed, like man, it seems like yeah, I agree with both. I think black people are more unified than than whites, and it hasn't done us any good uh, for some reason. And whites recognize that as well. As much the ethnic live streams I be dipping it onto, just listening, they can't only seem only thing they seem to agree on is skin color. Other than that, they got like totally different ideologies and how they feel. What kind of live streams? Uh, ethno nationalists. A European ethno nationalist, you know, they be live streaming just like we be live streaming. Some of them be coming on here and, and be listening and watching. Right. Uh, so you know, I, I see a few of them who come on here, go on other live streams, talk they should, and I've listened to what they talk about, and they can't really. It'd be like two, three hours uh, of them trying to hash Don't things out. About shit. Don't be talking about nothing. Yeah, like yeah, they can the, um, <laughs> hey, you know, if you read while. I've got gum. Hey, it's one of my favorite quotes, right? I'm telling you, it's by it's by that uh chick Ed Rand. She said, "Racism is the lowest form of collectivism," because they asked her, "How do you fight racism?" She said, "You don't have to fight racism." She said, "It's the lowest form of co of collectivism." She said, "They will burn themselves out." You know what I'm saying? And she, it was really about in the context of capitalism. She was like, "Capitalism." Will oh, will supersede racism and people who that gravitate towards race identity and stuff like that. Yeah, will always be at the bottom. I and believe you, so. And you said yeah, well said, but that's not. But that's not. That's not. Huh. True, huh. I mean, that's well said, but it's not true. Like show the me bottom, an example at the of bottom it. of what? Show me an example of it in twenty twenty one. At at the bottom of what though? That's, that's at what the I'm bottom saying. of whatever. Like that, you can't. I don't be understand what you're saying at the bottom, bro. Yeah, like sp sp at it. the bottom of society. Oh, okay. If you look I at most I, races, I know, the, the most racist of people, huh? they all tend to be broke from rural areas. Like not or true. just that's not true, bro. We just had the fucking <sighs> recording two years ago of uh, Donald Sterling. Being uh, racist, and he was he got not, fucking a billion dollars, but I'm okay, just and he and he and pays it, billions of dollars to black people, so he's not that racist. Capitalism superseded his racism. He's not stuck on racism, or else he would have employed and have all those black people around right, him. Oh, man, and the chick like he was slavery. messing with. That's not like slavery. Like I'm not racist because I got these slaves. Listen to me, bro. Of dollars. Listen to me, bro. I'm man. not a slave because I got these slaves, and not only do I got slaves, I got house ne negroes. As slaves, so I take real good care of them. I'm not racist because I got slaves. Black people live on my land. I'm not racist, but yeah, I look at I look at professional I get, sports. I get, I get, I get tired. I get. I'm not gonna say you crying, but yeah. it's like I just see I see racism in 2021. It's just some crybaby shit. Yeah. I'm. I hear you. I hear you. And that's not to say what you said, but I'm yeah, just saying I, like I, every I, time I somebody hold on every time somebody shows me an example of racism. It's like some crybaby shit of somebody pointing out that another person don't like him. Look, Donald Sterling, he said the N word. He but don't like black it, people. Okay, well, tell That's me like, this, though. But this well, crap is paying out is, millions of dollars. You, gotta, you gotta listen. You gotta listen, Bo. But is that a racist? Is he no, a nigga, no, who gives a fuck? Who knows? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't live with him. The question if, if he find, if he mad, listen, if he mad that a black man sticking 10 inches of dick up his hole, I, 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 I can understand if he's a bit get a bit frustrated and say this <laughs> that, bro. might say the n-word no he said no like they don't even that's what he said he was, he was i know he, yeah, he was it, mad that his hole was getting no, 10 inches of no, dick stuck up in him no he so said he made some inappropriate comments no, that's not true he said we don't we don't associate with them people why the fuck are you associating with them people? That's a fucking racist i don't associate Man. with them people because they black and they lower class and they at the back now, if a, if a person can't point that out and say this racism, I don't know what's wrong. I don't, with. Give, 
I don't know. It, it don't matter if you give a fuck or not. That chick he was but messing with wasn't I, even I white. Can point that out. The I chick he was messing with wasn't that. even white. Yeah, it don't matter if you bro, give relax, a fuck. Bro, relax, bro. It don't the matter. He was messing listen, with wasn't listen, even right. Listen, it don't matter if you don't give a fuck. I didn't say I don't give a fuck. What I said is that. What I said is that the woman he was in the relationship was not even white. He didn't have like some blonde haired blue eyed snow bunny. He had like a Mexican half Mexican half Filipino chick. And that's cra- That's even crazier. No, yeah, it's not was, crazy. That's human nature. That. That's, yeah. even cra- that's his yeah. nature. That's a racist nature. That's a racist nature. All right, man. I'm done with it, man. Go to some. Yeah. Get somebody else's perspective. Yeah, let's, let's get somebody else, man. Yeah, it's racist. And so it's crazy, but we're going to always have this conversation. That's what we yeah, got. Yeah, 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 no You're going to say, man, I don't think it exists. I think brother, it exists. Brother, so can we get somebody else's perspective, brother? We can go back and we're going to go back and forth. Let's get back on interracial dating, man. Let's get back on uh mixed race, mixed race babies and the mixed race as a, as, as their own identity. How do we invoke that? How do we invoke that, Bo? Right now, we we fighting for ADOS and it's mixed people coming to these ADOS God. meetings saying, "Look, my lineage is damn near." ADOS, ADOS, ADOS is ADOS isn't about race. ADOS is lineage. about lineage, right? Yeah, it's lineage, right? So, how far you are you saying two two? Um, it's not about it's not about ADOS race. ADOS parents. How it's does the parents about- work? You just need one ADOS parent to be identified as ADOS. So mixed, so mixed race people, they all good. If you got the lineage, if you got the lineage. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you mix with uh, ADOS. Yeah. Yeah. Got you. I got you. So like I was saying, white Keisha, right? White Keisha that that moved to the hood, whether she was thrown away by her, her baby, family. Her, her baby is ADOS. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. right. Sounds it sounds sounds hey, funny. Do, hey, do ladies speak ever get on the panel or does she just talk crazy in, in the yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. I don't know, uh, bro. We don't really worry about the comments. The comments no, I'm not I'm not I'm not talking about her comments in particular. I'm just saying, do she yeah. ever come on and express her nah, views she or does she just she comment? She just she in the comments, man. Oh, yeah, she in the comments. Yeah, them type of people be easy to talk dirty about you, but they they'll never hit that button and join and try mm-hmm. to tell me that. Yeah, yeah. Let me go ahead and stop you now, bro. People been saying this to Lady Spade nah, for four years, oh, bro. Oh hey, yeah. Bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I heard bro, are you the sixth person I heard to say, Lady Spade, bring your ass on the panel. She ain't gonna do it, bro. So I can go oh. ahead. I can say you your breath, man. Lady Spade, she just ain't ain't gonna uh come on the come on the panel. But yeah, so um, I don't know, man. So Teron, how do you see this this legislation, man? What hey, can somebody can somebody um can somebody um define racism? Because my definition of racism is totally different than a lot of people's definition of racism. I I, I and I think that's where the problem come in at. Like if a, if if a white person say the n word, like I don't give a fuck. I don't even think that's racism. Like, I got a total different definition of racism. I hear that. Can I somebody that. uh define the term racism? I, hear that. I say I I don't think it. You call me an N word. I don't know. It's a it's a it's just a comment. It's just a comment. Yeah, I don't it's, see that as necessarily racist. racist. I'm saying it's 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 a racist comment, but I don't think that necessarily makes you a racist, and that's not an example of racism or institutional racism because i'm a big fan of capitalism so like i said like i said i'm a big fan of capitalism so if you say the n-word after you sign me this million dollar check you cool with me bro it's like i ain't tripping like say what the fuck you want to say after that you know what I'm saying? All within the all within the confines. No, 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 no. Look, cause see now now it's prejudice plus power. How and they can have you doing some crazy, some crazy. Have me doing what? You I done signed you. the check. I done cashed the check. What? Damn, what so you so have me doing? Anything, you'll do anything for the check. How the fuck, nigga? Once I get the check, nigga. <laughs> What the fuck? You ain't gonna get yeah, it back. I don't know, man. These boys were saying like, once I get the check, you ain't gonna get it back. Yeah, he was parading his players around in front of his at his white dinners and shit like that. Man, the whole shit sounded crazy to me. I don't know that. That's all with all athletes and entertainers. That's what you get paid to do. 
Yeah, yeah, That's I'm right. You get the big bucks. I'm gonna have to agree with Born Rich on this one, man. When it comes That's to the athletes, it, look, it, it look even though they're getting paid millions of dollars, it looked too much like slavery, where you got the white people. Okay, on so top. if it's slavery, then you don't have to take the money. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to take the money. You can let you them keep their money. You have a point, but it's just the yeah, way that it looks. I take the money, don't do whatever, bro. I get a check every week, bro. But I'm not finna go in there. He what I'm saying is, you don't have to. You can't, you can't correlate it to slavery when it's your job. People have jobs. People clean out toilets with shit in it, with shit stains inside a toilet for twelve dollars an hour. You bounce a fucking basketball for millions of goddamn dollars. What the fuck you mean, nigga? You, everything ain't gonna go your way. But then you still got somebody calling you, nigga, at the end of the day, and still running you out on the court. With okay, looking then at quit. With his white then friends quit. saying, "Look at these niggas." Then quit. You don't have yeah, to do work think there. These you don't got need the to pull some power moves. You don't got the check. You don't got the check. You don't cash the check. You up. You don't made more money than most people are making. They enti- than most white people were making their entire lifeline. How the fuck you a victim or a slave? Like we lose that we use that slave word too loosely. Yeah, that's that's yeah, disrespectful it's, it's, it's to the ancestors. Day slavery because, that's disrespectful to the no, ancestors. It oh, no, it ain't. You, you crazy as fuck, shit. man. You know what a slave shit. went through. You know what the fuck a slave was subjugated to. Of course, went through. And you gonna and you gonna, you gonna tell me some punk ass basketball player making millions of dollars, one of prima donna, prima donna acting ass nigga is a slave. And it's even comparable it's to what our ancestors went through. Out of mind, though. If I can get your Man. mind, that's another form of slavery. That's the thing. Everybody All right, everything is slavery. Okay, everything is chattel slavery. Listen, brother. Listen, See, when, brother. when people say slavery, you go to chattel brother, slavery. Everything. You go to physical bondage. Brother, you, everything is slavery. slavery everything mind, is racist bro. and everything is slavery. Said, let me tell you this, though. Let me tell you this, though, Bo. You even said earlier, homie, you said that if you say racism, white supremacy exists, it's a mental illness. So that could be a form of slavery in my mind. Yeah, every if time. you think take the money, I took the money, I don't have to stand for anything or stand 10 toes down on anything because I took the money, that's a, a form of slavery. Brother, everything, everything is slavery, brother. Everything is racist. Don't yeah. worry. You can make racism and slavery out of everything. You can, no. you can yeah, correlate you it to everything. Yeah, let's everything is racist. That. Let's call it that and move the on. The whole damn world is racist yeah, and everything is slavery. That's a fact. White supremacy is global. White supremacy global is everywhere, pro- nigga. It's a global phenomenon. The boogeyman oh, white supremacist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. He said the boogeyman. He want to call it the boogeyman. And that, that, that way you can diminish it, right? So we, so when I say it, guess what? I can be reduced to hotel babble and a conspiracy theorist when I'm saying something that, that is really in my fucking face, but I said it and I said, man, that, man Brother, nobody is obligated to like you. People got to realize that's racism that's racism, and people being obligated to like you are two different things. I know, nope. Nobody's obligated to like me just because I'm black as a I'm black man. None of that. I'm not like saying it. none of that, but if we're going there, if we're going into laws and shit like that, nobody okay. should be able to murder without with, uh, without a consequence. Nobody can well, murder you without a consequence. If a yeah, white man walks up to you in broad daylight and murder you, he's going to jail. I don't know that, but you know what you can't do, Bo, is guarantee that. Because if you say go find some All right, brother. where All they've right. been murdered, I can go find them. So you can't guarantee that, bro. And I feel yeah. like I feel like I want to live in a state of okay, I want to live. You want to live in a I, utopia that don't, don't, don't exist. Exactly, exactly. I do. Maybe it's a fool's goal. Maybe it's a fool's. Maybe it's a fool's dreams like reparations. Who knows? But I want to live in society where I can. Where if I get murdered, that person goes to jail. I want to uh, yeah, a system want of justice. That's what I want to do. Y'all yeah, want to live in a utopian society yes, with two hundred yeah. people. Mm-hmm. That don't exist. Where like everybody get everybody. along and picking sunflowers and daisies and shit. I <sighs> shit you, doesn't exist. Yeah, we got the same Ados dream, my brother. We got the Ados. Oh, dream. Got no dream. Yeah, I ain't want, even. We want to close the wealth gap. We want to. We want reparations. We want these white folks to give us some. Man, come on, man. brother. I ain't even. I ain't. We go to argue, we go arguments both way though. We can do the. We can do the arguments both ways though, bro. We can break down, each brother. Each can you move the subject? Ideologies, uh, Black Peace. What are you doing, Black Peace? What up, man? You all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you doing, man? What do you think? Are we talking about interracial dating, man? Give me what's the pros of interracial dating? No pros. Are you talking about? Okay. What are the cons? Why do you disagree? Uh, from with what I was hit, from what I was listening to. 
Well, because of the thing where they, you know, the identity part, you know, not, you know, having that identity crisis, like a couple of other people just said earlier or whatever. So I, I think that's the part why I would just wouldn't do it based off of whatever well, be one of the reasons. But that's the biggest one right there. The kids going to be confused as hell. Mm. And there's no point of putting kids through that. So I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Somebody else can, but I ain't doing it. Uh, whatever. So other people vote, that's their business. But me, nah, I wouldn't do that. So, so Jupes, are you there, Jupes? So yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's. Okay, I was trying to get Jupes on that because. Hey, what's, what's Jupes' views on racism? I want to know her her view. What What do you consider racist, Jupes? Being a white woman, so you privy to a lot of conversations and shit that we don't hear, right? So, what 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 would make a white person speak on white people, right? What would make them racist? And does that does that stretch across all racial lines? Does that is that universal? So another thing is we got double standards when it comes to racism, racism, right? That's why I don't really yeah, make it. Are we gonna deal. move it, bro, but Bo, are we gonna move it back to inter interracial relationships, or are we gonna keep are we going back down here, bro? You and just all tie it into up. it, though. I'm saying as a, as a woman in an interracial relationship, I'm pretty sure she's heard. And she's been around different conversations where she's had to deal with that. And so I'm saying in the interracial relationship, what are the challenges with racism? Real challenges with racism, not like some drunk, some drunk fucking cousin at a, at a barbecue who say some stupid shit versus real racism. What's your opinion on what is racism? Is she still up? Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. She probably fell asleep. I think but, he just um, on, I, I, yeah. Uh, where we at with it? Where we at with I'm it? Gonna say she didn't experience racism. I've heard That's Jupiter way speak from before. Him. She's never experienced. What's, it, what's, what's God or Jacob uh, opinion on racism? Because he a military man, so I know in the military you hear crackers say all type of stupid shit. Oh man, what's, I, I, what's, I, I, what's your opinion I, on racism? I, I, I mean, man, racism. Like I, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of with you on it. Racism is to me, a stumbling block for us right now. You get what I'm saying? It really is. Like, you you can tell me white supremacy, this, that, and the third, but at the same time, man, that's up to you to take that shit in. Like, a motherfucker can call me something, but I'm going to still outperform you. Like, in this system right now we're in, all I do is got to outperform you. And you can call me nigga all day. Like, I'm like, Rich, you said you about to open up a restaurant in mm -hmm. August or something like that. The, then white white supremacy can't be that top heavy for you. You get what I'm saying, or you wouldn't be able to do that. You get what I'm saying. No, so, no, it, oh man, y'all, the I don't know, y'all. Like this is still it's still a it's still America, man. So you get money, you can you can blend in a little better. But to me, it's all about systems, man. The systems is it's an unfair advantage on. Like even look at fucking contractors, God or Jacob, bro. Like the person who had to build the building that I'm about to mm -hmm. move into. You think those contracts were offered to black people first? Those of contracts not. were not offered to black people first, bro. Which one's worse, tribalism or racism? I'm gonna say tribalism. Racism. I'm gonna say racism because I don't deal with a bunch of uh tribalism. I don't. I don't. It's only when I come on here. If I'm honest. Uh, black, uh, you know what I mean? so black, you believe so you believe that racism is a problem but tribalism isn't a problem Tri tribalism is one of the problems but i think to me racism would probably be one of the main ones because people unite on that you know i think i think a lot of black people got an inferiority complex when it comes to white people mm. that's your thoughts i disagree but i, yeah. I can see why you would say i that. think subconsciously a lot of black people are intimidated by performing against white people or being accepted by white people. So when they get ostracized United. by white people, they take it to heart. You know what I'm saying? When they hear a white person say something negative about them or about black people, they take it to heart. It hit different. You know what no, I'm saying? No, no, no. Because, no, no, because when you hear that your whole life, you don't care about it. When you hear the white people telling you negative shit your whole life, you're like, okay, fuck you. So why, like if I heard so the homeboy on the block, if the homeboy on the block I, telling me you ain't shit, you a nerd, you ain't shit, you a nerd, I'm gonna eventually look at him like fuck you. Okay. That, okay, that's my point. So why is that? Is black people we grow up getting bombarded with so much negativity 
from other black people that we we tend to put that on the back burner and make it seem as though racism and when people say bad stuff about us in the media is so like if a black dude be like man i don't fuck with them broke ass niggas over there yeah you you'll take that one way but then if a white person be like oh i don't fuck with those people in the ghetto you know what I'm saying? Then it's oh my god, they racist. Oh no, Lord, right, right. prejudice, and it's the same. It's not a prejudice, but it's the same it's dynamics. Prejudice. People don't want to be fucked up with no with no broke people, with poor people. Maybe it's classism, because those same uh, white people will accept just a another black word. Person. Classism is just another word for no, racism. No, it's not. Because uh, let's think about this though. Let's think no, about it. Hold, hold because, on a second. Wait a second. Oh, can I, can I, let, me land, let me land, bro. Let me land, bro. But you landing on 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 the fallacy. You landing on a false equivalency. Classism yeah. is when you discriminate or bias against groups at a different socioeconomic status. So mm -hmm. if all of us make a hundred thousand dollars, you go to this party, you might see black people, Asian people, Jewish people, but they all bombed around the fact that they all are you know all, about somebody told me class ain't about money though. It's not entirely. It's not, you're right. It's not all entirely. It's about values, too. It's about values. It can be about educational backgrounds. It's different variables that, that can go into it. Because you can be a high you can be a high class Get on, nigga. value mother, <laughs> <laughs> on lineage <laughs> just yeah. because of where you came from. <laughs> right, 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 right. You yeah, absolutely yeah. right. Jukes. Jukes, you there? I think Jukes fell asleep. I'm going to clear some, clear some space. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. You're gone. I've okay. been kind on the background, but yeah, gone. Hey, what is racism, Jukes? What do you consider racism? Um, I don't believe it's prejudice plus power. Um, I think that uh, that's a big con uh, to allow um, common people to suffer racism and um, not be able to do anything about it. Um, I, I believe it's um, discrimination based on 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 um, skin color or nationality. You believe is what discrimination due to skin color or nationality? Yeah. And discrimination means what? So if you if you was to do something that negative negatively harms somebody, so you would treat them differently. So if I treat somebody of a different race differently than I would treat my own race, then I'm racist. Uh, yes, and if you if you was to um, cause them problems based on a prejudice against them yeah so i want I, so if i if i have a job that i'm offering i want somebody to paint my house and i'm gonna pay them five thousand right. dollars i would be wrong i would be wrong if i chose to send the little mexican and the white boy about their way and i prefer to give my money to somebody of my own background that i yeah. identify with that's racist yeah, that would be racist yeah so that's why I say I don't I don't I don't I don't get caught up in the talk of racism because I want to reserve the right to be racist. I think I, I, maybe I'm racist and I just respect the fact that other people can be racist <laughs> I say in, it. in, I, the, I in their it. own um background. So I don't cry about it. I, I don't cry about it either, but get what I say though, yeah. Bo. But you so see this is the Let me yeah. tell you what I say, Bo. Bo, I say black people aren't racist enough. All right. Okay, but then you can't complain about racism. It ain't complain about it. I'm saying, look, there you it is. You can't complain about you know, it when you, know, you get the short end of the stick. I, I think I think yeah, I that's the same thing. I look at it and say, I don't. It's not complaining. Listen, y'all, complaining. Don't put these words on me, man. It, I'm not. Well, it, it's I'm, I, don't, I don't. Maybe know it's your tonality, bro. I think he's watching. I think you watching Sarnetta or something. Maybe it's because your tonality, not, bro. Because what is what I'm not doing is complaining. What I think I do it's your is, tonality, what I do bro. Is see it. I point it out. Let's break it down. Let's but, discuss it, and then let's figure not, out and let's but, figure out how we gonna move but on. But it's not. Oh, but it's not because racism suggests that you're coming from a place of hate. That's my. That's my. Um. That's one way I, I, I differentiate. It's prejudice plus power. It's not, I didn't say hate. I Brother, said prejudice I plus said power. It. I said it. I said it. I said that racism comes from a place of hate. But I should be, I should reserve, I reserve the right and I should have the, the authority to spend my money and give opportunities to my people as I see fit. And me, I should not look down upon somebody else who does the same for their people. 
I should put myself in a position of power where now I can empower my people. I shouldn't be hating on other groups that choose to empower their people. That is a fact. I, ne- I, I can never argue against that, brother. So it's not racism. It's common sense. People are hey, going to so gravitate you- toward their, their own groups. So They're do you think the Democrats, do you think if black people keep messing with Democrats that they'll eventually nigga, turn gonna, on? Nigga, we're going to be even poorer than we we're are. We're going to be broke, dumb, we and gonna be, of, <laughs> we going to be even more of. fucked up. Because <laughs> look, they're big on anti-racism, right? Because they suck. They're us. Us. But they're using black people right now, obviously. Because they suck us. If they get what they want, that <laughs> anti-racism funny. could turn on black people. Um, any, any black person that identifies with liberal ideology, in my opinion, is a sucker. Right, so Democrats are equal to what we would call our left wing over here, left, left politics, left-leaning politics. Now, I'm, I'm the kind of person that would say, actually, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of liberalism, but it's extreme liberalism that's wrong so you know i think there's nuance in everything i think if you can't be somebody oh, that can balance things oh, and analyze, analyze well, hey, the, Dem- the democratic party basically took the, the innovation out of black people it, it, it made us rely on social programs yeah, it, took, it took everything out of us man we we, right. we came up as conservatives. it made us rely on white people it yes. made us so dependent upon white acceptance that it has crippled us to the point of they should it should be classified. You should be able to get SSI for just because you crippled, you mentally crippled by white supremacy. They should start giving out SSI for black people that's no, crippled that's by white ridiculous. supremacy. No, it took, it, 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 it took away our entrepreneur spirit. It took it away, man. And we, for some reason, we yeah, can't. It's some, it's some black agree. people that can't, like corporate America. You take a black person. It's some black people that can't function in corporate America because their their whole existence in life every day is them dealing with quote unquote racial microaggressions. So everything a white person does around them is like, oh my God, they being racist. Oh my, they don't like me because I'm black. Oh, so they crippled in the mind. They fucked up. They have been debilitated okay, you just by years for of microaggressions. That, yeah, but you just advocated for doing that to white people. What I advocated for. So five minutes ago, you said that you could, you can understand those microaggressions because that's what right. racism is, and everything <laughs> else, as long right. as it as long as it's promoting. Hey, listen, listen, listen. As, as long as it's because... promoting black. So if you're going to be willing to do listen. it one way, you shouldn't complain the other way. I don't complain. I I support it. I support racism and white supremacy. Fuck it. Let me come out the closet. I support <laughs> racism and white supremacy. You know what I'm saying? Because if a white man, if a white man come work for a company, oh, I hold on. You said you coming out the closet. Budget. You said you coming out the closet. What you mean? Coming out what closet? I'm, a, I'm, I'm <laughs> an undercover <laughs> white supremacist. I'm an undercover white supremacist. <laughs> I thought you were talking, talking about coming out of that other closet. I thought you were talking oh, about no. Closet. Bro, I'm like, I don't I'm supremacist. I'm assuming that all of you do. I don't. <laughs> Excuse me. What you said? I don't agree with supremacists. Um, no, I'm what I'm saying is that listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Because the problem is people want their cake and eat it too. So if we're talking about black economic empowerment and black people doing it for self, you have to be willing to accept the fact that it's human nature for you to empower and gravitate towards your own people. Now, with that being said, I have to be able to accept the fact of when a white person do it. When they set the model of, okay, they got a, they got their white niece or a, a, a white dude from a country club that they go to, daughter just applied to the job, I got to be able to accept the fact that, you know, it don't take a brain scientist to know that this cracker going to hire this little white girl because she know he know her daddy. You know what I'm saying? And and me as a black man, and me as a black man, and me as a black man, if Shamika, come in, if Shamika and little Amber come for a job to me, you should expect Amber to go home in tears because Shamika gonna get the job. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, no, that's how. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's your that's right. That's that's your right. Right. But what I would say is this: it leads to cronyism, and what happens is that you end up with corrupt establishments like you've got in Nigeria and places like well, that. That's, but one, that's one of the biggest that's problems. A, that's a got, one of the that's biggest a problems got is yeah, that. Yeah, if you okay. start employing family or friends that are not actually qualified for the job and not on merit, Listen. that you end up with establishments that are actually not fit for purpose. Listen. 
Listen, and, and let me say this. Welcome to America. America. Welcome to America. That's what they do over right. here. Welcome this, this to America. The thing, though, right? that. That's, that's much. That's not that's 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 other places. Wait, but that's under the pretense that they can't do the same thing. If I'm hiring, if 16-year-old Quanita comes apply for a job and 16-year-old little Sarah comes apply for a job as a cleric, as a secretary, that it don't take a brain scientist to be no secretary. Sarah can't can't out type Quanita that much. You know what I'm saying? So why would I not give Quanita the platform and the opportunity to build her skills and to develop it? You know what I'm saying? We're okay, not talking so about have to prove that. So, so under the working equality rules in Britain, I don't care um, about no working equality rules. There would be certain tests that both of those people would have to go through. So they would have to type so many words per minute, be accurate in the grammar, and um, be accurate in in um, in in the, they would have to do it within the time scale. So once once that those Excuse pieces me. of work are there to put forward to be evaluated and judged. Um, that's what they would go on. They would go on the merit, not skin so color. Hey, get, 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 get. I believe, I believe in it, fairness. Man. I believe in treating it's, it's everybody not, fair, but not equal. Yeah, yeah over here, not it's not what you know is who you know. It's who you know. Yeah, right. It ain't what you know here. It ain't. It is just, it, it's just how the yeah. game go. It's what yeah, that's you know. life. That's how the game go. You can you can be the dumbest motherfucker. Yeah, you yeah. Yeah, it's, it you get about in what position. You know it's about who you a good business and, 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 and the reason for you getting in position is to put your people's on. Come on. So a, 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 a good businessman wouldn't feel like you do. So a, a, a good like businessman, listen, a part of good being good the manager. That's a lie. Hold on, hold on. A good businessman or woman slash woman, they would be thinking what is beneficial for the overall productivity. They would not be thinking what is beneficial for my friends or for my status in the community, even though I'm going to be poor. They would be thinking about uh, capital gains and they would be thinking about overall productivity. Let me say this. A good businessman, right, a part of being a manager, part of being a project manager, manager, is creating a system that's transferable to your underlings, to people under you. So if I establish this business, this this business right let's say it's construction and we building houses my job as a manager as a senior employee or whatever as a ceo is to teach paylu bps terron whoever how to do what i do now as long as they got a brain a functioning brain and they receptive they should be able to duplicate my my, my system so, so we're not talking about we're not talking about, we're not talking about now, if you're talking about a nuclear physicist or whatever, then that's different. Then there's a different skill set that you need. But, I mean, a lot of the jobs that these people crying about racism, it's like like you see on ESPN about, like, it don't take no goddamn brain scientist to go on air and repeat some sports highlights or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So if if so if the, the, the hiring manager at ESPN choose to hire a little white girl or choose to hire a little black girl, they both can do the same shit. Just run their mouth on TV. You know what I'm saying? So it's about being in a position to get your people through the door into those positions. You know what I'm saying? And we can, and I can train you and teach you the system once you get here. Okay. And I want to say something real quick. I, I, I'm, 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 I, I just got on. I, um, I didn't listen to the with the thing, but I see the topic was interracial dating, and I just want to put on a record that uh, I, I'm, I, I don't see nothing wrong with interracial dating. That's all. Yeah, okay. we know you African love black girls, man. Any of you <laughs> got a white woman fellow? Yeah, he does. I never to to my life, but I'm not against it. I'm not against it. I, I I have relatives that are mixed. You know, I have I have relatives that are mixed, and I'm not against them. So uh, why would I be? I mean, I have a cousin that was that was half white, half black. He was half um Swedish, half Sierra Leonean. But um, you know, you, his mom was Swedish, but he didn't. But his mom died early, and then he but he grew up in Sierra Leone his whole life. He don't even know Sweden like that. But anyway, to That's make a long story short, man. I, 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 um, I, um, I have relatives. Even I got some other cousins too who are half white, half black. And then yeah, I got a bunch of that. Even in England, I, 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 I have Dang, two cousins. That's, that's that's unfortunate, man. I have a lot of I, I have a couple of cousins and, and, and I hate, I hate cousins who are really white people and I have some nieces that are half white, half black and stuff like that. And I'm not against any of them. Like so, so I'm, I'm not gonna come online and say 
I'm against yeah, it, and I have it in my family, and I don't see a problem with it in my family. I, I can't talk against it. If, I, if people in my family do it, and 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 I engage with them cordially in a loving manner, I can't, I can't, I can't come say I'm against it. And when in reality, I, I I live with these people, and I love these people, and appreciate them people in my family. I can't, I can't, I can't. I, so that's why, that's why I have to say, why well, I have to take the stance I say. I feel you though. And I think it's easier for us who don't have that uh, outside influence to speak definitively on the situation. Cause like I ain't got no no uh, white people in my family, so I can say what I want to say. You know what I'm saying? But you having that uh, influence is gonna sway your uh, judgment. That's why I believe okay. that it's hard for white people, to, for mixed people, to be on code. Cause they, it's mm -hmm. it's like in the Bible they say you can't serve two masters. You know what I'm saying? You know, no, 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 you you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right about that, right? But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why I still think why I, I totally agree with the, with that logic. But guess what? But me, I'm gonna give you an example. My code isn't black. I'm a, uh, I'm a under a black code. My only code is 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 is, is, is Islam. I'm a under a black code. So yeah, if you're under a black mm -hmm. code. Yeah. Like, like, so let me ask you a question then. If, so if, let I mean, me ask this question. I'm black. Don't be wrong. I'm proud to be black. I'm a black as a mark. See, look, 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 look how black I am. This is my real picture. I'm really that black, <laughs> right? But, but black is not my religion, though. Black ain't my religion. I, I, I was born black. Hey, I so was what, born black. So what about, so Islam, what about religion Islam first? Islam, no, Islam over everything first, right, Palu? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Now, so, mm. Panel? Yeah. I second that. I second colonization. I second that, but I don't see it in com that's, I don't see it in conflict of, with being black. That's the legacy of colonization. No, no, no. I don't see conflict being black neither. Ooh, I, I, just, I happen to be black. I happen, I, but I'm trying to say. Well, all I'm saying is that <laughs> I'm proud to be black. I'm proud to be, don't get me wrong. I'm proud to be black, right? But I'm trying to say black. Black is not my religion. You know what I'm saying? Black ain't my religion. I, 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 I'm black. I happen to be black. I was born black. I'm proud to be black, yeah, but that's, it's not my religion. That's you the know? legacy of colonization, though. When you go to I colonize mean, the people, you got to make them adopt your religion. I don't think I'm colonized. I, I mean, I mean, but hey, that, no, that's I your didn't say you colonize. I say colonization. No, but 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 there's some, there's I, some I, black Muslims who who yeah who've been Arab Arabized by uh, adopting Islam. You figure uh, so it, there's a potential for it, but you know, I, I you know, speaking for myself, and I would even say for Palu, you know, we uh, as Muslims being black definitely don't conflict. Right. Just because, you know, we're not we don't have that mindset like we're trying to be Arabs or trying to be anything other than what we are. Although you, you will see that in some Muslims who who especially converts. Hey, do that. Ha is that big in the UK, like within the black community in the UK, where is though the blacks in the UK that's Muslim are come somewhat separate from the rest of the black community that's non Muslims? Yeah, some you see that in, in with some black converts, even in the US, uh, I think more so like in Philly where you see a lot of uh, a large Muslim community. But yeah, you'll get blacks who, because they convert to Islam, they start thinking they're other than than blacks or better or start talking to blacks all crazy Philly uh, and stuff like that. confused to me though, brother. Them niggas from Philly weird to me. They seem <laughs> confused. They want to be Muslim, smoke weed, trick, do it, sell dope, but won't eat no pork. You might as well eat the bacon if you don't <laughs> sip syrup and, and, smoke, and, and smoke weed all day. They ain't gonna kick. I, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, but people gotta keep it real, though. We gotta keep it real, like, hey, 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 hey. yeah, because like, I, I mean, I, I know what you're saying, but it's like, you know, everybody gotta learn slow. Everybody got, everybody gotta take. Every, I mean, not everybody learn that fast. Philly got generational Muslims, though. Some of them people been were. I mean, you'll go to Philly, you'll see people who were blacks who were born Muslims, where most of us are converts. Nigga, I have a nigga, I have a, a, a bottle of Hennessy, oh, but I tell you, he can't drink, eat no bacon because he mother. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't need alcohol though. I, I um, I quit alcohol though. I quit that one. That was interesting. That was interesting. That was interesting. Yeah, I, I mean, because look, see, I have my fat. Like, I got, I can name a bunch. I have a bunch of relatives. That are mixed. As a matter of fact, I got all over. As a matter of fact, I, I even got a cousin who's who's half Greek, half Sierra Leonean, half Greek. He, 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 they live in Cyprus. Yeah, I, 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 I got a Let bunch me of. Let ask you this, Palo. Should yeah. um, mixed race people should uh, should they be classed in their own separate race? 
Uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I, 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 I uh, that I, I gotta think. Of, I gotta think about that. I, I gotta think about that. I, I, I mean, I, I told you because I'm not a race guy. Racing my racing not my religion, so I, I don't spend that much time thinking about people's race that much to me. I mean, I happen to be black, but I don't think about it that much to think about. Oh, is it this? Look, see, because uh, okay, I grew up in the states, so in the states, all the mixed race people. I okay, like for example, one of my best friends growing up. I don't want to say his name, but uh, um, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, okay, I, not, not sure, I don't want to say his name at all. Yeah, just oh, but, call him Donald. We'll call him Donald for right now. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, Donald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing there. Okay, Donald, whatever. His mom was white, his dad was black, and that was like my guy. He, like in, from middle school to what's name, but we always consider him like he's black. You know, his mom, his whole mom white. We never looked at him as a white guy ever. I never looked at him as a white guy ever, even though his mom, his whole mom, but but his, his, his mom used to say, get was a mom. His mom was the blackest, <laughs> was, was the blackest white girl you ever seen. <laughs> like, 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 if it was a Robin D'Angelo, that would be deemed racist. What are you saying? Hey, Rich, Rich, my whole problem is is when shit hit the fan, man, and you got this mixed person out here, I don't want them on my squad. You get what I'm saying? When shit go down and we got the group up. I, I just don't know where that situation is because you go. I don't see that person going after you know the other side. You get what I'm saying? So I just feel yeah. like sometimes, man, that's a compromising situation. And I rather uh, you be. I, I rather for you to be on Rich team to be on my team because I don't feel like watching my back all the time. Okay, I, hey, I, hey, I hey, what's your question? Let me ask you a question. What is, is your question? Is question? Superiority complex. Uh, what's hey, is, there, is there any mixed people in your relatives? Do you have any mixed relatives? Who me? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. Not, not that I know of. Oh damn! So, so I'm the only one. So, so of all the black people here, does anybody here have mixed relatives except me? I'm the only I'm one. I'm pretty that sure has down the line, but I can't name them out like you. I mean, you happy about naming a motherfucker? I, I know Becky. Name. I got Auntie no, Becky. Yeah, she have, she have, have and, like if I do, I don't know. But so I've got a question. I've got two questions. No, I'm not be, I mean, it's the reality of my life. I, 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 I don't, I don't want to be fake. You know, I'm not going to come online and be fake. You know what I'm saying? No, we kill you. Okay, can yeah. I ask two questions, please? Right. So the first question comes from the side chat. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Jukes, hey, Jukes, Jukes, Jukes. Let me tell you how it, how it goes over here. You got three three chances to respond to the chat, and then that's it. You can't respond to the chat anymore. So this is number okay. one. This is number one. But go ahead. Okay, no, that's fine. So, the, the the person's commented: if a white person is concerned with whiteness, <laughs> they that. are either considered a racist or unintelligent. The black people who dissect the con concept are thought to be engaging in some scholarly exercise. So, the, the, my question to you lot is: uh, Can you see that? Do you, do do you understand I the can, point that the person's making, and do you agree or disagree? Can I answer that? Second question. I'm going to tell you the second question as well. Then the second question is, do you think that someone who has dual heritage that is pure black, so somebody who's Ghanaian and mixed with, with um, I don't know, Ethiopian, um, as a problem them. understanding their dual heritage and cultures? And if not, why do you assume that a white person and a black, a black person producing a, a dual heritage child um, that Joel Herbert's child will have a problem. Is it You're conflating terms with that makes you believe that 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 a white and a, a, a black mix uh, is inferior? Jukes, what was that? A paragraph? Did, like, anybody can? Do, do, do I, I'm lost. Over? I got lost. I got lost. Yeah, we got. Hey, Jukes, you got to start over with the. Uh, 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 let me start I, with the I first one. I can yeah, start with the, with the first one. Oh, you remember the first point, Bob? Yeah, I heard what she said. So, as far as why do white people who delve into that whole um race i guess you could say race realism type uh ideology that's what you're talking about like who speak about it or the culture like a white person speaking about whiteness is demonized as racist but a black person that speaks about blackness is heralded as an academic right that's what you're saying jukes no no the question was that if there was a group of white people um, talking about this um, they would be deemed to be sort of like of low intelligence, but when it comes to when it comes to a group of black people, they are deemed to be scholarly. So let me get the actual word. Well, okay, I, I get it. I get it. Right. And it. I don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I get Bo, it. Right. If want, yeah. If you want to respond, Bo, go ahead. Bo. And I personally, right, don't believe that 
necessarily black people talking about this are deemed as scholarly, right? A lot of them to me are pseudo intellectuals and participate in a lot of hotep babble when they be talking about a lot of um black black that's when you hear me say stuff like blackity black black and all that, right? So they just be talking. So they're not necessarily scholars. But I feel as though the difference is the intentions. So I feel as though there's a lot of black people that's brainwashed and really screwed up in the head. And you have to speak to them in a way where you can um bring back a little bit of realness and pride within self because a lot of black people suffered over the years from through racism and systematic oppression pre the civil rights and all that other stuff so now once they come in they have a different concept of who they are so having these conversations as a black person to me takes on a different a different um perspective where if a white person is talking about it what are they talking about are they just on some neo nazi type you know what I'm saying? We're the Aryan race, you know what I'm saying? And we're supposed to rule the world. So I think the conversations are different. And to your point, you have people, black people that will come on the panel and talk that same stuff, that mirror the, oh, black people created everything and we just chosen people and our melanin protect us from this and that. And it's like, to me, they idiots too. I would agree with that, to be fair. So basically, you would say that actually people that, that, that discuss it for the most part are idiots too. <laughs> yeah. Depending on the context it's, of it. You if know you're putting saying? too much emphasis on skin color, when right. it is literally just extra melanin in your genetics, right. it doesn't oh, shape oh. you, it doesn't define you. Right. Hey, bro, let me ask you a question then. Let me ask you a question. Then. Since you said that, right. okay, uh, 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 um, um, are you against? Are you against interracial dating? Are you, or, 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 are you ambivalent? Are you for it, or what? Um, uh, I, I, I think that everybody's got free choice. Well, so every, that's when I asked Bo because for. because the only reason, only reason I want to ask Bo because he answered the last question. He and and, and I, of course I'm new. I'm new to the talk because I I mean what everything you said before oh. came on. I didn't hear it, so I'm just okay, asking him so now. I might have said. When you say when you say am I against interracial dating, right? Like I'm not really attracted to white women. Like I've never been in a relationship with a white woman. So me personally, in my everyday life, as it relates to me, interracial dating is like a non-issue, right? It's not even a factor. No, no, I'm, like, not, I'm not talking about like what's your preference. I'm talking about I'm just talking about the concept. Are you against the concept? I don't mean if you want no, to do it. No, no, <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not against the concept. If a black man meets a white woman and they fall in love and they have a good chemistry, then no, I'm not against that. You know, I'm salute them. You know, invite me to the wedding. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. Okay, but okay, okay. what I am against, what I am against, what I am against, I'm against the product of those relationships being representative of the black community. So once you choose to enter into a, a, a interracial relationship, you forfeit your black car and being able to speak for and being representative of the black community. Oh, so 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 if somebody has, okay, 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 I get it, I get it. Cause it's, it's interesting, it's interesting because I'm gonna tell you the funny thing about it, in my country, right? We have we have black laws. We have law. We have a lot of because Syria is officially a, a Negro nation, right? <laughs> and, 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 but, but 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 the way people get around it, because you know, because it's, 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 like and and and, and, and then you have to be back to own property. You got to be back to be a citizen, all this stuff. And the way and the, our, our only real non-black community that's big in Syria is is the Lebanese community. And the way to get around it is that they they, inter, they, 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 they it forced them to intermarry because then they put all the property in the child's name, but then the child become black. So I mean. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, okay, so yeah, because then, okay, but see, but let me ask you this though: Do do you believe it? it, it what? Uh, Did you just oh, say they forced them to marry? <laughs> they forced them to intermarry. I mean, the law pretty much forces you to intermarry if you're if you're not black because you can't own property, you can't be a citizen if you're not part black. You have to at least be a one fourth black to be a citizen. That's 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 you you got to at least be one fourth black. You got to at least be one fourth. You got to at least prove that you. Least hey, but you I, be, I, I support that though. That that's that's a good law. You gotta be at least one. You gotta be at least one fourth Negro. If you, he, he, so, uh, um, um, at least a quadrum. But no, but but, but so they don't accept some. We we accept mixed people. We accept we have to be at least one fourth. We accept we accept mixed people though. We accept mixed citizens. We accept yeah, mixed. As, as, yeah, so you're discriminating against white people. 
Yeah, because the reason why Sarah was made because white people were discriminating against black, so blacks had to go go to Africa, back to Africa to make their own country because they couldn't get. No, a that's against politics, and it doesn't make sense. No, I, 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 I hear you. No, right? it, may, it, may, it makes absolute sense. Yeah, you know, it, makes it was perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it makes just as mad she can't get in. Yeah, it's perfect sense. It's perfect sense. sense. When so I you won't have like, a you won't have a situation like I'm South Africa with the Boers. I've been married twenty years, black man. That's so you won't have a situation that. like the Boers that that isolate themselves from the native population and build power within within exactly. that community and discriminate exactly. discriminate and discriminate against the natives. So right. it makes so, perfect sense. So you would advocate for people to treating black people like that in white countries, in predominantly white countries, yes. Uh, so really, yeah. you've got nothing to complain about with well, America. Yeah. No, nah, I don't. Me personally, no. Nah. If you if you familiar with me on these panels, no, nah, I I love America. I ain't tripping about nothing. Mm -hmm. He just no. I'm talking about America's past. Yeah, that's that you shit. You feel me? Just cut the check. You know, oh, boy. I, would <laughs> I would call this Stockholm syndrome. And how was that? Well, because you're replicating the very things that you didn't like being done to your ancestors. No, no, it's called in 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 the ghetto. It's called playing the game. How I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, it but it leads to a lot of fucked up people, as we've no, seen. No, we gonna play the yeah, game how you no. taught us to play it. We gonna play it just like you. We That's gonna play it how I go. Hey, let me get some new people in here. Let me get some new blood in here. New blood. Nito, Perry, what y'all doing, man? Y'all here? What up, what up, man? What's going on, Nito? How you doing, man? You all right? Yeah, man. Summer, summer. Yeah, brother. Yeah, man. What do you think about all of this, man? What do you think about um, mixed Nito. people? Mixed, mixed people should be in their own, as identified as their own race. Mm, that's kind of sketchy, man, because they both, anyway, depending on which ones they are, so, whatever one they identify with, man, I really don't care. So, you know, it's all along how they want to be identified and what, which one they feel comfortable with. And, and some go with both. So, is it really possible to go with both? Uh, it depends on it depends on what you really look like if you're going to pass for both. Because if you look more black, then the world going to see you as black. Do you feel like they should be able to speak for black people and be at the forefront of black issues and, and representative of the black community? I think they have a voice because half of them, half of their makeup is black. So, yeah, I think they, I think they have a Hell voice. No. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? They be too soft, bro. They be got to get one drop mm -hmm. rule. Yeah, yeah they even, yeah they still. Say soft. I wouldn't even say soft. We just grew up with the one drop rule. So a lot of us right. are going to say mixed people. We can't you damn near can't fathom the idea of a mixed person being their, their own race because all that's I was mixed people picking it's a like side. it's like it's like Megan Merkel, right? So Megan Merkel, she married into the whitest fucking historically racist family in the entire universe, right? Yep. And then she already half white herself. Mm -hmm. So I going into that union, she she knows who she is, right? So she got that white blood. It was not her baby is white. So Megan Merkel baby, what what is Megan Merkel baby? It's a black baby? Hell no, nah, that's a white baby. You know what I'm saying? She wanted to assimilate into whiteness and be a part of that white family. And now when stuff don't go her way, now she wanna scream mm. racism. And expect black people to sympathize or to rally around it. Like, no, you white, you are yeah, you were already well, right I from the get go. People, but I think and then you people, chose, and but... then you chose to marry into a historically racist white supremacist mm -hmm. family, and so you just forfeited your black card. And it's like, hey man, whatever happened to you over there, man? It's all on you. <laughs> you know, I can, I can agree, but I, I can't. The jukes. Do you think Meghan Merkel had a a, a white baby? Do you, the people in the UK identify no, that baby. No, that baby is, man, that baby is mayonnaise. That baby, that baby white. 
<laughs> so he looks white, but his heritage is still mixed, and he has no, a right mixed mayonnaise. That baby mayonnaise. What's his name? What's his name? We could tell it by what, what's the baby name? Miracle Whip. <laughs> Ain't like some Archie Ball or some. <laughs> See that name? That baby, baby white. Archie now Ball. imagine years later down the line. Megan so Mark's if you started talking about your be... complexion, would you get offended? Say what? So if I started to dish your complexion right now, would you see that as racism? Well, no, no. It'd be well, just, it'd be, you just name calling. Okay. Well, I would see it as talking. racism, and I think talking. you're just being racist to a little baby that's done no harm to you. Yeah, but we're not doing no harm. We're telling the baby the truth. And, name and Hold on, hold on, because she's playing games right now. Wait, she's wait. playing games. Because, listen, that baby, let's be very clear. Unless yeah. it suits him at the immediate at whatever immediate time but that baby playing. is going to grow up that baby is going to grow up fully integrated into his whiteness and he's going to embrace fully all the privilege that comes with his whiteness he ain't going to want to be black until he can cry uh, about I racism he ain't going to want to be hold on, be be hold on a second hold on a second now let's relax for a second now he ain't going to want to be black until it's <laughs> something he can cry about and complain about racism to get black people to rally around him but in his everyday life, his life mission is going to be to assimilate into whiteness and inherit everything that his whiteness entails. Okay, he, so what whiteness? He the goddamn, his white, what you mean? His Anglo-Saxon history. That's what he's going to do. He's going to learn all about his Anglo-Saxon history. The rich yeah. history of all this Anglo Saxon. So he's probably going to learn about black history as well because that is. No black history. Because of his privileged position. No black he's history. He's going to learn more than that. No, we don't want him. He's he going to be quoting. He's going to be quoting. I don't want that little demon. He's going to be quoting. He's going to learn more, more about it than the average race child. And what I would say, what I would say is this: that he's entitled to learn about his black history as much as his white history, and no one can take that away from him. You can't take away his blood heritage just because and you don't mom, know. His, mom, his mom don't even want a black his heritage. His own, Meghan Merkel don't identify with being black like that. Anyway, she's from Canada. They don't even really have a, a, a solid black community like that. She wants to be white. She wants to be accepted into those white circles. That's so what, what she is being white? That's why she was, that's why she was, white? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That was her whole grievance where she said that the white people within the royal family didn't accept her. So now she's mad that she hasn't been accepted within the whole white supremacist system, which is the, the royal monarch. Because that's mm. when you want to talk about institutional racism and white supremacy, that's a prime example of it right there. A historical yeah, you example. It, remember. That's so not earlier, America. That's not America. Right. So, so you don't, that's yeah, not you America. don't. That's not America. You don't believe in it. You said you That's don't believe in it. That's not America. No, don't put words. And, in my and mouth. I, would, I would say that I she's a bit of a drama exactly. queen, and that she pulls the black card and she uses victimhood. Yeah, I, I, I think she is a drama queen. I, 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 I don't blame white supremacy for Meghan Markle. I don't blame Meg, white supremacy at all for Meghan Markle. I, no, I think that's Meghan not what I'm, that's You not don't what blame I'm white people at all, man. Never do. I, I don't. I don't blame white supremacy. Of course. Okay, so you don't believe that there's factions within the royal family that want to keep that royal bloodline pure? They do, no, but guess what? Man, get the okay. fuck out of here. You, you a fool if you don't believe that. Hey, okay, uh, call me what you want. Call me what you want, right? Do I know about the royal factions and what they want in their hearts and minds? I don't know. I don't know what the... I, I, I never had a conversation with, with the queen or, or yeah, some people. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what she's... I don't know... What the queen wants, I don't know what what, what Prince Charles yeah. wants. I have no idea. I, I've never yes, talked to. Yes, I, I don't. Yes, I don't have the phone number. The royal or family. Or the royal like family that. is not. The royal family is not just a family. It's not about individuals. It's about a system. It's about an institution. It's about a monarchy. But it's, okay, this royal family. It's about, it's about a royal monarchy. Family. They got royal brother, families. Brother, why are you keep on over talking to me, bro? Relax. Just relax. Bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you go. Go. what you mean. It's I'm going to let you go, bro. You don't, don't, go, don't, ahead, don't, go ahead, bro. Yeah, don't act like you're innocent over talking, bro. Please. Anyway, the uh, um, uh, um, I don't know what they're thinking in their minds, these people, right? But I know Meghan Markle, look, she knew she should be quiet. She, a prince is not supposed to talk. You're not supposed to be. No, but, but, let, but let me tell you the truth. 
Uh, I blame Harry too. I blame Harry though. Hey, Harry should have told her, "Hey, when you come here, this is a royal family. You gotta be quiet." That's what. Look, you breaking up. Bottom yeah, line, y'all keep that <laughs> Chucky, keep that Chucky doll over there in that castle. We don't want that Chucky doll. Harry should have told her to get out. Harry should have said, "Get out." <laughs> get we don't want that here. demon. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Has <laughs> so. he dropped out or what? Yeah, I think he, I think he dropped out. But See, they, I don't know, Jukes, It's crazy you taking this side of the argument from. But from what I hear, a lot of white people in the UK don't even accept uh that baby. Or oh, y'all, oh y'all saying that baby and Megan can never. Yeah, uh, that's not princess. Okay. Well, okay, the, the, the channels that you come onto is full of racists. Um, but if you went into the general populace, they're not bothered. They're not bothered that the baby's mixed. Why would they be? But what was your stance though? Your stance was like Megan should have never been part of the of the royal family. The baby's never really going to be accepted. Now one of them can be what princess. No, I have that stance. Why would I have that stance? Oh, you got can it. Megan, I heard you talking. Yeah, can Megan be the princess or or whatever? She's is she in line for some uh like royal seat? Uh, she was. She was. I'm, not, I'm sorry. I, 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 they gave so they gave up when they moved to America. They gave up their their royal statuses, didn't they? Something like that. He was supposed because she was supposed to be a duchess. See how you gonna be? See, look, see, it's his fault though. I I I, I blame Harry because I mean, see, the whole thing is really Harry because because he, he, Harry messed up everything because he could have just been quiet. He could have. Man, I don't feel like talking about these white folks like that. Hello, hello. No, no, he's talking about a royal baby though. But 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 um, yeah, I mean. I think I think they should have been quiet, and then he they, they could have he could have got a post. He could have been like governor general can. He could have done something better, but he he wants to mess everything up. He he messed up everything, and I, I um I don't even blame Megan. Um, I blame Harry. I blame Harry for everything. So why has he messed everything up? I don't understand. By mar by marrying a black chick. What you think? That's not <laughs> the <laughs> main. So what's wrong with marrying outside your race? By marrying the half breed. <laughs> No, no. If if, if he no, <laughs> he looks no. I, I I don't think the problem was him yeah, marrying the half breed. Half breed is really insulting. Like I use the M word. He marries okay. someone who doesn't who doesn't understand royalty. He marries someone who don't understand how royalty works. That's his main problem. Yeah, but you he could have made that pro, he could have made that mistake even ma if he married a white woman. It's got nothing to do with race, has it? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. He married I, someone I, I who doesn't know how. Do. I think you do because the word of the day that we've been using all day is lineage. <laughs> it's right. lineage, man. When you start introducing new blood into that lineage, it's not pure anymore. And oh, I gotta yeah. agree with Bo. The royal family. Every time a couple mates are blood, introducing right. new blood into the lineage, what are you on about? No, but you want to keep it pure, man. If we're going Anglo-Saxon, then we want to Anglo-Saxon. We want to Anglo-Saxon. Uh, we, 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 we ain't trying to have no Irish, no Irish in the royal family. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, they are Welsh. They are Welsh. Uh, okay, look. Okay, if you look, if you look at it right, oh. the world. Hey, you kind of kept it kind of hard for them, uh, Pelu man. What's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah hey, nah, hey, but hey, you, hey, 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 you, you made him ADOS the other night. Man. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> gonna say, Bo. Don't backtrack. You united him. You united him. Grandfather of men, Bo. Oh shit! Nah, nah, because look, the royal family got okay. Okay, the royal family. A lot of them is German. You know, a lot of them are German. They all them. The royal family. The real name is Sax Coburg. Gofa. They're German. Bro, how you know yeah, all about the royal family, yeah. bro? I know a lot about the royal family. Okay, when I was growing up, I'm going to tell you the truth. My the royal family up, right? not German. Hold on, no. hold on. Let, let, let me see where this is going to go at. What's up? How you how you was raised? What yeah, when I was raised, right? right? My mom, my grandma, every woman, every woman in my family had a bunch of sovereign coins of every single every single monarch from like since the time. Because look, a lot, when, when, when the British first came to Sierra Leone, the first thing they did when when they were trading gold, they they made a co a gold coin called the guineas. It was it, it was called the gold guineas, and, and they extracted the gold from Sierra Leone. That was the first thing that um the Royal African Company set up. One of the first things I mean, that of course that in slavery, one of the main trading things when they set up in Sierra Leone. So it's been a, a, a tradition in Sierra Leonean families to always keep these always keep British coins, especially the 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 um the sovereign coins. Like for example, like 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 my mom, my uh. grandma. Had all these jewelry of every single monarch. They had, they had, they had coin. It's in the coin. It's a gold. It's called a gold sovereign coins. They used to have them, but they used to make it. They used to turn it into jewelry, and they would have sovereign coins all, all over themselves. So I, I seen every. I know every single um monarch. 
Because I, 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 see, I see the woman in my family with them coins. They used to have the coins on their chains, coins on their earrings, coins on everything. Okay. All right. Wow. Well, well, that was bro. probably decent. But love that man. Love that man. All right, but, uh, yeah, man. My, my family are loyalists. My family are loyalists. I come from I, black. Right. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Though, right? Let me just say this though. Right. Let me just say this though. Right. For an African, right. For anybody, anybody with common sense, right. Not to recognize the royal monarch, the British monarch, as anything other than the epitome of white supremacy, is it, it, it to me is like, damn. Like I won't even deny that shit. You know, and I deny white supremacy. But I won't deny that. That's like me saying that the motherfucker. You, you deny white supremacy. I tell you, I don't believe in white supremacy to begin with. The monarch, the monarch, the English monarch, nigga. White supremacy. White supremacy. Oh these, my these, God. These, these people the are saying, hey, hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. The British royal monarch has financed whole naval fleets to go to Africa and around the world and colonize people. No, he didn't. Not my master. <laughs> <laughs> if that ain't motherfucking the epitome of white supremacy, nigga, that that fat man, please. Man, but guess the what? They finance, they finance, they finance fleets to free black people from slavery, and they, they finance fleets. Oh to Lord, Lord. There it is. Oh, oh, there oh, oh God, damn. damn. I'm, oh, okay, Lord. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, tell you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you a true story. A true story. My true story. And you can look it up. You can even look this story up because it's even on um. Because my great great grandfather even got his own Wikipedia page, right? Oh, my great great grandfather, both his oh, parents no. were, 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 were oh, free no. from slavery from a British slave ship. Hey, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question before you go on, right? Let's let's say I slap the shit out you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, and then once you fall on the ground, I, I give you my hand to pick you up. And I'd be like, get up, bro. You straight, bro. Get up, bro. Do I get credit for picking you up, or should you remember that I'm the one that slapped the shit at you? So they 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 freed the slave, but them the motherfucker that started the slave trade. So what the fuck <laughs> are we talking about? You don't get credit for freeing the slave, nigga. You the one that yeah. enslaved us in the first place. No, I don't want no trouble. Actually, actually the we, Portuguese and the Spanish started it first. Oh Lord, oh Lord. This dude come on, let's talk, man. let's talk. Hey man, we got a new panelist on, man, because we don't want my dog <laughs> I don't want my dog Pelu to, 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 to dig no hole for itself, Hello. man. I want to go over to the bottom. I want to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Like, help me, God. Let's lie. Let's lie. Don't no, you don't. Don't. Hello, the Islamics um, were enslaved in way before the Portuguese. No, no we're, 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 talking about, we're talking about the transatlantic, though. Okay, that's a whole different era. That's a whole different era. And, 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 even, and even the trans in the trans Sahara enslaved trade, I'm going to tell you a story. My best friend in the world, his family was involved in both slave trades. My best friend from the time I was six years old. My best friend. He, matter of fact, his last name. And, 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 um, and, and he was African. I mean, so why would I say that the Africans were selling slaves to the Arabs and selling slaves to the Europeans? That's, That's right. A fact. That's a so, fact. So, so you can't say, oh, it's the Arabs, is the whites, is everything. If the blacks themselves in Africa were the ones selling it to the foreign people. Right. So everyone's selling everyone. Before the Let's tell the truth today. Let's tell the truth today. Slavery has happened to everyone all over the world. Yes, it's correct. I want to hear that shit. If you want me to tell the truth, I can. I can tell you the truth. I can tell you the true stories. And the true stories from real people with these who really have these histories. I'm not telling you hypotheticals. I don't work with that. I work with what have really happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real, though. That's uh. And what really happened is that's the truth. What really happened. Okay, matter of fact, even the Syrian, the oh, whole, whole, what do you think we should do about the slavery in Libya right now? I mean, I'm worried about Ado. Oh, you talking to Pedro? Yeah, okay, yes, know, okay, about the slavery in 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 in, in 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 um in um in in Libya. There's nothing really could do about it because nobody's gonna send. Because look, the only way to stop that is literally to put boots on the ground in Libya. And who's gonna put boots on the ground in Libya? Well, surely black people would, wouldn't they? Wonder. Oh, that's just <laughs> yeah, that's that anybody who with dark skin. Hold on, let me ask the question. <laughs> hey, but let <laughs> me just say this because see, oh, Pepe, see that's, hold on, let me just say this, and I'm gonna let you go. Oh, see, that's a hard topic. That's a hard topic for Pelu, right? Because his Islamic brothers 
is is slaving his black brother. So he got a scrattle of fence. He can't really speak too much on that. It's not a hard thing for me. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why it's an easy thing for me. Cause first of all, ain't none of the people slaving black people are my brothers. I'm saying that for a fact right now. Ain't none of my brothers. Just because you say you're Muslim don't mean you're my brother. If you're not from a halakha to come, you're not my brother. Point blank, period. I only fuck with a certain group of Muslims. And if you're not with me, I don't mess with you. Ask Ron. I don't mess. I don't. I don't mess with Sunnis. I don't mess with Sunnis. I don't mess with Shias. I don't fuck with them at all. I, yeah, I put that, I, 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 actually, yeah, I, he, has a, he, he has a he has a he has a horse he has a horse stance. Oh, you're a prime example of nuance. That's that fit now. That's that fit. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, but he, but he, but he's, but he's, he is right about that. If you know about uh, uh they don't, yeah. Palu would tell you all about it, you know. So it has nothing to do with them, them being Libyan or seeing. Uh, and my fact, I, I don't agree with the. Uh, I mean, there's slavery in a lot of Sunni Muslim countries in Mauritania with the white Moors enslaving black Moors and stuff like that. That's something you need to bring up to uh, Sunni Muslims, oh. and they need to deal with it. What's that? That sounds like that bid doc. Some type of innovations going on. You uh, so I think the chat want to go back to the actual topic for of the evening. Yeah, I just think we shouldn't be uh sleeping with white women, man. Man, white we black. got to be cognizant of who related the people that's related to white people too now. Yeah, uh, I'm related. I, I, uh, I'm related to mixed people. I'm I'm related to them. Yeah. So who was the person who said that you shouldn't be sleeping with white people? I Nobody did. said that. I just said it. I said it. I don't. Okay. I, I I feel like black men should not be sleeping with Jupiters. I mean, it's easy. Okay, Ain't no big bro. debate about it. That's just my opinion. And uh, it is what it is. I want to yeah, produce you know, my face. You. I want I want my it's kids to look like my grandma, and granddaddy, and the. Hey kids, so what I don't, I do don't, you have I don't want no people. beige babies. I don't have no privilege. I'm just stating their opinion. I don't want no beige babies. I want okay. black. Well, obviously, you, you in particular wouldn't have beige babies because you'd have a black woman. Right. But what right do you think or privilege do you claim to have to tell other people what choice they should make? I don't have the right. I'm just stating an opinion. I said I okay. want to reduce right. my face. Yeah. Yeah, nobody. I, nobody say I, have the right. I, I, I do have an question? opinion, though. Yeah, but nobody's trying to stop black people from marrying white people. Like, if y'all want to marry in in a marrying hat, like nobody's gonna stop it. We're not gonna stop it. You know, we're not trying to stop it. We're not trying to outlaw it or prevent you from marrying. Nobody you know? would be able to stop it. You would never be able to stop people having sex with each other if they wanted okay, to. Okay, so, we so yeah, we but we're there. asking the pros and cons, though. And yeah, what the topic is what is if... the pros and cons? And the pros don't outweigh the cons for me. Period. Okay, so tell me what the pros and the cons are. This should be funny. I can't. I unless unless her people's got some money, that could be the only pro I could think of. <laughs> I can say one con. I can say one con. <laughs> I, can, I don't I could go down a whole list of cons, but I'm trying black, to black, think of a pro. The know, black man white woman dynamic uh, has the highest divorce rate of all interracial marriages. Like I don't so. Know about that. Okay, that's what that's what that's what that's some information I came across. That, that they're the least successful. And if that's the case, why is a black man would you, you know, marriage is already, uh, yeah, you know, taking a hit. 50% of them in, in divorce. Why would you I can't involve answer that. A successful marriage, so I can't answer that. But one thing that I will say. Okay, but I'm just saying for everybody, though. We're if, not there's more, if there's more likelihood of a black man marrying a white woman, then there's more likelihood of there being a higher amount of divorces. I mean, that stands to reason. Hey, 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 I'm going to tell you a trend I've seen. A true trend I've seen right now in D.C. I don't know if it's everywhere. In D.C., I, now I'm seeing, especially, I'm talking about like in, in, the, in the more professional areas. You go like downtown, Georgetown, and all the professional areas, right? I'm not talking about in, in the ghetto. I'm, not, I'm talking about like in the professional, in the, 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 in the yuppie areas, right? All the yuppie areas. I'm seeing, the vast majority of black women now in the yuppies. I'm not talking about the hood, the hood black women. The yuppie black girls, the vast majority now now got, got uh, white men with them. The vast majority now. For some I'm reason. Okay. And probably vice versa. What? What? About the dudes too? Yeah, if you go into upper... Yeah. Not that, not that, that, area, you're going to see more black dudes with white women. Yeah, yeah you might. It's you, about you, proximity. You, it's about proximity. It's not so, if you, so if you just enter into a higher socioeconomic status where it's more bracket, where it's more white people around you, you're going to be more inclined to maybe 
form a form a relationship with one of them. I think that's natural. Though. That's, that, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, yeah. Definitely. That before is now was common now, especially with the black. Before it wasn't common to see uh, black girls with white guys, but now it's getting common. And DC is common now. It's but let's not pretend thing. for a long time. DC don't count. DC don't count. DC don't count. Y'all niggas been weird. Now, like DC gentrified now. Like let's be real too. Yeah, gentrified. No, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. In the gentrified communities, right? If you go to gentrified areas in DC, right? The gentrified areas, you're gonna see the majority of white girl, of black girls now are with white guys. The majority. The, if you see anything professional, I'm not talking about like the hood rats though. Like any professional black girl, they got white guys now. I, it's, but, but, then, but, all, but, but, but most of them are like immigrants. They immigrants though. They like immigrants. I've been no, no, a, no, lot, no, a lot no, of them no, white no, girls no, are immigrants, man. They ain't talking about these, they're not doing it that much. I'm talking about the regular black girls now. The regular black girls now are getting scooped up by white men. The regular, yeah, I'm talking about the women, right, women, right? I mean, African American, ADOS, however you want to say. It. Nah, 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 nah. No, no, I'm not if, talking about everyone. If, I'm not saying everyone. If, we were everyone. That one, if, if a DOS saying... female, if an ADOS female with her, she try to get her credit fixed or something, she'll drop that nigga off in the no, no. <laughs> credit get right. <laughs> I swear, I, I swear I'm trying to hold you for nothing but truth. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the hood rats. I'm not talking about if you go to Southeast or go to the hood rats. I'm not talking about the hood rats. I'm talking about when you go to the professional, when you see the professional girls, you go to the nice areas, right? In the, in the, in the parts of there's not ghetto in D.C. The, the professional girls, these yuppie girls, these yuppie black girls who got good jobs are, are getting scooped up by, by, by white men in droves nowadays. I see okay. it. Okay. That's not you get picked up by your friends. You bringing them down there to pick up our sisters. I, no, I, I ain't bringing mine there. They, 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 oh, they're scooping right. them. them. All right, man. I'm, just give me a report. We got three more panelists to the bottom, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, thank y'all. Thank damn. Thank y'all for holding it down. I slipped out to the stone, y'all, boys and girls. Hey, Shines, what's going on, Shines? You there? I'm there, man. I'm there. All, uh, it's all good, man. It's all good. Um, yeah, thanks it's for letting not- me on, then, that. Yeah. Ah, you know it, brother. You know it. You yeah, know I, know, it's I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, I only popped on yeah. for a few minutes, and uh, yeah, um, I, because I don't want to upset anyone. Well, no, nah, say, man. Yeah, Sean, say, yeah. yeah, Sean, say yeah. what you say, and you know how it is, bro. You yeah, I know. I know. K panels. You know it's, how to hold yeah, yourself yeah. in a room full of lions, man. Go ahead. Yeah, say yeah. Hurt, um, hurt somebody' feelings. Just keep it respectful. Respectful. You, yeah, you can hurt feelings. Just keep it respectful. No, I'm not here to hurt any feelings. All I've got to say is, um, basically, I only, yeah, popped on, only popped on to say respect. Oh, this nigga. Basically, to say respect and peace. And if I stay on uh, long uh, longer, a certain person would leave so it's best i leave <laughs> so loving it hey we yeah, got a bye, man yeah hello now nah, let him talk what do you mean shines make them somebody will leave man it don't matter i'll let you on the panel bro yeah i, I know leave. i know i know i know oh, you good man man he's he's scared man, just, man. yeah 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 he's been acting scared that. since he came in we got another <laughs> white girl on the panel uh, <laughs> we got we got oh, Becky oh, in the oh, building oh. Juke got back up. Oh, shit. Juke got back up. <laughs> you need some backup? What's going on, man? How y'all doing? <laughs> what y'all doing? Is yeah, this the this Becky Bash hour or what? Oh, 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 um, big okay, up the Becky. Big up the Becky. You know what I'm saying? Jupiter. Jupiter. <laughs> hey, bro, you ain't want to say nothing, man. Let the woman speak, man. Jen in the building. Hi, Jen. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm just fucking with y'all. How y'all doing? Good? <laughs> nah, you yeah. good, Jen. Um, yeah. I guess you're going to speak from experience, Jen. So I got to ask yes, you, sir. you know, pretty much the question of the show, man. Any All pros, right. any cons of interracial dating? See, the way I look at it, right, is like there's pros and cons of dating in general, right? Like, to me, I, I don't know. Like, I didn't feel no like racial aspect to my relationship, or like as far as it goes with my kids, or like there was no like weird racial tension with our family. So I was very fortunate, like in that aspect, where maybe some other people don't have that kind of support. But like, my family was cool. Like his family was cool. Like our holidays were lit. 
and you know, like the barbecue, we were all at the barbecue. Like we were. But you know all what, Jen? There. You're from the East Coast. I heard some of the communities on the East Coast might be diverse, but everybody's on the same socioeconomic status, and it kind of creates a. I don't know. I've never been on the East Coast, but that's something I heard. Hey, Jerry, yeah, you know, as soon as you true. left the barbecue, they talk shit about you. You know that, right? So they, you hey, you know what? They might have, you know, hey, they might have said, you know, the mac and cheese might not have had enough <laughs> flavor to it, or you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you put it, you I put it, you cat, hair, I, cat hair all in the macaroni. And oh, shit, shit, okay, okay, uh, okay, come okay. on, man, you wildin' man. Bought some ambrosia yeah. salad to the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking Yo, with you. Got it, got it, Jacob. I can find you. some. I can find some corn and some fat back and make some greens with some turkey mm. necks, just like anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Sweet Yeah, hold on, Bo. Let, I got you, Bo. Hold it real, one second, Bo. I want to bring it back, though, because Bo yeah. is going somewhere. Now, what about, what did your family, what did your, you know I mean, your family think about you being uh, with the black man? Any type of pushback uh, because of that decision? No, none whatsoever. Like I said, the only people my my Italian grandparents told me never to fuck with was Irish dudes. They didn't care about black people, Puerto Rican boy, huh? you know, like they just didn't <laughs> like Irish people. Yeah, they they told what? me never to cuz they were drunken. They said they would beat me. They said they would uh, leave what? their wife uh, barefoot and pregnant. Like they didn't fuck with Irish people at all. And that was the only racial shit I ever heard from them. Right. Hey, what what about? Cause my opinion was that the con of it is that with the children, they they're more so uh they're more prone to have like identity crisis and get stuck in the middle of those two identities, and it manifests in a lot of different um in some ways mental illness. You know what I'm saying? Where they end up stuck mm -hmm. between the two. And I don't say that like disrespectfully by mm -hmm. saying mental illness. Yeah, no, no, I it, hear you. It, but it does exist. You know what I'm saying? Where they may mm -hmm. get to a point in their life when they hit college and they don't really know what group to gravitate towards or get stuck in between the middle, especially when you see like these hyper um, racial times and all that with Black Lives Matter and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like they don't want to. They don't know which way to go. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Like y'all ever took that into account? Or have you seen that? Like when you raising them, like making so sure that a, they have an understanding of both sides? Yeah, of course. Uh, like I have, I have three girls. I have three girls, right? 21, 20, and 10. Yeah. And uh, my 21 year old, she's in college. She's, um, you know, and she goes to all those protests. She goes to the black. She's like a huge. Uh, they are activist in, type thing. Yeah, she goes. They you know, always she, up. And she did like approach me on on white guilt one time, right? Because like she was like, you know, I kind of feel like you know some of the people at that protest might not be cool with my white side. And I'm like, well, if they're not, if, like, first of all, why would they have to see it as a white side? Like, you are who you are as a person. If they're not going to like half of you, that's somebody you might not want to fuck with as a person. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So facts. it's like, now so I don't know. Like, y'all saying facts, Bo. I want to come to you, Bo. Well, <laughs> you I might mean, have been the guy, not what, necessarily what, what? at the protest, but you would be the guy. No, but I, already said, I already said that if you look at all those protests and all those things, mm -hmm. that it's the biracials that seem to overcompensate and participate and be the loudest in a lot of those things because I feel as though they feel as though they have an obligation to to represent for that black side, but a lot of times they don't have that same understanding of it and it's not the same issue. So it's like she can't relate to somebody who really probably come from a lineage where they feel oppressed in their blackness as a nappy-headed black chick who probably feel the effects of colorism and different different issues or whatever, you know what I'm saying, by a hair texture or whatever. Because all those things exist, you know what I'm saying? When you look at a lot of the issues, black issues that, that's pertinent, you know what I'm saying? Like colorism. And so she's gonna be a she's gonna be in a different position and coming from it from a different perspective. Cause she's still, whether she like, she still kind of like sits in that place in society 
almost as a buffer class historically if you look at the black struggle you know what i'm saying the mm. the mix the mixed race was always there as that buffer class and still had the option to exercise their white privilege or go back to their white side so a hundred percent ados black person is not gonna fully trust them as it comes to the struggle you know what i'm saying because they don't have that white side to lean back on or to take from Hey, 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 let me jump in and say something quick. I actually have a good, ex a matter of fact, over here, right, we actually have an organization, right, called Straight Black Pride. I think they got a, I, I, I know they probably got a website. It's Straight Black Pride. But, but, but anyway, and anyway, their whole thing, they made a whole organization to stop. Organization to stop. Oh, was that my thing echoing? Okay, okay. Anyway, yeah, they, they made a whole, they made a whole um, organization to stop interracial dating and, and homosexual dating in the black community over here, and they meet up. Every, they actually have a whole organization in the meetup at this restaurant in Capitol Heights in in um Capitol Heights, Maryland. Is in PMPG. They have a whole restaurant. They come and they, they meet up and have the whole meetings and everything. They have actually made organizations to to, 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 to stop to stop it. So uh, so how you feel about organizations that they're dedicated to um to, to to stopping um interracial dating? Well, that's a waste of time, and that 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 that's along <laughs> the lines of the stupidity to me. But yeah, they got it. They have a whole idea. The more you is. say something is wrong, the more people want to do it. So, like, the more you drill things into people's head that this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. It's like what you know, you like, yeah, you're gonna push people right to do it. So, like, having a whole organization, like, you know, when when my kids think of their parents as like they're two loving parents, like we had a good marriage, like, you know what I'm saying, like. I don't know, like, you're going to stop that? That's what you want to stop? You want to stop two people who are in love from raising their children and being no. successful? And, yeah, that's, that's you know stupid. what I'm saying? Like, how yeah, could you stop that? that? How could you stop that? That's why I took people I, 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 upset I, I, about I, other people's choices. That they're actually going to get a little knitting circle to complain about who other people are. <laughs> right, yeah, right, I mean, right. they can complain all day, but the <laughs> fact <laughs> of it is that, you know, it's maybe... It's organization. You might, they got to make them... Yeah, you might can change some people's minds, but then, you know, yeah, maybe those people that's, never experience... Yeah, uh, uh, like, Hey, uh, <laughs> they ain't, no, ain't nobody got time for all that. That's the truth. They be having conferences and everything. They be having conferences... They be having conferences. They be having date nights because uh, I went to one of the date nights before. I went to a date night before though. I went to one of the date nights. I went to the date night. They be having date nights. They be having a uh, 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 um um uh, um um. No, see, cause I told them, I see, cause they always find me because I got friends in the organization. Matter of fact, this is, this is a whole time hustler called called um Eric Genie. He's on he, um he uh, um he's on YouTube too. He makes yeah, he makes he makes. Some... Oh, oh oh oh! You see him? Ew, ew. I know him personally. He um oh, he my friend personally. He he my personal friend. I, I, mean, I mean don't get me wrong. I, um oh, he, don't he's actually what he says. He, I don't. He's actually level headed though. He 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 won't be saying no wild stuff like some of the other dudes though. Yeah, yeah. He's right, but bro. at the same time, hey, bro, slow down. You talk too fast, bro. People can't really. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, sorry. I'm gonna slow down. <laughs> yeah. I know it's a genie in real life. I, I, matter of fact, I got your the number on my phone. We're like we in a chat group together too. I know him in real life. Uh, like 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 he he cool guy in real life. But that's uh, basically all he does. Like he don't even work. Uh, like 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 all he does is do that hotel hustle stuff. <laughs> but, 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 but he but he but, but, but he my guy though. But 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 um but uh anybody check him out. Hey, but he forget, has, forget about the hotel genie. This is what I want to say. Right, it's a difference between promoting black love. And you know, creating spaces for black men and black women to come together and congregate, and you know what I'm saying? That's one thing. But if you create in organizations to combat interracial dating <laughs> and all that, and you talking about marching and protesting against people, then that's when you crossing the line into the whole nutcase <laughs> type of uh, Hey, but they got it. They got it over here. You see, they got right, it in these right, Brother, brother, brother. It's an organization for every nutcase idiot you can think of. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's not really something that most sane people are going to be trying to do. That's not something that most black people support. You know what I'm saying? Even most yeah. black people that don't support interracial dating, they're not going to go as far as to join the organization. <laughs> 
<laughs> opposed to it. I've seen it though. I've seen it though. Brother, I believe you, brother. I believe you, brother. I hey, believe they probably have. A, I bet you they have a website. Go straight black pride. I bet brother, you they got. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, even, I, I, I saw even a couple of the other videos. I know. I don't. I've I never heard him him speak on the interracial thing, but I know he. Right. Then you gotta think this. This. Then you gotta think in this social media era. I'm about to call him and get him on the joint. Hey, I, I, I must get him on the joint. Yeah, I'm get him on the joint. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Go that, ahead. Man. Get on that, man. Go ahead. But Born rich. I think it, in, in social media, this social media era too, right, we got to be careful because a lot of shit, a lot of people come up with, like you say, it's all a hustle, a hotel hustle. So they'll come up with an organization to get a whole bunch of nutcases together to start raising money and doing all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's not really something that the average person in real life is going to be no, concerned but I think, with. Uh, but but, no. but then again, let me go to Sean. Go, go ahead, Sean. Thanks a lot because I've got to shoot off. And, go ahead, um, brother. Um, is is there's uh, one person? Uh, is it Jupiter from the UK? Yeah, UK in the building. Stand All right. Up. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jupiter, how are you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. God damn, bro. Say what you gotta yeah, say. What man. you gotta say, Sean? Come on, man. You gotta spit it out, brother. Spit it out, bro. Is um. I just want wanted to know um if Rod said that on on the internet the person number one person to um come off online and banned. Is me? Is that true or not, bro? That's somebody... not the topic, bro. That's yeah, not the, the topic, topic. is uh, <laughs> interracial dating, Sean. Sean, we try to stick to the topic, brother. Now, what's your oh, thoughts right. on okay. interracial? Say no yeah, more. no, oh, no. Okay. Now, I want you to speak on the topic, bro. Like you joined. Well, what the was the topic? Con? The topic Sorry. is the pros and cons of interracial dating. That's not a problem. Everyone can mix. My. Sure, yeah. No, my are you big on lineage? Go ahead, go ahead. Go wait, ahead, go wait. Ahead. My niece is half Jamaican, half and what's Jamaican, your, and half what's Turkish. Your, and what's your, you, you're what, you're Turkish? Well, yeah, I've got Turkish, yeah. Yeah, so you're Turkish. So my niece, my niece is half Turkish, half Jamaican. And she's a diamond. That's beautiful, brother. That's beautiful. 100%. Yeah, she's... Turkish. Now in Turkish in Turkish in the Turkish community, yeah. do they promote interracial dating or does it just happen or do they promote you to um have relationships with your own people? Um it's I would say it's more more free, if you know what I mean. But years ago maybe it was more strict and uh now it's more relaxed, you know. Now is yeah. that because of the westernization? Is people being more more liberal nowadays? Like what what made you guys get away from um the you know, Tur you know Turkey? You know, Turkey used to have the the eunuchs. I got you, Tehran. Just let me, let, me, let me land with this, Tehran. I'll come to you right next, brother. But uh, what 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 what's making people in twenty twenty one get away from the traditional Turkish um dating scene, where Turks uh, marry Turks? Mm. It's to be honest. It's it's not a Turkish person have to marry a Turkish person, basically now. Um, but you know, it's years ago. It used even in your own culture and other different people's culture, they always say stick to your own culture. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's different. It's not just like Turkey. It's everywhere. Right. It's the world. Yeah. But is, that a, is that a good thing or a bad thing to just start mixing with whoever you want to mix with uh, willy-nilly? Willy-milly. <laughs> <laughs> willy-milly. Um, to be honest, uh, my family has respect. And uh, my brother's uh, married to a Jamaican woman. 
it doesn't matter. My family is, if a person is good and if her, her, her son or daughter is happy, then that let it be, isn't it? Let, let it, it be. be. Let it be. Let it be, man. Let it yeah. be. I, got you. I agree. I agree. Let it be. Let it be, man. Mix it let in. it be. <laughs> Mix and mingle anyway. Yeah. Well, the, I'll thing, tell you, the, I'll... the word that I think, I'm sorry, Sean, real quick, right. like the word, the thing that I think that gets left out of a lot of these conversations uh -huh. is like the actual concept of love, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, <Look. laughs> how, like you can't stop who you love. You can't help who you love. You can't stop who loves you. Exactly. And for whatever reasons, it may be somebody you would never like. Maybe you fell in love with somebody that hasn't even your type, but they're the personality. And you guys click on a level that nobody else has ever clicked with. So it's like when it comes down to it, it's like you're going to stop people from attempting to love somebody who might actually love them back and treat them like the world or just marry somebody because they feel like they're obligated to marry someone the same color. Hey, can I, I say something? I agree, right? Can I say something? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be real quick. Uh, Jen, I have no problem with that. I totally agree if that's the basis of the relationship or them coming mm. together. But what got me kind of suspicious of interracial dating, uh, when I was looking into it, it seemed like it was a lot of fetishing, fetishizing going on. When I was hearing some of the white women speak about why they were interested in the black men they were dating or married, they were saying things that were like tangible, like they can dance or they good kissers or they got big penises and stuff like that. And, you know, they really didn't say anything about them being like good fathers, being good people or, you know. Well, and then so that's I the would have to I have. say that that shows to what kind of woman is delivering that message. One woman, a even woman in, that... it, it was on a show. One woman even said, I'm with them as a political statement. Oh yeah, see, in that oh in that boy. type of in that type of woman, you should probably I advise any man to stay away from, right? Hey, like, and that, hey, and that, a woman hey, and let me who ask is you judging this. you off of what like entertainment you can give her is no woman that I would recommend anybody dating, hey. banging, or even marrying. And hey, let me ask you this, right? Okay. I got a two part question, but I'm gonna just ask you the first one. Is, is, what about those, and this is what I see a lot of time. I see a lot of people that interracially date, right, as, and I'm using this word lightly, right, and only from the black perspective, right? I'm not speaking mm -hmm. about white people. I don't know. But I see, like, a lot of rejects, right, of people that feel rejected by the black community. So they might have a gripe with, let's say, a black woman who has an issue with, with black men or got done wrong by... Now she just feel like the answer to all her problems is to get a white man or even with black men that they had an issue mm -hmm. with a black woman and now they mm -hmm. just feel like, I hate black women, I'm going to get a white woman because white women, they don't, you know what I'm saying, they the best things mm -hmm. since sliced bread and they going to love me. Like, you ever seen that dynamic? And how do you see that? How do you see yeah, that? I don't think that comes into it. I don't know about Jen. I don't... I don't... I know Man, quite a whole channel right. with hundreds of thousands of people dedicated to that one topic of crying about black men crying about black women and now they want a white woman and black women crying mm. about black men and now they want a white man, especially from so, the black women perspective. Well, they got maybe multiple the problem families. in the black community then because I've not heard right. it from the black community. Yeah, and Shines, I think Shines, it, hold on real quick. Shines, you had background noise, so I had to mute you, brother. So when you want to speak again, you got to un unmute yourself. Go ahead, Jen. Sorry about that. And see, I, I think the way that, like, the way I'm looking at that, like, okay. is that um, I think that, uh, again, like, I feel like that transcends race. Like, if a girl, like a white girl has had a lot of problems with white men, Maybe she might start looking for something different. Like, if, or, or maybe somebody had a lot of problem with guys who were like, I don't know, uh, doctors or something because they couldn't get attention. Maybe they're not going to look for a doctor next time. They're going to look for the opposite. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like that just comes with being what, hurt in relationships and not understanding. Would hmm? you feel slighted? Would you feel slighted as a white woman to know like you're almost like, um, a uh, worst like case scenario, choice. yeah. Like I'm just gonna get a white woman now because black women don't like me because I'm a nerd. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, no, I, I, I don't think <laughs> I am. 
I don't, I mean, is that your only reason for getting in a relationship is to spite your last lover? You know what I'm not saying? Like, or lover, are you but genuinely... You're, but, but you're, you're not, even, not even so much as your last lover, but the entire gender of your race. Yeah, yeah. Because they you say know, you were weird. So I thought, you, I thought that's, that's that's why you see a lot of black people that interracially date. Nah, are, are, are sellouts. I'm not saying all are sellouts, but a lot of them are sellouts, and they'll take up certain talking points and position themselves in a way is though to like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, black people are bad because it's like I can't really explain it. You'll have to be black to be able to recognize. All right, oh, okay. So I can't mm. explain it. I can't explain it because I've heard it on these streams now. I don't, how would you feel about this, Bo? Now, if you take a person from Africa and they marry, uh, I don't know, let's say they- uh, ADOS, marry, man. They, they, I, they, I've they, heard no, this. Listen, though. Which I, let me use this as an example. Well, fuck it. I'll use it. Let's go ADOS now, right? So you get a- I've heard Africans make this- Yeah, you get, a white, ADOS, you get a man. white man. You get a white man from Europe, right? He migrates uh, to America, and he has a mm -hmm. baby with an ADOS sister, and- and he gets so comfortable to the point where he starts saying, I am an American, and not only am I an American, I'm more American than you. Because I don't know about that. That ain't what, what? I was gonna say. I don't know what yeah. I'm yeah. different if that even. Yeah, he's not he crazy. That. That's a reach, I'm bro. Sorry, saying, bro. I would, I would that sound to you if I say yeah. that. <laughs> well, even if I don't say I'm more American than you, I say I am American. And since I have a child with an ADOS, uh, uh, if he got his citizenship and he feel American, then hey, you know, more power to him. Now, American is, a, is a, America is a melting pot. Anybody can claim to be American. Yeah. Now, can he claim uh, ADOS uh, no. with his with his child? No, his child can claim ADOS. He can't claim it. Is that there? Hmm. That's weird. But what I was gonna say, what I thought you was gonna say, what I was gonna say is, I've heard. Like um African women say like um you know African culture is kind of um can be somewhat oppressive to to women and they feel um a lot of restraints cultural restraints where they can't do certain things and men have certain rights and privilege rights over them and they don't have certain rights so they prefer to date ADOS men or men in the diaspora because men from their country have those same that same mentality as the men back home where they feel as though a woman should take certain be play a certain traditional role where they don't have as much rights or freedom to express themselves or do certain things. But when they come to, but when they, they prefer African-American man, cause they see African-American women have a little more freedom. They're a little more vocal. They can express themselves and the men are somewhat cool with it or uh, accepting of it. Ah, it's interesting you say that because we've got we've got friends from Africa that have married married African American women, okay. And and, and what they say is that from the, there is a difference between the African women back home and the ones in America, and and even if they bring even if they were to go back meet someone in Africa and then bring them to America, that that, that their mindset changes once they get here. When they get to the West, that they 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 suddenly um, how can I put it? Because they go out to work and they get more rights and everything else. Oh, you um, got you got you got Latino women who do that too. Yeah, that they kind of use it against the men. And yeah. I have to admit that even in Britain, women do use their rights that they get against men. It is something that women do. And do and can understand all, their all right. time, all the time. No, not all the time, but people. For example, most, most you, you will know that single mums will know that they can, if they keep the man off the rent book, if they keep the man off the off the birth certificate. You know, they're more likely, if anything goes wrong with the relationship, to remain with the children, to keep the home. You I know, don't know so how it is in the UK, but most of most of the divorces are initiated by women. Yeah. So maybe it's that that kind of rubs off. I don't know. Right, right. My whole thing is I don't really like. I can see it more so from the African perspective because when they say it, I don't see it with as much hate. 
and hurt, right, and trauma behind it, right? But a lot of black people, I I see, especially that you hear in online spaces, right? Not as much so in real life, but by you knowing them, you already know why they with a white girl. It's like, I get it, bro. You ain't got to explain it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you don't, you really, the white girl is almost like second fiddle and you wasn't never fully accepted in the black community anyway. So you getting a white girl is almost like a natural, a natural progression. Yeah. But a lot of them people, a lot of them people, they, 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 they keep, they keep that hate with them over the years. And so they're, they the ones who you'll see online, black women like buying weeds. They only want to buy weed. I'm telling you, you can't trust these bitches. And, you know what I'm saying? It's like that, that like oh. atmosphere type <laughs> weird energy. So what I would say is what I've heard tonight is a lot of a lot of black people making a lot of um, stereotypical reasons of why it's stereotypical. It's just are it's together. Just life experiences. And, and right at the beginning, it's it's just ob observations. It it's not stereotypical. There's actually studies. Yeah, some a lot of the things I was saying. Is exactly yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Right. So so I'm right at the beginning. I said that this was the case, that there are many people that don't date outside of their race that think that they can tell interracial couples why they're together. And in most cases, it's just love. No. So, so at no time in my life did I, dis, did I ever sit down and consciously think, okay, I'll have a, a white husband and then I'll have a black husband or, um, you know, it never entered my mind. I just fell in love with who I fell in love with. See, we but clicked. I think it's different for white people. We respected stuff within each other. Now, my husband loves his, his family that are black, and I love my family that are white. Um, and we love our mixed race children. Uh, we look forward to whatever grandchildren we get, whatever color they're going to be from those children. Uh, we don't consider either side lesser. We treat them exactly the same. Um it's not because he hates his mother, he actually adored his mum, his mum's father, but he adored right. his mother. You know, it's not because I hate my father. I I, I adored my father. Um it, it, it's craziness. Hey, All do the you think, excuses do you, are just crazy. But do you think it's possible that the motivations behind racial interracial dating are different for white people and white women in particular than it is for black people? Because they within, are. within within black within the black community. There's a certain element element of social social mobility that that plays into the whole interracial dating scene. Whereas some people within, the, some, especially women, they feel as though a white man is a ticket to a different lifestyle, to a different a social status exchange, to a, to a social different social status. It's so a social dynamic. status exchange in interracial dating that where black men get uh -huh. the short end of the st where. Black men, some black men do see dating white women or marrying white women as a level as leveling up okay. where because and of the black, position, because, because of the position that white people are in in society, white women do not look at black men as leveling up when they right. date them. Right. So it's almost like a bit of naivety by some white. I don't want to say by all white women or all white, but where is though they don't really understand the motivation behind the the union and i'm not saying that those unions aren't gen are, aren't general are um genuine but that 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 element of social mobility and social climbing that doesn't exist when a, a white woman is thinking about dating a white man unless it's like yeah, well, I, don't, I don't know i i don't let's get jim perspective we got your perspective let's get jim perspective all I can I, I, say is that my personal husband, oh okay, God, man. his you social status in Africa was much higher than my working class status in Britain. So I Your don't know. skin color that. alone is social mobility for an African. Let's be oh, clear. Okay. Let's okay, be okay, clear. Okay, okay. I want to be clear about this. No, though. I disagree. Hey, hold on, I hold on, disagree. Pelu. Hold on, Pelu. Let's get Jim perspective. The other um woman on the panel because no, 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 she's I'm in America. Just, just, brother, brother, just, relax, just, bro. Brother, we don't want to hear about your friends right now, bro. Relax. We want to hear about Jen's personal experience. I know I'm saying something real quick, though, is because it pertains to that. Real quick. Real quick. All I'm saying is that in, in relationships, from the beginning of time, though, from the beginning of time, 
all relationships has been built on social status. So, so it's not just a black white thing. Uh, um, uh, um, oh, 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 uh, a woman in damn, man. always been status seekers. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Let him come to a boat. Let him let him come to a boat. Black. I'm um, even even white on white relationship. The social status seeking, even black on black relationships, the social status seeking. So so relationships have always been about social status seeking. That's all I want to say. Thank you. All right. Can we get Jen's perspective from from the other white woman on the panel? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm hearing the 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 things, the reasons that you're saying, right? And I'm thinking, no, no, check, no, check, no, check, no. <laughs> like my husband, his parents Wait, stop, were. Stop looking at your husband, though. We're talking about just generally. <laughs> Right, because we so don't want I to could, personalize this. I'm not trying well, to personalize well, I, this. Right, but I'm just telling you, I can only go by my experience, right? So I'm telling you, my experience, yeah, like my husband was well accepted by the black community. His parents were preachers in the AME Zion Church. There was a huge church family. Oh, He's Boulay. got a huge Boulay. church family. No, what's that? Boulay. I don't know what that is. That's, okay, that's so you're name. not that deep. In, you, you wasn't that deep into the black community. You don't, but I get it, though. Come on. Okay, so I, I mean, we I, he knew I was broke. He knew I didn't have no credit score, so I don't know what he come up. He thought he was good. He made way more money than I did, and you know, I, don't, uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. think y'all understand it though. I don't think y'all really understand the mentality behind a lot of, of the black community and a lot of people within it. Whereas See, this is why you I don't, think you don't understand that your your skin alone is a social status, is a status symbol for some black people within the black community. But, you but, don't get that concept. Hold on. I mean, okay, so, so, so you're telling me it's not possible. It's not possible for a black guy to meet a white g girl and really, and really like her and really be feeling her and dig her. Like, that's like, you're telling me that's bro, not possible? Why you, why, why you keep capping, bro? Nothing's impossible, bro. Not, niggas done went to the moon before, bro. It's not impossible. I'm going to the moon tomorrow. That's possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's a terrible energy, bro. That don't even make sense. Yeah, it's po right, it's well, possible I'm headed to the moon next the week. I put some on the screen. I want people to talk to this, man, because this is a concept that came up, and it's actually a concept that I've heard before, that a lot of time is fetish-based when, yeah, uh, when interracial people get together. It's fetish-based. So you see the picture of the white man trying to grab that, 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 that don't. I mean, is that just a, is what every man yeah, want to grab like that donk? donk. Go ahead. He might really like that donk. He might really like that donk. How you know we don't like it? Sorry. How you know we doesn't like it? How you know we doesn't like that donk? And, and I'm gonna tell you a story. And I'm gonna tell you a story. As a matter of fact, we don't want to hear no stories, bro. We keep on, you keep on having a story. Let him go, Bo. Let him go, Bo. Come on, Bo. We got shit. We no, got no, no, I was gonna tell you one of the guys in Straight Black Pride. I, I got, I, I got a friend. He's part of Straight Black Pride, right? And, and, and he'll never say Serena Williams' name. If you say Serena Williams, the first thing he says, "Who?" You be like, "What? Serena Williams?" Like, "Who?" He, because uh, he, because, because he hates Serena Williams for, for, um, for, for, um, for marrying him. Cause he, he's part of Straight Black Pride. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you. Oh. Okay, Pelo. All right. Damn, I burnt okay. up my pizza. Damn. Hey, yeah, I believe, I believe it all. Sunday, yeah. Pizza it. Sunday, Jay. Man, I, I burnt my shit all yeah. up, man. I need Go to ahead, Bo. <laughs> nah, I believe, I believe for some people there is a certain um, level of fetishization. Because I remember back when, when, like, with, and I'm just saying from my experience, right? So with black men, you had the dudes that felt like white women were most sexually open, right? So this back in the days when black women didn't suck dick and do stuff like that, right? Like in the early 90s and 90s and stuff like that. Well, back when we was in school. For a long time. Go ahead. Go nah, ahead. nah. You could not, you could not uh -huh. approach a black, mm -hmm. women, a black woman on the 90s on those, on those school campus or whatever and ask about sucking dick. That was unheard of. You know what I'm saying? Like sucking dick was something that was more so like uh, associated with white girls. And I'm not saying that to be like disrespectful. I'm just saying like, and maybe that was just in the community I grew up in. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So you you yeah, hear Caribbean dude. guys say that a lot out here for why they date yeah, white I did. Damn, this is going to sound horrible, but y'all <laughs> heard me say the same thing before. I can't. It's not that I'm not attracted to white girls. It's just like my upbringing was always sexual with white girls. Instead of trying to build, it was like, uh, fuck it. I don't want to get into it. Man. I said this a million times on my show. But, so you, know. you had that element, right? With yeah, same element you're talking about. Yeah. So 
some black men felt like it was the social status and then it was the ones that felt like white women were more let's just say sexually liberal right and then you had the white the black women that that had the fetishization the baby fetish like oh my baby gonna have good hair or oh yeah. my baby gonna have yeah. pretty eyes you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. so it was like yeah. yeah and i've heard i don't know i only know this from internet not personal experience but i have heard of the white man that only wants a black girl because like like sosa was saying her skin color her hair is uh, is more kinky you see what i'm saying i don't know man so i don't know i don't know man uh, so what if you i would say this like, if any white yeah. man yeah i would say this if any white man um were to date any woman just on one reason alone and only go for one type on one reason alone then it's madness. And I would say the same for women. So even if we took the colour of skin out of it, if someone told me that a, a man will go out with any ginger-haired woman, regardless of her temperament or her size or anything else, just as long as her hair's ginger, it doesn't make sense. And uh, that's kind of what you guys are trying to say right now, that right. people want to go out with someone just based on the colour of their skin. That's but ridiculous. Jupiter, don't you think that's preference though? Like maybe some dudes yeah. just like girls with red hair. Like maybe some some black guys just like girls with white yeah, skin. I agree. Like I maybe agree. some, you They're know, attractive. like yeah, They're it's who you're attracted to. Everybody has a type. Some guys yeah, don't people. like skinny bitches. Some guys like thick bitches. That's some guys right. don't Thank like thick bitches. <laughs> yeah, but then that's right. not it's not a head. Look, this is what I said. It's what I said. Mm. If yeah, they would mind. only date ginger-haired people, but not mm. take into consideration their temperament or their size or any other condition, then it's a bit weird to me. Because what you're saying is that they would go out with somebody who's ginger-haired who's unattractive but got ginger hair, or um, somebody who's got a bad yeah, temper people, yeah, but people, got ginger yeah. hair. No, it doesn't make like sense. Jupiter, people, 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 people like what they like, Jupiter. People like what they like, man. Right. You like a conservative way. Well, I would of say politics. that would be very rare. Like, I, I would say saying, most though, people you... may get attracted by looks, um, but then they have to have more than just looks. So there right. has to be some kind of connection in personality, know. in hobbies, you know. Like, I, gr I grew up in that. Just with more. Say. No, no, I'm not gonna like, let Jupiter I grew up in a time that. when they Bo, Bo, I'm not gonna let Jupiter say that as a woman telling a man what he should be attracted to. A man is attracted what to whatever if a man likes a fucking dark skinned bimbo, then that's what that man likes. Right. You can't say let's and all that, let's all switch up what we're attractive to just to fit this uh new world or this new. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. No, I don't think like it. only black women. I like only black women. Call me racist. Call me prejudiced. But I no, no one's saying that you can't like. No, them. that's not. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. That's not racist. Like that's your type, bro. Yeah. No one is saying that. What I'm saying is, if I if but if you would only date black women, regardless. Of their personality. Nobody said that. Then My you're answer. not. Yeah, no, but that's what a fetish is. Just man, that's almost on twenty million people. black women, man. You can find one with good sense. You know exactly. What I'm saying? So okay, so ain't like people saying, "Oh, I want a black woman, so I'm gonna go out and marry the first black woman I see," or "I like redhead, so I'm gonna pick the first black, first redhead, regardless of whether she is right now." You're it. And neither do white people. Okay, we get so, it, right? So, Juice, so, Juice, but, so hey. Juice, let me ask you this, though, Juice. Or, or G, mm. I like this. Mm -hmm. Bo, Bo, Bo said this earlier. Well, shout out to Bo. Yeah, Bo keep the shit popping. Bo said this earlier. So if a black man dates or has, has a baby with a white woman, he can no longer come back to the black community and tell us what we need to improve and what we can do to build upon our community. You agree with that or no, Juice? He can't take a leadership position. Okay. Um, it, it depends on what you're talking about. So if he's coming back to say that he wants to have a segregated community, that would be fucking stupid. Well, well, Jukes, no, Jukes, let me say this. Uh, what about gun crime? Hold on, hold on. Then, Jukes, Jukes, no, I got, I got one better. Listen, Jukes, 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 stop. You can't overtalk me. You can't overtalk me, Jukes. I got one better for you. What if a black man has a baby with a white woman and then 
He wants to be on the front lines, boots on the ground with black on black violence um, or night or black on black knife crime in the UK. Should he be a, should he be able to go back to the his own black community? I think fight? that's a bad example of yeah. I think like, that's a bad. Yeah, that's that. What, what, that? what if a white girl? What if a white girl have a half black kid and she try to join a, a white uh, rights? Uh, no, I'm not saying that. No, no, no. I want to say make, oh, I make a, 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 Go ahead, because Bob. it's a false equivalency. All because right. saying that, because saying that by him marrying a white woman, uh -huh. he can't still be concerned about. Black on black violence that affects so that's a human right, right? So anybody can be concerned and want to contribute front and line. help. Anybody can spearhead to stop, want to stop the violence in the community of a people, right? That's like a, a natural human instinct, right? That has nothing to do with race or who you marry, right? So if you married a white woman and you see people from the community you come from killing each other up, and you just want to tell them, "Hey man, y'all need to chill the hell out. This shit don't make no sense," right? His wife doesn't come into play. What if he when, wants when to I start say, you? When I say, what if he wants to start Brother, relax, 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 brother. brother listen, relax. Though, I'm finna, I'm brother, finna brother, tell you, bro, brother, relax. Brother. But if he wants to take a leadership position in a black social movement, such as something like Black Lives Matter, and we're combating white supremacy, and white people are the oppressors, and we need to stop systematic white supremacy and all this, and I'm here to represent for the black community. It's like, yo, what type of bullshit is that? Like, you married to a whole white woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't speak to the everyday experiences of black people, especially by you being married to a white woman, probably living in a white community, and talking about you're going to fight white supremacy and white, and you're married to a white woman. So you're kind of, like, disconnected from the conversation, and you playing both sides, right? And you almost a hypocrite, right? And then playing because, Charlie on Thanksgiving with her father. You know what I'm saying? So you almost being a hypocrite because it's like if you're if you're gonna speak out against white supremacy and make this narrative about white people being being so racist, then it would mean you would have to start with calling out your white wife and her family and everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, I don't know. I'm not black. I'm not a black person, so I can't answer that. But really, what if what if a a, a white lady had a black husband ha with mixed kids and was trying to advocate for a white right organization? You think they would let her in? You think they would even make her a leader? Um, maybe. It all depends how articulate you are, what your message is. If you're against racism, um, for example, there's no reason why you couldn't uh, head up uh, anti-racism against whites. Because, as much you, as whites. because you represent, you represent that that you 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 your your union. The fact that you married to a white woman somewhat even invalidates the whole thing. Because when we talk about systematic oppression and white supremacy there was systems in place before where interracial marriages were outlawed and people had yeah. an adverse reaction to them right only in america right. though not in britain okay well can you let me speak from my american perspective and then you speak from a british perspective you know what i'm saying because if we're going to keep on saying no not in the, not in britain not in britain like i don't know what the hell go on in britain you know what i'm saying so i can't speak to it so mm. everything, everything might just be the opposite in Britain. You know what I'm saying? For all I know and all I care, right? But what I'm saying is there was court cases and you know what I'm saying? Where people fought for this, right? And so for you to have a happy, for you to have a happy fucking interracial marriage and now you want to take the forefront of a movement against white supremacy, it's like, yo, what do you represent? So you have to first start at home by calling out all your racist in-laws, your waste, your racist white wife that 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 um that married you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like oh, well, so it almost becomes hypocritical. No, right. but no, me. It's like for example, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. No, stop trying to overtalk me. One at a time, one at a time, y'all. Listen, we got. All right, let me finish. Stop trying to overtalk me. Let me just give you a solid example, right? So you take somebody like Colin Kaepernick, right? Carla Kaepernick is a half-breed, right? You know what I'm saying? They got adopted by two, two beautiful white people, adopted him, and raised him in a community that was 90% white, almost 
over 90 percent white in northern california right so mm. by his life experiences him being adopted by white people that seen past his skin color and gave him the opportunity that white so probably some white kids in america don't even get you know what i'm saying to go through all the 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 upper echelons of white society and be accepted into them to marry a non-black woman how the fuck do you become the face of social injustice you know what i'm saying and actually be able to speak to it you, if anything you the face of progressive progressive progressism you know what i'm saying and how is we getting past racism and how it's not as big of a deal because a white couple would would accept and raise your ass you know what i'm saying so it becomes hypocritical and manipulative you know what i'm saying <laughs> Hey, 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 I totally don't agree with it. It's necessarily hypocritical. That's not a, a, I don't think the argument really stands logically because it, it, if objectively speaking, if somebody says, if somebody is black and they're objectively speaking about, uh, about racism, even if they're married to a white person, how can they not objectively speak about racism? Because you're assuming that the, because the, the only way you can say that if you assume that every single white person is automatically 100% racist and every white family is racist. Brother, brother, that's brother. I'm tired. I'm tired because I feel like that's a. I hate when people say, well, so you saying every, everybody, <laughs> all 200 <laughs> billion yeah, people. Like, you're brother, we're not. Like hey, man. I'm about to snatch that ADOS card back from your okay, ass. Okay. Oh, I'm going to show you my black card. I'm going to show you my black card. Hold on. Wait. I'm right. going to show you what you got. Oh, for God's yeah, sake. Go ahead, Get go one ahead. Show, us. show us all quickly. Yeah, he finna show us that Sierra Leone, man. Tell him the real black land. They're yeah, dog, because you can't, you can't oh, have I a, com I you can't have a real conversation if everybody's response is going to be, so you mean every last single white person, it's like, damn, bro, why you keep on yeah, jumping up for white yeah, people every yeah, time somebody yeah, say I something? Say, you know and what I'm saying? Say like, I say that about white supremacy and white supremacists. Yeah. And when right. I say white supremacists, people say, man, you talking about white people. I'm like, no, you know who the right. fucking white supremacists are. Come and tell no, us. No. Hold on a second. Let me just say this, Pelu, because it's a difference between me and when me and Born Rich disagree about racism and white supremacy. See, I don't believe in institutional racism, right? Meaning whereas though there's institutions in place that make it where black people can't achieve certain things. You know what I'm saying? And I don't care. And my thing is, I don't care about individual racism in white people. So if a white person say something about black people or don't like black people, I really don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't even like white people that much to even be that trigger. But for Pelu to come up and every and, and discount the fact that white people can be racist. So you mean every white person racist? You mean it's like, every, it's like bro, to me, that, to me that's capping, bro. To me that's capping, bro. Let me talk now. Let me talk now. You know what I'm talking about. Look, 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 look. I didn't say that. I said pure and simple. What you were saying, and you said, okay, first the guy has to go to his racist white wife and his racist white family. So that means you're assuming. I, all I'm saying is that if you're saying that, are you assuming that his white wife is racist? You're assuming that the family, how can you just assume, how are you just assuming racism indiscriminately? That's all I was saying. That's why I say you're making a generalized statement by like, assuming racism indiscriminately. Pure black simple. That's all I said. And, and you're taking it away, and, you, and you're making it as a, a whole other thing I'm saying. So please oh, stop she, it. That's stupid. No, she, I, what I, I'm I, saying I, is, see, see that's, that's like what, what I'm saying, saying right? That's exactly like what you said. I said, I swear to God, you're lying now. You're just lying. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I said if you shut up for a minute. What I said is that if he wants to make the case for racism in society, rate America being such a racist society, then he has to start at his wife and by calling them out. Meaning that if you're living in a total white existence in fucking on Mulberry Street somewhere, you know what I'm saying? In Green Acres. Around white people all day, you choose to live in a 90, you grew up in a 90% White area, had a great childhood. We got all type of fucking high school pictures of you with your little white prom queen and all this other shit. Your whole white has been on the premise of white people being accepting to you to the point where they would marry their daughter off to you and you have a white daughter and you have a white wife with white children. Then for you to come out and speak out and be the face of black people 
in the fight against racism, then it makes no sense. It's hypocritical because everything about your life is integrated with whiteness and being accepted by white people. You have been accepted. So, by what you think people. triggered that? Like, what what was what, what do you think triggered Colin Kaepernick to go that route? The bag that trash ass nigga was finna get cut. He seen the opportunity with the whole energy behind Black Lives Matter and the energy. Nigga was pouting on the sideline when they asked him, "What the fuck you crying about, nigga?" He like, man, white supremacy. You know what I'm saying? And boom, you but know what I'm saying? He brought attention. He brought attention. Yeah, he brought uh, attention to a goddamn brutality. thing. He brought he attention. Brought attention to police brutality. He brought attention to his trash ass not playing. That's what he brought attention to. And police brutality. He brought attention to his trash ass sitting on and the sideline. And to the military. Hey, 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 let me tell you, he ain't lying. That nigga, look, because now you don't hear nothing about the nigga. This shit silent. Niggas don't even talk. Niggas you feel me? He done got that bag. He done got that 30 million nigga. from Nike. He done got all type of bags. Now he chilling. What happened to police look, brutality? Ever since, look, ever since Jim Crow Joe got nigga. in office, nigga niggas can't niggas trick ain't me. complaining no more. Nigga can't trick me. You notice niggas ain't complaining. <laughs> Complaining no more since Jim Crow Joe got in office. Racism. Let them know, bro. Tell them, bro. Tell them. Let these niggas know. Hey, hey, boy, hey, you know, you you know, I be on their ass online, so you know what I'm talking about. These niggas then went to sleep again, like when Obama was in there. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he ain't lying about that. I ain't. I can't disagree on them. That right there, you can't. The truth is the truth. And these niggas then went back to sleep. Let me see something. Let me see something, y'all. I told you you were Colin Kaepernick. I, I agree with him on that. I wasn't even, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about before when you, when the when the question was first raised about if a white if, if the, the black person married a white person. I wasn't talking about Colin Kaepernick particularly, but I totally agree with him on Colin Kaepernick. I, uh, um, the only thing I was saying is that the 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 the, the, the logic of that, he, he, the, 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 if you were to say he somebody start with the white wife, I'm talking before we talked about Colin Kaepernick. You take it back. The, 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 you have to assume that they're nah, white, white, nah. they're yeah. white, white. With the Negro, you know, with, with the Negro I, that's I, married I to the, on that. I stand on that. The Negro, I ain't changing up. The Negro, I stand on that. The, if you married the, to a the white Negro woman, nigga, don't tell me nothing about racism. Period. Shut the right, fuck up and go home to your uh, white wife. Let me step in really quick. I give you really one, quick. Look, hey, give hey. one better. Stay home. You don't even need to come out. Don't even come out there. You don't need to come out there for what? You know that ain't in your interest. Stay the fuck home. Yo, shine. Yo, shine. You, no there? You, you there, shine? Shine. You there? Trying to see if shine's there, man. Somebody else was trying to join shines. If you ain't there, yeah. Nigga, yeah, man. You eating all type of casseroles and shit and want to come out and tell us about something. <laughs> Nigga, if you ain't from the hood, man, your, man. you ain't in the hood, you ain't you ain't totally entrenched in, in the black community, in the black experience. Then niggas Pull shut the fuck up. Me, you, can't speak, you can't speak for the black community, period. And you damn sure can't profit from speaking for it. I feel like you're a culture vulture. <coughs> so y'all saying my, my mixed race cousin can't speak up for the black community. Hell nah, he better go get you. He better bring you with him. That's crazy. That's crazy. You better be with him. You better be with him to co-sign him, and we are gonna hold you accountable if you do any fucking shit. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. So, like, my kids couldn't go out there and rock with their nieces that are black, and you know, like all their black family, their black aunties, they couldn't go out there and ride with their black family. They, it, this that's not what nobody, right? That's not what being leader they, of an organization. If they do go out right. right there, if they do go out there, they need. They to have to be out there in support. Yeah, they have let to be out there in support. Let let the, mm. Hold on, but hold on, but let, let Black Peace go. Black Peace. No, what I'm saying, if they did join, they got to be. They need to be quiet though. They don't need to be talking. They can come if they want. I mean, they need to be the hell up. They don't need. They don't need to be around nothing. They shouldn't be nowhere near. Them. Nowhere near the, the front of the line. Nowhere yeah, near no, that. Don't, don't get it. I don't, I, don't, I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think what Bo and them is saying is wrong. Like, it's, they're not saying you can't participate, but you definitely should be at the forefront. You know, and I Why think that's not? pretty fair. Why not? Yeah, I think if, if, if we don't never, black... never do nothing for ourselves, we ain't gonna never do it. That's why. But, mm. if, but if I got a black father, but listen, if I got a black father and a white mother and my black father is raising me in a black house is showing me the history and showing me what the fuck going on now and teach mm -hmm. me how to be an entrepreneur how can i not 
um, starting an organization with black people. Talking about the bullshit no, that you I could, see. You could the sponsor one. one. The, same, sponsor, the same way we'll excommunicate a 100% black person if they got a different ideology than we do. Same way. The same way we... Straight up. For example, what's that, what's that, what's that one lady name? Candace, Candace Owens. Owens. Candace Owens. Niggas don't fuck with her. She back as a motherfucker, though. <laughs> but niggas don't fuck with her, though. So it's the same concept, man. So, concept. so my big great job. Right, so I don't have a mixed race child, but hypothetically, my mixed race child, what can my mixed race child leave? Yeah, but she kind of showed her card, race? right? Candace Owens, she showed her hand. Yeah, hold on. You know where she's staying at, right? Oh, Perry, Perry, so let that's, me that's, ask you, Perry. That's, that's, Perry, black people got a good reason to not want to fuck with her. Yeah, but Perry, Perry, let me ask you this, though, Perry. All right, so my hypothetical mixed race child can't <laughs> lead um, any, any community except the mixed race community. Is that what you're saying? No, well, from my personal perspective, I'm just speaking from my personal perspective. I believe yeah. that you are what your father is. So if your pops is black, I believe you're black. You know, if your pops is white, I believe you're white. All right, that's so just so my so own personal is. perspective. I know that's yours, but so answer my question now. So black man as a baby with a white woman, can that black child, you consider that child black, right? Israelite, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, can I, that, I don't. I don't. I, I, I know, Bo. I know, Bo. Let me, let me, let me, let me ask Perry this though. So, Perry, can your, um, can that black child lead? I don't know. Let's say a ADOS movement. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would. I don't think that would be a good idea. Like I said, I wouldn't have a problem with that child participating, but to put, you know, a mixed race child at the forefront, you know, just like I don't feel like someone that's out of ADOS. Yeah, you could be an ally, you know, you can help out, but to put them in the leadership role of, to have them speaking for us, you know, I don't think that's a good idea. Definitely. Yeah, that's like letting a pool. Sometimes, the sometimes leadership. you gotta take your personal, sometimes the way you look at things personally, you, you gotta kind of take out of the equation Most when you're definitely. dealing with the people as a whole, you know? Yeah, yeah. Most yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm 100 percent agree. Yeah, you gotta put your personal, you know what I mean? If you're gonna be a part of a movement or a part of a team, that's any team, right? You gotta put your personal feelings. Hey, to the hey side let me ask Jen. Is Jen still here? Jen, Jen, Jen here. Let, yeah. let me ask you a question, right? As a white sure. woman, how mm -hmm. would you feel as a white woman and mm -hmm. thinking about your family? How would your family feel if your daughters came out and was now on TV as leader of the Black Lives Matter movement? Talking about how racist white people are, and they're the devil, and they oppress, and they oppress people, and they're this and that, and all this. You know what I'm saying? How how would you feel mmm. knowing mm. how you was raised in the environment that you raised your daughter in, and she how was your family was, and your family how they treated your daughter and people around you? How would yeah, you see, feel? I don't think my kids would like. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to put myself there hypothetically, but like. My kids know that all white people aren't racist. Like, they know that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, how do, I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough question. But That's I think, question. Jen, even you know that the people in power, which is majority white people. That's what I'm saying. Like, I agree over, with this. So, it's tough. Everybody. Like, I'm not fighting you guys. You know, yeah, like, that, I believe. No. I want to see you guys come up for the, for my family's sake. For You know what I'm saying? All my the The... My husband's family that I consider my nieces that I changed their diapers yeah, and, but I, I feel and grew up though. around. Like I want to see them come up, you know. But the same way so, you I feel, but the same way you see how you stuck, I feel as though if I put your daughter on 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 the on the spot, that she won't be able to stand on it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, I that hear she you. won't. So there's so there's a dual allegiance that mixed children mm. are gonna have, which makes them ineffective to be any type of black leadership they're mm -hmm. gonna have a dual allegiance so they now, can't mm -hmm. go ahead go ahead no i was gonna ask you a question like do you think like they would be good at maybe bridging the gap yeah yeah they i mean they can get a job within the movement you know what i'm saying they can they can assume certain roles as liaisons or whatnot to the white community or something you know but as far as there's that top leadership no, nah. but you know they can be a yeah. liaison, an ambassador to the white community or something, whatever you know. That is a good question, though, Jen. Uh, I, I know that. Okay, I know that's what people thought was going to happen with the more interracial marriages that it would bridge the gap. Uh, with what, what do you mean by that? Like bridging a gap? 
between like blacks and whites. I, I don't think we need to educate white people on racism. I think you guys <laughs> created the whole concept of that. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like when because white people know a lot about a lot. You know, you guys can tell me the first Superman comic, the first time Wolverine popped his claws, all this shit, but you don't know about racism. Like, you know, like, I, you know, I think people know what they're doing. Like, uh-huh. right, damn right. Okay, where's my cape? Hold on, y'all. I don't I don't sit my damn cape down. Let me put my cape back on. So I, I don't believe I don't believe that all white people, I think some of them don't know it, right? I, that's why I say it's a system, bro. It's a system where white people can be racist and don't even fucking know it, bro. And that's why that's why it's crazy when people say white supremacy bro, or systematic racism. Uh, but I'm just saying though. But listen, some people white, some white people are complicit and don't even know it. So that's what I say. I'm not saying all you, white you, people. You need to take that cake back people, off. To say that white say, people don't know what racism is, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not saying. Kind of I, I mean, they know, but I'm saying being complicit. I don't give a fuck if you know, but if you complicit, that's what gets my attention, Bo. You know what I mean, what does that even mean though? Complicit if you're complicit, in if, if you're complicit into um. Man, I don't know, man. Look, uh, shit. Your people sold your people sold your people into slavery. So don't even look at what the fuck my people did. And some people will say that and don't even know it. The curriculum, the school curriculum, would tell them to tell your kids that that okay, don't blame white people for slavery because black Brother. people sold themselves. They Brother. could go through the and that's what I mean. That's that's how you could uh, that's Brother. how you could accidentally be racist to my child and you don't Brother. even know it. Brother, you I took I job. took you I doing took your a, job. Go ahead. Brother, I took American history and I took civics. It's all in the history books. So they teach it in school. We have whole months dedicated to it, February. White people know all about the slave trade. They know what happened. It's not. It's not some hidden secret. You know what I'm saying. So if anybody pretends he, as if the slave trade didn't happen, they're a goddamn liar. In America, now well, okay. in the UK, I don't know what they learned in the UK, but in America, you're not gonna find a white person that's gonna deny slavery. It wasn't that long ago. They can ask their grandmothers. It's not denying it, bro. It's not denying it. It's making a false equivalent to it, right? Is yeah. I don't know, bro. Listen, man. I talked to I, I talked to one of my son's teachers. I think and my I son's think teacher was honestly trying to tell me that yeah, black people sold other black people into they slavery. Did. So they what? Did. No, but I don't. Uh, that's true. But okay. they're going to preface it by saying, so that means what we did wasn't really that bad. And it's well, like, I, no, I say the this, right? Was, but what, mm. every, everything was listen, a preach. Listen, listen, but listen. You listen, make listen. the shit go for. Yeah, you know I mean, it's not. It's not about. It's not about who's bad or who was better or whatever, right? It was. They was. They participated in the slave trade. They admit it. Hey, can somebody um mute? They might. They they participate in trade trade. They admit it. See me. The difference with me, right, is I'm ADOS, so I don't let Africans off the hook. So if a white person be like, uh, well, Africans sold you, sold y'all to us, I'm be like, fuck them Africans too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna cap for My no Africans. Is when you try to make it more one more egregious it's, and, and it's try not, to blind eye to the other, you minimize not, one. You're not, you're not minimizing listen, it. Listen, Bo, Bo, I'm not bro, saying what you're doing. Calm down, bro, listen, bro. No, you because, got, I, because I was actually making a point, bro, and you jumped in with something else. I, I brought up no, slavery to make a point, bro. Let me make not, my point. Bo, let me, let me, let me finish my point. Man. This, All I'm this, saying this, is what I'm saying is white people can be complicit into racism and, 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 and systematic white supremacy and what not even know mean? it. Just because I can give you a curriculum. I hire you for a job, right? Think about this. I hire you for a job, right? And the basis of my job is racist. We're racist. What, what the fuck does that mean? No, we saw that racist word mean? around so much. What does oh it mean? How? Gosh, man. How I, wish I, could talk. I wish I could talk. I know it's getting late, bro. I know it's getting late, bro. Let, let, let me talk. Let I know it's getting late. Let me Please. Yes. And listen, I hire you for my job. I hire you for my job, and my job is racist, man. We have a racist curriculum, but I don't tell you that I'm hiring that is racist, but I know fundamentally it's racist. 
So now I hire you and you're oblivious to what the fuck I'm doing. But you, I have you doing a job as preaching a racist curriculum. And you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You you chalk it up as history. That's how I'm saying white people can be complicit and okay. white people can be complicit in racism and not even know it. And okay. that's how I know it's can, I, can I respond now? Can I respond now, bro? Yes, 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 respond, bro. Okay. Yes. Now, nah, like I say, you right? Respond anyway, bro. Go ahead. Like, like I say, right? I believe that the whole racism, white supremacy, um, talking point is a mental illness, right? Because what you'll have is people who they can keep regurgitating racism and white supremacy. It's racist. The curriculum racist. This racist. That's racist. The white supremacy racist. 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 But when you ask them to articulate what is racist about it and what is actually racist. All they can respond is, it's racist, the racism, the no, racism. But it, but so, I, so I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Yeah, but I said besides, it's, besides, it's still mental. Besides, besides it's racist. That's all mental I know you just oppression, said. Mental it, it, oppression it, 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 is it, it, going it, it, to be it, it, one of the uh, Let me try to answer the question then. Hey, uh, let me try to answer it. Let me try to answer uh, uh, Rich's question, if you if both understand. Uh, Rich, I what I would say is, um, um, is a matter of perspective. That means... All you're saying to Rich at this point is that black people be have to be more active in learning their own history down packed and knowing how to insulate themselves from, from, from misconceptions. So, so that's all you so so basically all you're saying is that we need more black education. That's all that's all the only really answer to that question is black people need to better educate themselves about the history. If not, I'm not saying they're not doing it now, but that's but 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 I'm just talking hypothetical according to your question. The, the only solution for that. It is um intense, intense and repetitive black education of black about black history. Thank you. All I say is I don't think a lot of white people harp on racism, right? The same way black people do. So when you saying things like white people are complicit in racism and white supremacy, brother. So when you say that they complicit in racism because they work in the in the school system. And the school books teach this and that about slavery, yeah. and they and they gave their opinion that well, Africans sold slaves too. It's not their it's opinion. So, they didn't not... give their opinion. Okay, brother, relax. I got you. I got you, brother. Go relax. point by point. So when you say that, right? In some ways, it's really nothing a white person can do, right? Besides sit there and tuck their tail and just constantly apologize for racism and just go it go with the flow, right? But no, that no, doesn't no. help. But that doesn't help yeah. black people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. So I feel that. I feel that. So so, so, so uh, my point is, is this my a point monologue, is, bro? Fuck it. Go ahead, bro. Whatever, man. It's racist. It's racist. White supremacy. White supremacy. White supremacy. White supremacy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the same way that you said, listen, it's no way that a mixed race person can can help us. Right, it's no way a mixed race person. A mixed race person has to do their own thing. That's the same thing I see when I see complicit white people that don't even know. I look at them and say, "Yeah, you cool. You just doing your job. It's, it's really no way you can help me." So I still have to get over here on my ones. I still have to get over here on my own and handle my own business, bro. That's well, when you're saying that they're complicit in racism. But you can't articulate what the racism is that they are that they're complicit in. I just then said it's the problem. I brother, just said mental just, oppression. A mental oppression is the one. If brother, you don't know your somebody, history, if somebody, you don't know your history, Bo, look. If this this goes back to the identity uh, the identity crisis show I did. If you don't know your history, then what the fuck are you doing? I know you want to say fuck history, but you can't even get half the black people to agree that we American because history the history books is telling us that we African. So now you got to reteach a whole group of motherfuckers who saying I'm African and you saying, no, you're not. You are ADOS. You're American descendants of slaves. Well, mental That's oppression sounds like a mental illness to me. It's I don't mental, know. It's mental. Okay. It's so cool. if it's I'm mental, check. So, if it's mental check. so if it's mental, what I'm saying is if it's mental, that means that it's something that's going on in your mind. Good or shit. That's going that's good on, shit or, that's, or that's going on in the mind of black people, right? Mm hmm Whatever and it is, is bro. And what, yeah. And so you got to understand as a black brother, man. You don't let me finish, bro. Y'all nah, be jumping listen, on me, though. bro. I be, nah, you're I'm not, not saying that, but I'm really. You know you're not really you know jumping on me, bro. You jump everybody, too. In conversations, 
everybody's going to do a little bit of interrupting. Bro, yeah, but, yeah, but not right. too much. Okay, but if we interrupt and then we ain't saying nothing new or adding nothing to the conversation, the we just keep people. You got to put you the same. You got to talk to them. All right, man. All right, man. Go. You got to talk to a mirror. You got to talk to a mirror. Bro, you know what, man? Exactly, exactly, boy. You do got to talk to them. Niggas ain't got shit because niggas going to cry about it. You know what's going to happen now? You know what's gonna happen now? Both finna get mad. He's gonna tell everybody to suck his dick, and he's gonna leave the power. Nah, I ain't oh, finna on, do bro. it. Let's talk right. I'm saying if every time yeah. somebody say something, you got pay Luke keep screaming. If I say I disagree with you, and I go to articulate it, and you keep on screaming and hollering, but it's racist, but it's racist, but it's racist. But it's man, man, bro. bro. You see, like, God, no, damn, bro. Be fair, bro, because Bo, everybody interrupts a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't do too much, but, but you're not being fair. The minute somebody interrupts you, shut the bitch, fuck up, man. Let's let somebody else talk, man. See, there we go, Bo. Well, just uh, getting, hey, what time is it, y'all? Man, y'all got to let Bo rock, man. He talking sense tonight. Let Bo rock. Let Bo can rock, though. But, you know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta, we gotta keep it respectful and, and share the panel. You got to understand, brother Mike, it's nine of us up here, man. And and we black men, and it, we and we got the you know I mean got a woman on here, and we all passionate about what we say, man. So we we have to understand that this is something we gotta figure out as people. Okay, but if ain't nobody saying nothing, bro, just let it keep on like damn. But you know we got nine like people, let, bro. We can't okay, do. Okay, but then let somebody else go. Show. Let brother Mike go, man. Brother Mike been in the cut, man. Brother yeah, Mike, go ahead, man. <laughs> what what, what y'all want to ask me, man? <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, tell me the pros. What are the pros of inter interracial relationships? What are the benefits from it? For who? Uh, for uh, white people. Let's say white people. I don't see any any pros of it at what? all, really, to be honest with you. Cons? Okay, what about the cons? Of the cons? Yeah. It's just basically, you know, I... I I'm not here to tell you who to screw. You know what I'm saying? It ain't none of my business, but I was listening in and they was talking about the inter the children of the relationship. Now they all have issues and stuff like that. I could say that's a con. Okay, so you're saying you're going the mental the me mental uh health route. Yeah, they all got issues, man. I got them, you know, I got them in my family, bro. My niece and my nephew. So what type my nephew, of he's been gone? What type of issues though? When we, so when people say like they crazy issues, uh, mental health, want to kill itself, and uh, just a lot of different shit. You know what I'm saying? He got all the, all the, all the bad shit that the white people got, and all the bad shit that the black people got. You know what I'm saying? He fucked up. He got that trailer park in him, and he got the project in him. But he ten more. You know, one of his buddies was telling me one of his little girlfriends, little white girlfriends, was telling me when he get around white people, he he so disrespectful to a black people. He's saying that he hate black people. He wished that he wasn't half black and all of that shit. And then when he get around me, he say the same shit about white people. So he fucked up. <laughs> okay. Okay. The tragic, the tragic <laughs> mulatto. <laughs> hey, the interracial, Did interracial relationships do put the oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She raised it. She raised it. She raised it. Okay. You having fun, Bo? You having fun, Bo? Oh, man. Let's no, let's so the, I was, I was. Let's let the white supremacists talk. Oh Lord. Um. <laughs> Did um your family members that are experiencing mental health issues, did they have support from their families or is there like their extended families maybe have some kind of resentment or they're not Listen, maybe the white I, family I, ain't I, cool with it or something I'm like keep it all the way above with y'all. I'm gonna keep it yeah, all the yeah, way. Yeah, for sure. Check this out. My nephew, my brother, he went to the penitentiary. He mm. ended up nine. So I tell the little boy, you can live with me. I grab him when he's nine years old. So around 12, 13, he want to go hang with the white people. Mm. And him, listen, man, and I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I'm telling him, man, listen, these white folks over here, they trailer park trash. They drunks. They don't got no education. They fucked up. I said, you're gonna, I said, because they let you have fun and do all of that shit. I said, you think that's what it is because you're young. 
I said, but if you don't straighten up, you're going to end up like them. So he ended up, his mom ended up coming back because she actually dropped him off at my doorstep. She never told me to keep him or anything like that. She dropped him off. I heard a doorbell ring. I go outside, the kid standing there with his fucking bag in his hand. Real yeah, talk. So, so it see, so there is. It's, off the fucking street. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, I hear you. So there's uh, ex, um, like other factors, you know, like un family not so stable. It don't seem like it. You know what I'm saying? Like no father the, the around. So, shit. Huh? The white shit. The typical white people shit to the max. Uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Smoking cigarettes at a young age. You know what I'm yeah. saying? All of the shit they do. We don't, we don't, we as, as in the black community, we didn't do that type of shit. You wouldn't catch a 10 year old with a fucking pack of cigarettes. Mm -mm. But they do that in the white community. Not these, I'm talking about the average white people. I'm not talking about the rich white people. I'm talking about the average white American in the South. And he mm. was just like them, you know, and all of them on that side of the family died of overdoses and and cancer, and now he don't have any more tears, and now he's trying to push back our way. Hey, Jen, can yeah. I ask you a question, Jen? Sure. All right, sure. that's gotta be that's gotta be a scary situation to be a parent of a mixed child, you know, because they're they're under this illusion that they're somehow both black and white, and you, they're not gonna get away. In America, we don't really have a buffer class here, like they do in other countries where there's dark people, you know, so like in America, if you're mixed, you're basically a nigga, you know, but I don't know, man, that's why they have this term called the tragic mulatto, you know, and, and, and what, what brother Mike is saying is true. He's, I he's told telling him about you that his experience firsthand, and he, but it, it happens a lot, man. It's weird. It's a weird thing because they do a lot of white people shit. But at the same, yeah, it's weird, man. It, it, it ends up tragic a lot of times, though. I will say that. Hey, look, yeah, I, I want to ask Jen a question. Sure. But a, as a white woman, right? Be honest, right? Don't don't do no lying. You probably I've been nothing white but. Woman, I, I've never been. I've been nothing but honest since I've been here. So. Do you do you ever feel pressure or almost um? unable to have like conversations with black people about race and racism because sometimes it becomes so emotionally charged that you really don't even understand racism or know sometimes what they even talking about as it pertains to white racism and where you just got to take the position of where you just listen and just let them vent like okay i understand but at the end of the day you really don't you really don't understand I mean, I'm not going to, if I, I could never understand, right? I will, I will never understand your experience, right? Right. Never. And I'm not going to ever claim to, because that's impossible. Like, I will never understand my ex-husband's experience, right? Or even my kid's experience, you know? So that's what, I, like, I, I won't claim to, you know? But I'm saying but as far I, as, like, what they want. I'm saying as far as like what they're asking of you. I don't know. I don't really know. Like what can you give me an example of like I'm saying like someone use, using ask? using the example that we just used, right? About the teacher in the public school, right? And so yeah. the teacher, the teacher is complicit in racism because she's depicting because she's teaching a curriculum that was given to her which depicts slavery from the point of view of Africans also participating in the slave trade, right? So by her being a white woman, if she was to bring up the fact that Africans sold slaves, that's inherently racist. No, I didn't. Because, but that's because, what I'm saying. Is it false, though? I mean, like, is not, what she's not, teaching it, false, or is no, it true? But like, is she complicit in racism, though? But she's is complicit. it but okay, so the thing is, so a, a white teacher is given a curriculum made yes. by white people to yeah. teach to any little kid, right? Mm -hmm. So, right. so I'm saying, so if the the curriculum that she's given, right. is it true or is it false? Afri African so uh, it, could be, it could be either way, Jen. It could be true or false. I think it's false. I don't blame the teacher. 
All I all I was saying. But how is it false it if is Africans sold slaves? It is a, it's not it's not fault. The, what makes it false is when you minimize one. Like okay, it's not false. Let's just say everything in that book is true. But if you peep how the narrative is, like y'all know how I can fix up. Come on, Jen, you be on these streams, right? You know how people mm. can fix up statistics and fix up shit, and it's true. But mm. when I'm saying these statistics, I am I, I want a certain response. I want people to you trying to play on people's right? emotions, right? Am I am I lying though, Jen? Right? Because I said this the other day on your stream. Like a person can say, um, my people sell black women wigs, and yes, that's true. But when I say it, I know what the fuck I'm saying. I am like he just said, I'm playing on people's emotions. So this but curriculum, it's a fact, it's a this fact. curriculum, it's a fact. But the curriculum. So how is she racist? Hey, hey, or, the fact? I, I'm gonna tell you what's not a fact, right? If 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 we're going to put it on a scale, if we're gonna say African sold slaves and Europeans own slaves. I am going to, if we got to put it on a the scale, then uh, the, the the European slave trade is going to weigh more than Africans selling us. But I can fix the scales to make it seems like the main problem was Africans selling Africans. And that's what I'm saying. And that's how it's, it's a case to be made, though. If Africans didn't, if Africans didn't, if Africans didn't capture and facilitate the slave trade for the slave traders, then there's a case to be made that maybe the slave trade wouldn't have been as big as it was if not for the African co-conspirators. Absolutely, and that's a case to be made, but I can really make that case if I own the so, children. So, so if, but, if, I, if I own the children... But that's I all in the books, system, though. If I own the, educa the educational system, then I can tell you that. But what's, but what's you, the problem? But the thing is, is like when I when I remember the history books, right? Because because it's crazy. I failed. I, I did. Oh, I did terribly all through high school. I, I pissed away high school. Yeah, but like there, there's, I remember the visuals in the history book of the boats, the way that the people were laying together, the way they had they showed like all these people laying, how they would fit all these people on the boats, and so like. It was the the Europeans they showed that were mistreating with the whips and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like if Africans sold them the way Europeans transported them and treated them thus thereafter is on us. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't think is, any white person is, yes, is in no, denial no, of that. No, like no, we turned chattels if, like we, that, yeah. All right, yeah, no. like we participated in the 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 mm -hmm. chattel end of it, right? The retail part. Then. Yeah, we did the food. Yeah. The Africans was the wholesalers. They was the retailers. I mean, but it's you know what I'm saying? But the thing but... is, though, the thing is, though, to say that teaching that history is racist in all the books, they show I am they... saying the system, the curriculum. Is okay, my, okay, my okay, whole point. You, my whole... you can teach it, both. Oh, you can teach shit, it. Man. And fuck now you're man. complicit in white supremacy. I don't fuck with the system. I don't fuck with the curriculum. So I don't give a damn who, who okay. teaches yeah, it. Because, because okay, I feel so Gordon Rich, people... can I ask you? I'm sorry. Go ahead, go the thing ahead. is, people want to paint a certain narrative, right, with, with slavery, right, in the history of slavery. And you see it with the hoteps, right? In the whole blackity black crowd. They want to make it out to be, oh, white man bad and all this, which they were. Hey, who is these which people? they was. Nigga, yeah. anybody that it apply to. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I don't know who so, these so, are. So, 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 okay, white man bad. We get that. We know that. It's documented in history. You know what I'm saying? It's documented in history. It's documented in the books. But what they want to hide up, but a lot of these same people... They hide the fact that the Arabs' participation in the slave trade and how they subjugated black people. They hide the, the 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 role that Africans play in the slave trade and try to create this one this one sided narrative of slavery. When all when the Arab slave trade was just as brutal and lasted longer mm -hmm. than, than than the European slave trade. You know what I'm saying? So to say that teaching about the slave trade in America is inherently racist because they mention. Africans selling slave to, or this person is complicit in white supremacy and racism, is to me, I feel yeah. it's a fallacy. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't expect everybody to be that invested in the history of slavery to to even explore all the nuances mm -hmm. or even care about all the nuances. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, if we're going to keep it real, then we got to keep it real. And the fact yeah. of the matter is yeah, somebody Italian could say, you know, I didn't have anything to do with 
the slave trade. Yeah, fine and dandy, but right. we're not looking for money for you per se. We're looking right. to get money from the government. The Straight government up. orchestrated it, just right. like the powers that be in Africa orchestrated for us to be um, sold in the first place. So, I mean, it's all about keeping it real. Right. We fast forward the clock. What I see is a lot of disrespect toward FBA because FBA tend to be very vocal about what it is and how they fit. Most and definitely. might ruffle some feathers, but, it, you know, we, we've never really cared about that. Most definitely. We're going to say what's right. Most definitely. <laughs> but see, my thing is, right, if you really about reparations and you really about making change right we throw the word racism and white supremacy around too loosely we throw it around so loosely to the point that a fucking bangladeshi could come here and get a job at a company at a fortune 500 company on an h1b visa and then now somehow he trying to adopt the narrative of racism and white supremacy like shut the fuck up you don't even know what that shit about you know what i'm saying it done just turned into like a crybaby you know what I'm saying? Rally and cry. You know what I'm saying? Well, a lot of these things, when we talking, when you start labeling people as racist and systems as racist and white supremacists, like we have to be very careful. Yeah, that, that's, that's an issue. That, that, that's and a very specific issue, yeah, and no, very no, specific no, about what we talking about. Yeah, okay. that, that, to me, I that's a major that. issue. That, yeah, that I, I understand because, that. I do understand mm -hmm. that. I understand you saying we got to be really direct because, yes, you can't get diluted and watered down. I agree. I damn, damn it, Bo. I agree with that. Homie. We have to make sure that we, but I, I still have to say that when we see it and it's blatant, we cannot sweep it under the rug like but it what is blatant, though. And that's what it's blatant. That's one off. You. But what I'm asking you, what I'm trying to get to you, right? Because you said that white people are, are, are complicit in the mental oppression of black people, right? So yeah. when you bring in the word mental oppression, that means that that's a mental illness that you have. You know what I'm saying? Where you're it's, feeling it's oppressed. Education. So, it's just the education, man. Like it's look, just the look, education. Look, we know look. this education. Like Bo, you've yeah. been on this panel a lot, saying this public school education teaches me this, 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 and this, which was some bullshit. Now I never that's said that. System that this public school education. I is never said that. You some bullshit. But I, ne I never, I never made that case about the public edu education school system as it relates to teaching about slavery and history. My, 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 complaint, my, my, issue, my, right. issue with the public, my issue with the public school system was that it doesn't teach us enough hard sciences and get us up to date in math mm -hmm. and and yeah, topics and like that's that. A system and that, and that's the system. That's oh, why no, that's, that's the choice. That's why private schools teach you that. Some you can't afford. You that's can't afford choice. this. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I know this. Shit. It's like it always go back to being a victim, dog. Niggas always want to niggas want to be a find a way to be a victim. I know that you go, hey, bro. Whatever, yeah. So, so a question, like I'm, I'm thinking, right? If you're, you, you know, so say your son went to that school and learned that, you know, what he had to, what they taught him about the slave trade, right? What would it be that you feel like you would have to unlearn him or? add to or explain better like what what would you feel uh, like you had to do to kind of the do differently the minimization of the um the, the uh chattel slavery mm. that would be my problem because bro, I, they have got, kids, bro, they got I have kids work. in school i have kids in school that come that came back and asked me questions and now i have to sit down and break it down to them to the point where i got a little uh flustered and I had to go ask this white teacher, like, yo, like, who does this curriculum? And mm. then I realized, okay, this is the curriculum. So if you want to send your son here, you have to deal with the curriculum. And But I noticed the curriculum, my antennas went up and said, oh, shit, this, is, th this curriculum is teaching thousands and thousands of black kids to minimize minimize example? one minimize one one aspect of slavery but focus on this one and i was thinking it's this is not even a curriculum that we had that i had growing up that really made my antennas go up it's like oh shit can, 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 you, give, can I, you give us a specific example because when i was growing up in the school books you had pictures of actual niggas being lynched from trees in, in the school books 
So I don't mm-hmm. see how they well, minimize. I, well, I, would, I don't um, see how they minimize the um minimize. Oh, actually, do a chapter. We can really do a chapter. A chapter. Okay, you, um, yeah, now it was a chapter review, Bo. I can I can break it down exactly to it, Bo. Okay, so it was can a you, chapter. Can you explain the review. minimization of the slave trade? If if you listen to me, my brother, I'm waiting on you, brother. It, I've been waiting it, on you for a minute. Sheer, it's in sheer numbers. If you think about sheer numbers, right? So you got three chapters of how Africans sold. Americans into the slave trade and one chapter of the Amer- of four or five hundred years wrapped up in one chapter. So that means you got you didn't even get Black Wall Street in that chapter. Because that's not gonna be chapter. that's gonna be in the civics in the civics course. Oh my civics. So now you saying my chapter my they didn't offer civics for my okay, fucking because they didn't get there yet. Because my he, he probably didn't son. get there yet. What are we doing? He probably didn't get there yet, but when you yeah, take American you, civics, I hear you, bro. But you take well, my, you take I my five year old, but you take my five year old, and you take my five year old and give her a skewed uh, ideology of slavery. Then when she gets twelve, what is anybody skewing okay. that mentality? Okay. You know, I think right. I, what, what I would do, what I would do. I would educate. So we need to put our kids in school that teach about slavery all goddamn day, 24-7. Well, no, no. no. Well, well, look, what, what, I, what I would do, I, I would, I would yeah, educate, I, I would educate yeah. my, my son on systematic, they, we, we live in, in the, we live under systematic white supremacy. That is a fact. Yes. Right. So I would educate my son on that, but I would also let him know that that's not an excuse to be a dusty nigga. You know, you could still get through. You can still be <laughs> successful in this society. You know yeah, what I mean? You can still be that. successful. And I would show him examples of successful foundational Black Americans and how we can actually control the narrative. One of the main things I would teach my son, if I was you, Jen, is to stay on call with his people, how important that is. You know. Let me ask a question. My, you mean my kids? Let me ask a question, and I don't. I'm not taking a position on this, right? I just want to ask the panel: how how healthy is it? Do you think it is psychologically for little black kids to be bombarded with imagery and history of slavery at such a young age, such as five years old and elementary age, when they can't really process it the same way an adult can? How healthy do you think it is for them psychologically? Because you're saying that you want more more history of slavery being bombarded on the children. When I would say that, I think they get just enough. Yeah, I, I didn't say it at a young age. I, well, I, I could tell you that hey, when I was a teenager. Go ahead, Mike. Listen, I was a teenager. Listen, I was one of them kids that was bombarded at a young age, like at five. Start at five, looking at shit like that. So I think it'll make them a little bit more aware of their surroundings. You know, I didn't get sucked off into the street life in the hood that I grew up in a little bit, but not all the way, not like them. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, it made me a little bit more militant too. So I think it's good, but you got to have the right guidance behind it. You got to let them know, listen, if anything about this shit, it should make you mad and make you want to drive, make you want to do something for yourself and for your people. That, that's just that's just how it made me. It didn't make me like passive or anything like that. It made me a little bit more militant, to be honest with you. Simple. Right. Hey, Rich, my father, man, my father wouldn't let me believe that white people was better than me. He he wouldn't sell that to me. And once he joined that whole one way shit. He, we 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 he wouldn't let us think like that, man. We, he always made us better and and go get it. And he just put that in us. He would never allow that that whole white supremacy talk to really seep into us because he didn't want that to be a crutch for us. You get what I'm saying? So in my uh, mind, I always thought I was the best. You get what I'm saying? Like he never allowed us to fall into that white supremacy. Yeah, I knew about it, but he never. He never really put I don't that in. Me. What y'all mean by falling like, well, to it? Mm-hmm. Like, fall, like nobody's letting white supremacy drag them down. God, shit, I can't but, tell. That's but, goddamn listen, but, but, I'm but talking, we, but listen, we, God we, Jacob, we, let me let me be ahead. honest, God of Jacob. When I'm talking to Brother Mike and uh Brother and, and Black Peace on a personal level, when we pull up and see each other. I don't say, man, you know, the white man doing this. No, it's how the fuck can we build uh, this? This shit is if, if Bo is going to keep saying, I don't think it exists, 
then for the simple point of debate, no. then I am going to no. tell him how I don't exists. believe systematic oppression exists. Exactly. I so, don't so, believe so, systematic. But, listen, bro, but, bro, yeah, but you know what, though, no, brother? You want to know something, though, no, brother? Let me say this real quick. When I do pull up on some of my closest friends, I do talk about the way white supremacy got us in a trick bag right now. Now, it's not the same old shit, but I might look at modern day politics, like the fact that we're under this new administration where they got a woman betraying herself to be FBA. We all know she's not. Right. And we got this fucking white dude, this president Biden, who's trying to replace us with immigrants. So white supremacy always comes up in my comments. Let, let me ask you a question, though. But, but not let, in let me ask country. Harlem a question. Ahead, man. Let, me, let me talk to the brother Harlem, right? Because he, he he a little more uh, measured, right? No, it ain't no, no little more measure, man. Just talk yeah, to he, him, man. No, yeah, I mean, crazy. Crazy. <laughs> he a regular guy, man. You ain't got no, I'm just him. saying he, he measured, though. You know, oh, his man. tonality, you know. Yeah, you now my tone, man, but nobody, you can't control the tone, man. You know that. I'm just saying. But with Harlem, let me let me holler. All in water, all in water. So, with 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 with, okay, look at look at right the bombarding of this whole rhetoric, right, of racism and white supremacy, right, and like you say with uh Jim Crow Joe, and Kamala, right. Look at how they manipulated that trauma and that history of racism and white supremacy to trick us into signing up to believe in. To, to electing these people, you know what I'm saying? So that history of racism and trauma that they want to bombard us with, they want to bombard us with it so that they can use it to manipulate us. Yeah, that don't count. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't see that. You don't see that happening, oh. uh, Harlem. No, I definitely saw that because that's all they did the whole time when this guy was running. I'm trying to explain to FBA Facts. people the importance of vote for Trump. And all they could say was, nah, he racist. He racist. He racist. He white supremacy. That's now, all I they agree with that. I disagree with that, but y'all know my feelings. Okay, on but, that, but, that, but that's the result of it. So, into my second question, right? So, once we establish that, going back to the, even if you say white supremacy, right? But if you look at it from the perspective of, or uh, how how it manifests in that that type of rhetoric and that type of rhetoric, look at how it's holding us back. Well, we can't even we can't even elect the president based on this policies and common sense wow. because we so bombarded with this issue of racism and white supremacy that it, it clouds our judgment. We can't even think yeah, straight it because all somebody so much, Bo, is that they. Yeah, yeah, but I, don't, like, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like you. Right, like my, I don't like Bo. You know that? I really, I really do not like the whole blackity black crowd. I, I hate them fake ass conscious niggas. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They, I hate they do get off on fair margarine. Yeah, and, let, bro, uh, let, let brother Mike go. Let brother Mike go. I hear you. I hear you, Dave. Let brother Mike go. Um, let yes, brother you Mike. Uh, you know, if if you don't think Joe Biden's a white supremacist, then you are really confused. You know what I'm saying? So Bo is right uh, to a certain aspect. They do got people mind supremacy got them so fucked up that they vote a white supremacist in the White House. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, a hey, 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 I think that uh what's his name of the vote? He got the point. Black people don't even really believe that that should exist. Or they wouldn't have voted for Joe Biden. So he might be he might be on or something. Because black people really believe that he, they wouldn't have voted for Joe. Think about it. No, it's history. not it's not so that, it's they, like, it's that like, they don't believe it exists. They believe they believe in it so much that people are able to manipulate it. And and make and have them making irrational decisions where they where they overlook the obvious white supremacy and stuff like that because Joe Joe Biden is on record saying he doesn't support black kids going to school with white kids because the black kids gonna corrupt them. You know what I mean? He got a whole history of this. They got, got a history people. of violence against black people, man. They got they history. got they got him they got him celebrating Robert Byrd, a known Ku Klux Klan That's member. Right, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, right. at his funeral, talking about how good of I mean, a man I mean, he you, was. You can go back, but you can go back. You can go back. Same motherfucker that got my six this time. They've been yeah, doing the same so, thing since the sixties, so, man. They did that with so, with, with Lyndon but, B. Johnson. Yeah, he was friends with the nigga who but was it's uh, that on the floor protesting. Movie. All that shit. He was, but uh, it's that uh, psychological Lyndon Johnson was cool and then go the back. Head segregationist, man. So I mean, he's been doing that. Niggas mm -hmm. been that ain't nothing new. And just mm -hmm. to go back to what what Rich said, when you talk about mental oppression, 
a part of that mental oppression is is the indoctrination into you uh, into the children at a young age that yeah you was a slave oh white supremacy yeah the white people the white and once you get bombarded with this it's like you 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 carry this on you know and you become uh, hyper emotional you know what i'm saying so i don't think it's healthy and i think black people need to like fall back a little bit off that shit and stop letting people te teach you about racism and white supremacy and yeah, all no, you should shit. teach you should teach your people what 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 your people need to know that's what i'm getting at the curriculum i'm going to always attack the curriculum the Man. curriculum is fucked up teach your kids your own curriculum and that's why okay but what is the curriculum what is the that's curriculum why black independent school what is the i don't curriculum? know bro. I, I, listen bro i don't listen bro i don't know what you is know, the curriculum the if you don't know the curriculum well, that listen, we should teach all right, then just leave the, it alone the curriculum is still yeah, i'm with i'm with, I'm with rich on still. that i'm definitely no, with still. you on that hold on hold on hold on hold on let's go stem that's the curriculum stem stem is a stem is a great curriculum to have to teach young black babies let's go stem science technology engineering and math let's teach that and let's see what happens and that's why we need to follow blueprints like the zyx institute and since our kids know how to do at home studies looking in front of a, sitting in front of a computer for seven eight hours we need to support the zyx institute or create something comparable to the zyx institute it's just weird. so you're saying they should take all the like history of slavery out the books it don't matter i want to go to a curriculum this this ados to say it in, 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 in basic terms, Bo, if I know an AD, ADOS brother that has his own school and his own cu curriculum and I don't like the mainstream curriculum, it's only one thing I can do. Adopt that curriculum. Put my kids in that curriculum. That's it. Okay. That's all I can do. Me and you know what I would love? You know what I would love? I would love for this government to just give us reparations and just teach how systematic white supremacy worked in America. All the teachers, the redlining that we went through, teachers how we were jerked in the music industry, how we basically built whole cultures and, and reap none of the benefits of it. We should own hip hop. That's our culture. We should own jazz and the blues and even rock and roll. That should be something that is a resource for FBA. Yet we don't own it. So, that's you know, that's what I want to see. You know, that's, that's, that's the fact. That shit, that's the fact. You know? And I've, I've been hearing, um, I know a sister, she's going to start a STEAM Academy here. And I know God of Jacob don't care, give a fuck about the arts. But what you saying, Perry, is about the arts, right? Science, technology, engineering, arts. And uh, no, I ain't saying I, I ain't cut I no check for no arts. arts but but I think we 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 are people that are about the arts. I'm not saying take it full time unless you can make some money on it, right? Got it, Jacob. Now, if you're a badass uh, spoken word artist, then and that's your profession, handle that. I'm yeah. not saying we should have professional college courses on it, but I think we should take our our kids that's fucking twelve until they're sixteen. And if they like an art, we, we you know what I'm saying we provide that for Man, them. We've been doing art too goddamn long. We got enough goddamn. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is that's not the main we got focus. Goddamn but that's not the main focus. I know, but I, 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 well, that's what I, STEM. I, well, that's that's what STEM is all about. I, I, it's, it's STEM is about science. We gotta get in the tech. We got two yeah. options right now. We down like thirty points in the fourth quarter, and another ten years, we're gonna be the fourth. Largest minority group in America, man. The Asians are gonna overtake us in, right. in ten years. And, they already, and this they is already why this is why this is why you have the Biden uh, administration and the Democrats. What they're doing is they're trying to set up to replace us. It's yep. just like that movie Us, and they got and, and our black caucus is a fucking joke. Like I told you guys before, right. when you look up the Latino caucus. Is for Latinos only. When you look at the caucus for Indians and Pacific Islanders, it's for them only. When you look up our caucus, everybody can participate. It's for all right. people of color. Because That's some bullshit. Money. It's disrespectful. We don't put our money. We don't put our It's just our disrespectful. Vote. Like we, 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 got, I, I, look, we got two what? options, man. E either we're going to be able to get our act together, get on cold to the point 
where we can elect people that's going to put us in a position where these people give us some that reparations because we really need that. Uh-huh. Or we're going to have to teach our kids to get into things like STEM, which is, you know, the tech. We got to get into it. We got to, you know, we got to put our kids into tech and all that. Straight up. That's fair. Oh, Rich, let, let me ask you this one quick. I, I, I'm not against art. I just told my, my two daughters and my niece, who I was kind of raised at the time, that I'm not cutting the check for it. If I'm going to send you to school, on my dollar, it's going to be in the fields that I'm telling you to go into. You get what I'm saying? And if you want to go do arts, you go, go apply for a Pell Grant and all that other shit. But if I'm saying I'll pay for your college, but it can't be in no, you ain't going to draw no goddamn sticks and, and, and paint and, and shit like, no. Fact. So I'm going to cut the check for, for what I think you should be at. And if you don't want to take that offer, then go be an artist. I'm just not going to cut the check for it. Facts. And that's very smart. And that's how you should do it. You know, we got to It's up to us now. We got to, you know, we understand. We got to understand where, we're, where we stand, where we're at. A, a lot of our people don't. And that show during this election, even though I feel that the Democrats stole that election, why would we vote ourselves into a position that's going to hurt us? Like, I just didn't understand because, that. Because of white That was crazy. Because, because we, had, we, had Trump on one, we had Trump on one hand, right? This guy is eliminating our competition. I'm talking about, right. bro, you don't know how many little jobs opened up for the little homies in the hood just by him departing motherfuckers the way he was. All them little manual jobs that paid somewhat decent that our little homies could snatch up, they were snatching up. So right. like it was like, and that's and that, that that's enough of a reason to go with him. Just period. But my thing was like, all right, fuck it. Don't go for him. Don't go for nobody. Let's show the system that we don't give a fuck, that we're about to do it. You know, but, you know, called to, called to the polls, our people overwhelmingly voted toward their own demise. Right. And we that's, got this and internet that's why thing. We got this new black media thing. Maybe we could convince enough people or enough of us, you know, have platforms and discussions like that where we could convince our people the next go round not to do that but man we got to get on code man we, we really do we got because right. i'm telling you we're gonna be like the fourth largest fucking minority group man. and then they right. really this is really gonna get crazy fucked facts and that's why i say my opinion all that like i don't want to hear about fucking systematic oppression and white supremacy period don't tell me about that shit because i see how they use it to manipulate us you know what I'm saying? When you can have a president run a whole fucking campaign, a whole racist cracker run a whole presidential campaign, and their only talking point is the other white man is racist. They white supremacists. They and you got niggas buying into this shit, voting against their own self. Well, it, it, it depends. For it depends another on racist how, it, 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 it depends on how people how people um, understand the white supremacist system, the dominant yeah. society. But see, that's know. what. I, because I if we if we right. go if we go if look we do look it's important to know that you're in a dominant society and that's that's very important to know and then you let them know that too like nigga I understand like you gotta understand let them know that you understand that you're the you you live under the biggest handicap of a system there is there's no way in the world that you're superior to me when you have a whole system set up that favors you. You talk about blacks being on welfare, nigga, being white is welfare, period. So see, that, that's that need to be understood. You but know, see, we, this we, is we, why we, I ask know. people though, to define racism and white supremacy, right? So that we can have a clear cut understanding. Well, that's what, what it is. What, white what, supremacy this, this is, what is a system. Let me, let me just well, say they, this last it, thing though. It, it's, it's, a, of, it's white supremacy is a system where they've rigged the game to benefit them. There's brothers that when they fill out job applications and they, they put a white on it when they ask and they ask you that, what's your race? They put white because they know if they put white, more than likely they're gonna get called back. So we do live in a city, and that's why it's important for us to get on code. I just didn't like the I, I see what you where you coming from, Bo, with the whole people taking it blowing it out of proportion, but that's uneducated Negroes. But when you truly understand white supremacy, the system, there's no reason, it's, it's, it's no reason why we shouldn't 
continue to talk about it and make people aware, you know, because that's that's what it is. Everything is that under this system. You know, we should be way more ahead than we are right now. And the only reason that we aren't is because we live in a system that that purposely tries to um, hamstring us. It just but is how, what. Let, let me ask you this: But how much of it is because us as black people are trying to assimilate and be part of a system that we're, we're essentially the underdog? So the only way a vast majority is going to come up through that system is by embracing white supremacy, so to speak, right? So if you no, look at no, something, no, 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 let me that. just say I'm not saying I'll just follow me, right? So if you look at something like politics, right? If you want to be involved in politics in the Democratic Party, right? Let's just say you coming up through politics in the Democratic Party. That's a white supremacist system, right? Dating back to the 1800s, right? So if you coming up through that party, you're a part of that system. Period. So you yeah, yeah, other yeah, groups, yeah, yeah. so other groups, system. Yeah, so yeah, you might be a part of that system. But what right, I'm let saying me just say is the second part. We though, got we have we have just listen to the second system. part though. Just listen because it plans. Yeah, right, right. right. So yeah. you see other groups that, that come up, right? That they don't come up by trying to assimilate into that system, right? So if you look at Asian Americans, right, and even a lot of Latinos, they don't aspire to go into corporate Amer into corporate into certain corporate and political positions, right? Whereas they try to establish an economic base separate from the system. You know what I'm saying? Where they can create power at. Whereas us as black people, we want to be integrated into the white supremacist system, even though we only make up 14% of the population. You know what I'm saying? So we always going to be outnumbered trying to play that game instead of trying to concentrate our resources and create an economic base where we can have power like that. You get what I'm saying? Right. That's why my whole and I, I feel exactly what you're saying. What you said is 100 percent right. And that's why my whole thing is we don't necessarily need leaders. Now, there's nothing wrong with taking talking points from other FBA members. That's prominent, and that yeah. uh, you know, but but for the, the only black part, person, the only, the the only, the only black the only, man, that, the, the only, only leader leadership I feel is a black is Farrakhan. That's the only black leadership I recognize. Yeah, but look, I don't, don't even look. The only leadership we need is the code. Like once you understand right who we are, what we represent, and we have a code. Like once you have that code in place. Mentally, you you know what I mean. Then you become an asset for your people. So the main, our main, one of our main objectives, besides getting reparations and making sure that we put our kids in, in fields like tech, because we know that's the future, is getting all cold. Make showing the importance of us being all cold. That you know those three things right there. Because if we on code, we don't need a leader. Straight up, the code is the leader. If you get a people on code, they don't need. They don't necessarily need a leader. The code is the leader. Right. Yeah. Jewish people ain't got no leader, but they got a code. Exactly. Go 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 to parts of Brooklyn. What are they, Williamsburg and all that shit where all them Jews be at? Bitch, they on cold like a motherfucker. And you know I live in New York, so I know what you're talking <laughs> about. They got their own ambulance, police, all that. Police walking in front of one of them. Going to they, yeah, you go into their neighborhood. Walk by one of them right people question you and all that. And if walk you by one of the Hebrew then, schools and, then, and you see them gangsters with them sticks outside up by them Hebrew schools. Bitch, but that's how it that yeah. Look, back in the days in Harlem, if you was of another race and you came into Harlem and, and people did something to you, motherfuckers be looking at the whole crime scene out the window. You think they, they stayed on cold, though. They ain't tell the police shit. Because, number one, you ain't got no business being in this neighborhood. Right. And the Italians did the same shit, and, and everybody was on cold. Right. Right. Yeah. So if a motherfucker thought he was going to set up a business in a black neighborhood and then you got a, you got some smart dude that's FBA in the neighborhood and he's low-key running the neighborhood and he decides he's going to terrorize 
your Arab business or your Italian business, whatever race you was, other than FBA, and you was going to set up without paying protection, that wasn't going to happen. Because and the people was on cold enough to not report that, so that you know that's right. some of the benefits of us being on cold. Hey, even if you look at New York, like with the mafia and all that, back in the days with like Bumpy Johnson and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. How they had done came together, like man, you crackers ain't just gonna be running numbers through here, like. Oh, Holler was right. doing good. Holler was you know doing good. Man? The uh, Bumpy yeah, Bumpy had, had to get on cold. On if you yeah. read the book about Bump Bumpy Johnson and how they got on cold behind, bruh, and like made them Italians run it, it's like, damn. And this was back in the 30s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the cold, the cold. Because all them niggas was from the South. That's why. Out of Carolina. We see what we could do when we on cold, man. Out of Carolina. And then we see what type of talent we have. And we also right. see what type of influence we have over the world. Period. You know, I was talking to a Nigerian cat. No disrespect to Nigerians, but I had to let him know that the average Nigerian only makes five thousand dollars a year. You know, you can't really compare you guys to us. Right. You know, real talk. But um, it's like you know, see, we that's what I be saying right about white supremacy, right? And I asked the question about tribalism. And white supremacy, right? See, everywhere you go, they got their issues, right? So we crying about white supremacy, right? But if you take a Nigerian that come out of Nigeria, that all he know his whole life is tribalism, he gonna look at this shit over here like, man, this shit cupcake. You know what I'm saying? I can run circles around this system because in Nigeria, if you ain't a part of one of them dominant tribes, you ain't getting no plate. If your peoples ain't already plugged into the system, Politically or through some businesses, you ain't getting no play. Period. And that's why. You know what I'm and saying? that's why I don't. Yeah, that's why I don't really. And that's why it's hard for them to get on cold with us when they come over here, cause it, that's a foreign concept to them. You know what I'm saying? That's why. That's see, but that's why I don't fuck with the Pan Africanism because I understand at all that, they get no play. Yeah, like I understand that at the end of the day, you try. This the Pan African thing has always been one sided. It's always been only people I see pushing that shit is FBA. I ain't it's never seen Caribbean pushing it's that shit. Long, no. You know what I mean? So it's like that shit one sided, like a motherfucker. It's always been one sided, right? And it's like now the FBA is on some shit. Like you know what? We we recognize. How important we is. We we understand that we actually built this country. We got a great case for reparations, and we talented like a motherfucker. Let's start getting on cold amongst ourselves. Now we not saying that we hate y'all, but we saying that y'all niggas be on cold with yourselves. Let us get on cold with ourselves and do our thing. And motherfuckers start getting scared, like oh shit. You know why? Because niggas been eating off of FBA for so fucking long. FBA have been doing the dirty work for so long. So now FBA is like, yeah, we're gonna now we just gonna do the dirty work for ourselves. Now we just gonna eat us, and now everybody is getting nervous and they wanna scream xenophobia and all this, that, and third. It ain't that. You know, we ain't got no 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 hate towards nobody. You know what I mean? You see us all on the panel together with Africans, everybody, you know, but at the end of the day. You know, like I said, man, we live, we do live under a system of white supremacy, but that shit don't won't mean nothing if we on cold. As talented as we are, as you know, shit, the things, I, the, like I, our forefathers that we to look up, that we look up to, is just magnificent. Right. No, nobody right. Can, can make the boast that FBA can make when it comes to their forefathers. They fought for over the over the past. We damn near invented everything. No, listen to me. You you go. I don't give a fuck where you go. Travel around the world, nigga. You gonna see Tupac. You gonna see motherfucking Malcolm X. You gonna see Martin Luther King. You gonna see all these people. W. E. B. Du Bois, nigga. What African motherfucking leader or African period, nigga? 
is celebrated over here like that. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. And that ain't no disrespect. There would be no. There would be no light bulbs <laughs> in Europe. There would be no light bulbs in India. There would be no light bulbs in Africa. I'm talking about light bulbs. If it wasn't for blacks, foundation right. of Black America. And and that ain't no disrespect to Africans, right? But I'm saying, what African from the country besides Mandela? Shout out to Mandela, right? Whatever you know, that's debatable too. But shout out to Mandela still. You know, and I'm, I'm talking. I'm, and I'm talking but, about something. I'm talking about something as simple as a fucking light bulb, nigga. Peanut butter, nigga. Nigga, double, uh, George the light Washington, bulb. nigga. George Washington Carver, nigga, came up with all type of inventions, nigga, from a peanut. No, you, <laughs> wouldn't, you wouldn't. You wouldn't look. You see how you got traffic lights all around the world in China, Russia, Africa, Australia. You name it, traffic lights. That's how they. That's how the. That's how the, the road work, right? We created that. See, people don't realize how much the world actually like. Foundational Black Americans revitalized the whole world. The whole world. You know how many poor. That's why I tell. I'm quick to tell a poor white dude that want to talk down on blacks like he better. First of all, I let him know. Chances is your forefathers wasn't even in this country when slavery started. They probably didn't even have slaves. Your background is probably Polish or something like that. You came from some poor ass European country where y'all niggas wipe your ass with newspaper. And 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 thanks to the FBA, you was able to come to America and your family was able to build a legacy based off of you being white. See, right. that's how we explain white supremacy. It's a welfare system. And we put it, we put it right out there. We don't, I don't allow white people to feel like they better than me because they happen to be in a better position right now. I let them know that if, if your people was truly superior over us, then we would have an even playing field. Straight up. White supremacy, what that means? Like what what I wish you, you, can't, crack you can't survive. Man, yeah, these niggas play the game, these niggas yeah, play the game mean? on easy. Don't you mean better position than you? What do you mean by that? Just, just better position. Probably got a better job, maybe a little more education or whatever the fuck. Whatever it may be. Whatever they got. Fuck them. Education puts you in a better position? Sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. You said what else? You know, they might got a better yeah, what else? Uh, more education, might have some more money. Just, just might have they money. Give it, yep, Lady Spade is right. They was given free land and all that. We wasn't allowed to participate in that. When they did that shit, they was giving out all the land on the West Coast. Right. We was not allowed. We was redlined on it. Right. And still had yeah. to make it happen. That's why I be saying, like, all, all, all of the shit, like, black Americans done came through. Ain't no way in the hell I'm going to forfeit my motherfucking American identity or passport or whatever it is nigga to go pick up like could you imagine if a cracker walk up to you and be like you ain't american you african i'll be man i would beat the shit out of cracker you know what i'm saying that's why when i'm paying africans be talking that shit to me man i'd be getting mad like what is you talking about you know what i'm saying like could you imagine if a white the same way pan african like to talk that blackity black go back to africa shit could you imagine if a white person walked up to all they gonna do. If a white person walked up to you and said, you're not American, you're African. You need to go back to Africa. Man, bitch, it's going to go up on site wherever we at. All they going to do. They tell you that every day cheap. on an application. All, 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 they, all them Pan-African niggas trying to do is find a cheap way to bring a bunch of Negroes to Africa for about a month and then bring them back home. They going to pay 800 per head and and then charge 3000 per head. They and they tell, and they tell you what you can't do. Them right. Then when oh, you go to Africa, they want to tell you what you can't do. Oh, you got to do this. You got to respect the locals. You got to learn the language. You got to do this. You can't buy no, you can't own no land because you ain't African. You can't. Man, kiss my ass. Fuck. Yeah, talking about we and, 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 then, and, then, and then they, they, they main thing is always, yeah, it's for the experience. Uh, my ass. You know, you gotta pay to go walk into a goddamn slave dungeon. You got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? That's, Fuck, that's like, always oh. been one of our problems. We always had some whack ass leader niggas that they prop up, you know, exactly, to exactly though. You know what I mean? 
exactly. That's our problem. The black elite, the, the so-called leaders, they all been suckers because they get propped up by by the white supremacist uh, or whatever you want to call it, institutions. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be those universities that they come from out of or the political, you said the the political parties. Hold on. You said the who? I, I said, said who? white fucking inst- white supremacist institutions. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, well, you so, yeah, the blue blue legs, your blue vocabulary, legs, they got, bro. They got yeah, the, uh, that's why I say. The they got the blue say, niggas. That's why I say Farrakhan. That's why I say Farrakhan is the only black leader that I recognize because Farrakhan <laughs> is the only black leader. You could laugh, nigga. You could do whatever the fuck you want to do. Farrakhan is the only black leader that we ever had that was fully self sufficient. That ain't take shit from crackers. That. Uh, hey, yo, DPS laughing. Yo, what's up, DPS? What's good, brother? What you laughing about over there, bro? Nigga crazy as fuck. Nigga must not know Farrakhan resume. <laughs> my nigga who combed the hell backwards. Yeah, right, please. Nigga now, must man. not know Farrakhan resume. Yeah, you talking about the nigga who went and got on the stand and testified against Caleb Muhammad? To my him? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Nigga to must not him? know Farrakhan resume. That, that discredited his own suit and got on the stand? To my him? You want me to keep going? Yeah, fuck talking him. about him? Caleb Muhammad was getting out of control, nigga. When you start tripping, you talking about him? Who talking? Uh, you know that? who I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm talking about him. Yeah, I'm I'm fuck with Farrakhan. Damn when, right, you fuck with Farrakhan, nigga. You can look at Farrakhan's body of work. To the person who he called devil, he went and apologized look at to the person body of work. who he called devil. He called yeah. him the devil, and then went and apologized when his student went and called him the devil. Yeah. Please, man. Please, that nigga ain't no leader around here. They don't even come to the street, man. That old nigga better go on somewhere. This nigga say Farrakhan don't come to the streets. When he been the there? Name, like- name 100 times he done been to the hood in 2020, 2021, 2019, 2018. Give me 10. Give me 10 times you done seen him with your eyes. Hey, Cole. Who, me? Yeah, but I don't like what I don't, like I said, man. Like the it's main cold. thing I don't Fuck like is that I don't I don't like the disrespect that a lot of people show to FDA. You know what I mean? Like you got this guy saying you are military men, you know FBA have no code, effectively organized for reparations. You know what I mean? I, I disagree, man. I see a lot of difference amongst black people even now. And I contribute that to new black media. Now you have the internet, Fox News, things like that is not as important as it used to be yesterday. When I was growing up, just 20 years ago, I remember going to the store to buy my mother a TV guide. You know, so social media is changing a lot. Now. Like information is getting out a lot of quick. And it's becoming very really popular for foundational black Americans to call themselves foundational black Americans. In ADOS. Right. Hey, but let me just popular. Right. Hey, but let me just say this, right? Because a lot of people look at Farrakhan now, right? And they want to judge his body of work, right? By and see him now as almost a 90-year-old man and try to discredit him, right? But when Farrakhan was our age, Farrakhan was putting in work that any nigga that opened his mouth, nigga, couldn't have did. You need to read up on Farrakhan in the Fuck 70 Farrakhan, nigga. In the Fuck 72. Oh, nigga. That nigga a sellout. He let white oh, people in the man. Nation. His son married a white boy, a white lady. I ain't trying to hear none of that garbage. His, his son married a white lady. They got this white lady. Who they call devils in the mob in the temple. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Hey, bro, you got a down. GED, bro? What you got? A GED? Nigga, I graduated two school. times over. Nigga, get your mind right, sucker. Yeah. What nigga, you graduated what you in? About, Where you graduated from? In your in, in your study. and what now see this nigga going. look this is now look no this, this right they here no this right here song. that still don't change the fact about him that nigga no nah, this, this right this right here well yo fam yo you ain't yo, need yo, 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 yo fam yeah this right here is significant yeah, because this job. is what we have right we have yeah, two nah, nah, brothers. Don't worry about it. Hey, hold, on, hold, worry on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just say this real quick. Nah, Let me nah, say this real quick. Go ahead. We, we have two it. brothers. <laughs> that you have one brother that is getting off cold because he's more off cold with Farrakhan, and he's going at another brother. 
but they, they he's willing to go off cold and escalate this thing. Yeah, yeah. Don't we ain't gonna worry about else. it. That's hey, what you have going on. Right now, right Perry, now. Perry, Perry. That's enough, brother. Listen, fam. Thank y'all for tapping in, man. Hit the like button. Look, man, support that PayPal, support that Cash App. Follow me on Instagram, man. All that shit is scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Thank y'all for tapping in, man. Let me find this video. We're going to leave y'all with a video. You know what I mean? It's enough of that tonight. I got to get my ass in the bed. Hey, let me and just say one last thing before I go, right? Man, just yeah, tell the people gonna... where they can find you at. Tell the people where they can find you at, bro. That's what, I, that's what I really want you to say, Bo. I want you to tell the people where they can find you at, man. Where can people find y'all at, man? If y'all got anything y'all want to promote. going to be at Mars number seven. Promote it now. <laughs> he going to be at Mars y'all want to promote, man. That way promote it now. On his knees. While I find this video, man. Fuck all that nigga. Fuck about no fair kind, nigga. All right. All right. Salute to y'all, man. Uh, I'm going right. to share this video. Salute. Salute, fam. Salute. Peace. 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 Peace, guys. All right. Famo. Famo. Shit was going crazy. It was about to get crazy. Hey, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. And get what? Them fucking subscribers ain't going up, man. So fucking subscribe, man, if you haven't. Subscribe. Don't be a silent watcher. Don't be weird. Don't be a creep, man. You know what I mean? Let's get it up, man. Uh, shout out to uh, Manny Fresh, Juvie, and uh, the whole Cash Money click, man. Let's get it. Day chat, find a may chat. Open up, be okay, yes, okay, yeah. Pop my picture, looking tight, chat. Nice, chat. Got your bio reading, right, chat. Precise, chat. But before you find a day chat, you gotta wait, chat. Gotta go back to nature, chat. Get it straight, chat. Girl, you look good, want your fax that thing. I'm using a handsome young brother, want your fax that thing. Yo, ain't no real life, you need to fax that thing. Yo, feeling freaky all night, you need to fax that thing. Yo, girl, you look good, want your fax that thing. I'm using a handsome young brother, want your fax that thing. Yo, ain't no real life, you need to fax. That thing, you're feeling freaky all night. You need to back that thing up. I know you can't stand it, no holding hands, chick. But when we get the shot, we're gonna be romancing. Girl, you could be the queen at the quarantine. We could meet up at the spot and we could do the thing. Internet date chat, I'm your mate chat. Download the app, shawty, you ain't gotta wait chat. I love it when you hold me, ain't plan emoji. You could be the young hot thing, I'll be the OG.